Oh, hello, everybody. I'm just opening a box. But we I guess we got an auction to get going here. It's Gorilla Todd and his awesome crew of panelists. We got Beta Ray in the house. We got Double A Comics. We got the irascible, irascible, something like that, Shelby, behind the bid, hiding behind the high bid. And we got, with his hot baked cookies, Dan. What's up, we people? Got, we, got an, we got the all-fire crew tonight. The all-fire crew. Don't burn your hands on the cookies. Don't, don't scorch yourself <laughs> on the fire books. But welcome, welcome, everybody. It's good to have you. One comment. Oh, I see lots of comments. Let's see. So Tony's claiming the whole auction. I'm sorry. Uh, I just <laughs> got this, this message early in the day, starting line, 6 p.m. And Tony writes, claim. So Tony just claimed the whole auction, I think. <laughs> nice. But, Excellent. Uh, good that to is see you, awesome. Tony. What's up, Joe Blow? Always good to see you, Monster Warrior. As always, nice. What's up, Agu Rhythm? Always great to see you, Agu. Agu. Double A on the panel saying what's up. What's, what's up? up Gio's uh, new to the channel, but we met last night uh, <clears throat> with on my on my stream with Barney from uh, Simpsons Comics. It's nice to hear Gio found us just just randomly popped up on his feed. So it's good to know that the channel's getting a little bit of uh, algorithm attention. Nice. We got Captain Ramius in the house. What's up, Captain Ramius? Sam's group saying hello to everyone. Uh, Doug Bratton's hanging out. with hoping, uh, saying what's up to Double A and hoping we have a killer, killer sales night. Oh, it just jumped on me. What's up, Crash Gamma? How you doing, Cody? Good to see you hanging out. We got Beta Ray dropping the, the Trooper Gorillas. Oh, as always, awesome, awesome, awesome. What's up, Tim? Good to see you, Tim Koshi. Hey, Shiny. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. We got Lisa Noble in the house. What's up, Lisa? Always helping out, dropping links. Being a fantastic, fantastic moderator. HGM Law, that's funny. What's up, <laughs> Simon R? I'm not there yet. I will I will get there. He's not Simon R says great evening to everyone. And I'm do, we're doing I'm doing great. I hope everyone else is too. Um, Lisa says hello to everyone. Top five all stars, I mean, definitely shiny. Thanks for dropping the gorillas, Joe. Okay, okay. Well, man, has a a in the house, my brother from another mother, my co host for Teacher's Lounge. What's up, comics on the mind? Good to see you, my friend. Argue saying what's up to Lisa and everybody else. <laughs> comics on the mind, he's after that tiger shark. It's a good one. Uh, Lisa says, what's up to Agu? Let's see, HGM says, tonight's panel is called Four Sets of Glasses and Beards with One Cookie Man, LOL. Hey, yeah, you're, always, you're always coming with the witty banner, banter, HGM. I appreciate it. Good to see you, HGM. <laughs> okay, we got Agu. That's funny. Awesome chat. Uh, yes, definitely. Sam's group is saying it absolutely correct. Gorilla smash that like button, y'all. Gorilla smash. What's up, Agu? <laughs> we got Shelby's your my favorite Mustang. Okay, I didn't know you were a Mustang, Shelby. I don't I don't understand the reference. That looks more like you, bullhorns. You, you've never seen my tail. Uh, I could live without that. What's up, Whack Comics? One of my friends from down under. <laughs> uh, do a Whack Attack. What's up, Polka Dot Peach? Always good to see you, my friend. Hey, Paulo. Uh, what's up, Paulo? <laughs> and Waxing, what's up, the comics? Okay, so we caught up with the chat. Now for the inevitable, uh, the rules. I'll go big, let you guys do any of your last minute. What's up, Southern Geek? Can't 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 skip Southern Comic Geek. He wants that Hulk book behind you, Double A. 
you, you got it, Southern. We'll go through the rules, and then I'll uh, I'll put a price on it. You can let me know. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to go big, give you guys a chance to do your last-minute preparations. Okay. Okay, first and foremost rule. What's up, Spooky234? That's not the first rule, but I got to say hello to Spooky when I see him in the chat. Okay, now the rules. Got to be 18 years old to bid or buy anything on the auction. Why is this? Oh, this is my wrong camera. Give me a second here. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Why? Oh. Um, I guess I can do that. You guys can see and hear me. I'm not going to mess with it. I don't even, I, I'm using the mic on my computer, but it seems to be working fine, right? Yeah. So we won't we won't mess with we won't we won't mess with what's not broke. Um okay, you gotta be 18 years old to buy a bid or put a claim or a bid on any item. 18 years of age or older. Okay. What's up, poor boy? How you doing? Okay, Andrew Baldwin, thanks for the heads up. Um, so yeah, you gotta be 18 years old to buy or bid any claim, to buy or bid any item on the auction for many of the sellers. We will run a two and a half minute, two minute and 30 second yeah. clock for auctions, okay? Um, the timer will start either when the person is done describing their book or if the bid the bids start coming in, I usually start the timer because that means we're gonna have multiple bidders, which is kind of makes the timer just a guide at that point. If we have one bidder at the at the end of the two and a half minute timer, okay, we're gonna hear the timer. We'll drop an end line, and the single went the single per, the single bidder wins the auction. If we have multiple bidders when the timer ends, then we will keep bidding. The timer is just a guide, okay. So we'll keep bidding, and, and until there's one, there, until there's a single bidder left. Now, if you want to bid, make sure you get your bid in there. Don't wait. Because there's no, really no sniping because the bidding goes until there's one bidder. But, you know, if, if you know, you beat, and, and it's real, it really comes down to this. We're going to have a start line and then an end line for every auction. So bids are only counted if they're after the start line, and they're only counted if they're before the end line. Okay. So if your bid's before the start line, it's not going to count. And then it's after, if it's after the end line, it's not going to count. And that's just the way, that's the, the way it goes. Um, uh, make sure you, if, if you have any, um, questions, be sure to ask us, let us know. Um, if the end line drops for a single bidder at that point, the seller may have an upgrade or an additional offer for the winner of the auction. At that point, that is between the seller and and the winner, okay, you can't, there's, it's not able, people can't come back in. If in the course of an auction, um, more books are added to a lot, then it is open, you know, for somebody who folded to come back in. And that's, it's really simple. If you are, we're going through the auction and you're done, you don't want to bid anymore, just type fold into the chat. Let us know you're folding. Okay, we want to keep everything moving along as, as, uh, seamlessly and quickly as possible. Excuse me. And um, like that, we just, that's that's really the the goal. Um, please, for the sake of clarity, write all bids as numbers only and make sure, you know, just type fold, keep it easy. Um, do, your, do, your, do everybody a favor to settle all auction wins and buy it now with bins within 24 hours with your seller, unless you have made any prior arrangements with the sellers. That's, you know, that's between you and yours and the sellers or you and me, if I'm selling you stuff, but please make sure those are made ahead of time. Um, it's, it can be challenging when a lot of people want to do stuff after the fact. Um, so please just, just communication is the key for any kind of sales issues or concerns or anything. Um, all we ask is, you know, all I ask, and I think everybody asks is that if we send messages, please respond to them. And if you have a question, just ask us and then everybody should be responding to you. 
it's a two-way street communication. So that's what we asked for and that's what we want to provide. So other than that, I think we're ready to get started. Let me just say what's up to Hudat. We got Hudat comics and movies in the house. What's happening? Okay, Wack, we I, we can work something out. I think we're gonna have a, a steady shipping between me and uh, the, the me and down under. So I think we're in good shape. We can figure that out, Wack. Um, otherwise, hey, let's let's not waste any any time. Let's get this started. Let me put away my boxes I was opening, and let me find something to to start this auction out. So thank you to the 51 people. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what let's, uh, let's just start out with uh, one of my favorite ladies. Got a nice Vampirella set. These are both by John Royale. These are both 500 print run books. Here's, they have a certificate of authenticity from 616 books. Dynamite M Entertainment, 500 print run. And then the same thing with the, the two cards. I will start the bidding at $15. Thank you for the 50 plus people watching, hanging out with us on this Definitely. Saturday night. So we got a $15 starting line for these two Virgin Vampirella covers. Let me give them to you, but you get a real good look. And we got Vampy holding that skull. Look at that skull looking at her. I think the skull likes her. And please notice we have the, the high bid right over here. So any when a bid comes in, for example, I have the starting line located right under that. When a bid comes in, the bid will be highlighted right underneath there. And we have, that's the bid we need to watch. Um, we do simulcast to Facebook and Instagram and, and YouTube, so please make sure you're watching the screen. Okay, we got about a minute left in the timer. Okay. Usually get get Vampirella usually gets some attention, but either maybe it's a little early in the night or we just don't have the Vampirella fans in the house tonight. But we appreciate every one of our our watchers. We thank you to the 62 people watching. And that timer comes in about 10 seconds. I'll drop the end line. And Vampy will go back in the box. Don't put Vampy in the box. Vampy goes right back in the box. Nobody put Baby in the corner. That's not Baby. It's Vampy. Uh, uh. And there's that end line coming in. And... We're going to move right over to Beta Ray. Hopefully, Beta Ray can get us start, started. All right. Sorry yeah, I do want to uh, thank everyone for being here. Appreciate everyone who's showing up to the auction early. So let's do some kind of reward here. We're going to start this bad boy off. 
let's see. I wasn't even planning to auction this book tonight. I love this cover. It's so awesome. Uh, let's see. Let's start this off. Submariner. Start it off at uh, start off at ten bucks. Number six. We're looking at a mid grade copy. I'd, I'd love to say it's high grade, but I don't think. I'm pretty sure this isn't high grade. This is uh, second appearance of Tiger Shark, by the way. Oh, geez. Say hello to the camera. A really, really nice copy. Definitely worth 10 bucks. Okay, we got Shiny in a 10. 12 cent Marvel. Let's get it. The Warrior in at 11. Looks like it's color break increase there up in the corner there. You can see it real nicely there. Other than that, it's not horrible at all. Twelve center. Yeah. Let's see. Comics on the mind at twelve. Kai Hawks at fifteen. Comics on the mind at sixteen. Monster Warrior at seventeen. Beautiful copy. Awesome battle cover. I mean, this ranks right up there with the Hercules and Thor and the Beta Ray Bill and Thor. Just one of the best battle covers. Definitely. What's up, Tacoma? Shiny fold. <laughs> Comics on the Minds at 18. Comics on the Mind. What's up, brother? Hope you're having a good night. Definitely an outstanding member of the comic fam. Yeah, Submariner 5. And what number one would be nice, too. Monster Warriors <laughs> at 19. Awesome battle cover to the death. Comics on the mind goes to 20. I'm not ignoring you who that I said. Hello. <laughs> Quick shout out to those that have boxes with me. Captain Ramius, Monster Warrior, Weapon X, Starscream, Shutter Duck, What the Deuce, Max Comics, Michael Solis, Astref Sterling, and SF the Fool, thank you so much. Your books are safe and sound. Anytime you want them, me to ship them, I would be happy to. Or we could just keep that box going. No hurry. Okay. You got comments on the mind at 22. Uh, I'd say it's a near mint copy. I'm sorry, mid mid grade copy. I'm I'm really pretty. I'm pretty bad with uh, <laughs> with grades. I don't really like to say, but up here you've got a color break increase. Uh, you've got a few. It's definitely not near mint, but it's the higher end of mid grade. I would say it's pretty nice. It's got all of its luster and and sheen. It's never been pressed. Never been cleaned. Gotcha. Who that? <laughs> It's a beautiful copy for a book that came out in October of 1968. And that cover, man, that cover. Mm. Got comics from the mind of 26, <laughs> Monster Warrior 27. Who that? I don't have one. Trust me, if I did, it would be a builder lot <laughs> with both of them. I wish I had it. Comics on the mind folds. So I think Monster Warrior is going to take this down for 27. I think I believe it. Kai Hulk folded, Shiny folded, uh, Comics on the Mind folded. Yeah, Monster Warriors taking yep. it down for twenty-seven. Awesome one, Monster Monster Warrior. Warrior. Great book. Pretty sad to see one that one go. Not gonna lie, I'll put it in your box. Thank you, sir. 
Excellent pickup. Cool. And we will move right over to double A. What's up, all? Uh, I'm going to try something a little different. So I'll be running a couple buy it now. It's behind me all night. Uh, you got Hulk 449. First appearance of the Thunderbolts, 80 bucks. I got it at near mint minus conservatively. I'm going to call it like a 9 4. And uh, $5, fine plus for the shadow number four. You can just put claim Hulk or claim shadow. We can try something a little different. For your bidding pleasure, uh, two book lot, we got Swamp Thing number seven, which is the first time that Batman and Swamp Thing meet, which is really cool. And then we got uh, Brave and the Bold, Batman and Swamp Thing. This is Brave and the Bold 122, kind of Batman coming to the rescue of Swamp Thing. Minor, minor keys, nothing crazy, but classic. So uh, both mid-grade, I would call them both like 6-0 copies. Uh, start the bidding at 10 bucks. This book goes for, I mean, in high grade, this book has actually gotten crazy recently. Uh, especially with the Justice League Dark, people getting concerned about that, but cool books. Uh, What's up, what the deuce? Some Swamp Thing and Batman action. Let me... Getting yeah, close what to do, so I gave you my dates, right? 25th to the 31st. I'm out uh, of New York, Elvis. Out of New York. So, and again, if you want to see anything specific... I mean, Elvis. I'll just throw it out there. We, me and me and Double uh, A got a trade work, and so if you want to get something from him, and he can put it in the shipment with me, I can get it, deliver it to you. Yeah. So you know, you got some color breaking ticks. There's some general wear. This corner has, you know, some bends on it. And then same with this. You know, you've got color breaking ticks. Up and down the side. Definitely. So they're, they're not nine eights, but oh yeah. Yeah, I got plenty of something is killing the children. That's coming. You heard that, Jose Rivera? We got it coming. That's coming. Greatish on on this or on something. These are like six oh. These two are like six oh copies. Very presentable, complete, but you know, they're not they're not near mint. They're not nine eight candidates. I don't know if I would grade them, but they present really nice. So I like to present books where if you want to own the book, but you don't want to pay hundreds of dollars, it gives you a nice alternative. You want to claim the Hulk? Yeah. <clears throat> if someone, uh, would, yep, someone uh, wouldn't go into it at the end of this round, I was going to. All right. Yeah, good claim. It's on Great. the up and up. It's in my lar. Uh, so this is yours, Kyle. I'm going mul nice, mark nice you down claim, right Kyle. now. Good pickup. So I want to know two things. Why a swamp thing on the side of a building instead of in a swamp? And don't put, kind of, don't put and swamp kind of in mess, the corner. And what kind of mess would he make if he hit the ground? Would it be just like muddy water? Okay, so that's a timer. Let me reset that. I think we have one bidder. Who, uh, what the deuce at ten dollars? So yours. Gonna... What the deuce? Yeah, I'll do. Uh, I'll do Batman as well. That'll be coming. I'm not going to oh. wait all night on that. What's up, Sean Richards? Good oh. to see you, my friend. All right, thank you. What the deuce? Appreciate that. You guys can reach out to me just on. Uh, I don't know if you want to show my IG. Just to, I like to keep things moving, so you can just uh, DM me on Instagram. Hey, let me just address this real quick. Gio, your bid came in after the end line. That's why I, I try to tell people don't wait. You got that $11 bid. It came in after the end line. So this one's going to what the deuce. He had his bid in before. So like I said, bids before the end line and after the start line are what we look at. So please, please, please try to get the bid in a little faster on the next one. We want you to get, uh, you know, we want everybody to get their shot. Fair enough. And there's Double A's IG info. 
Yeah, guys, just hit me up on Instagram. I'm really responsive. I got a bunch of ways to pay Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. So, and I will ship on Monday. So, thank you so much. What's up, Adam Horry? And we're going to move right over to Sands Group. What's up, Sands? You got some hot baked cookies for us? You know how we do. What's up, my brother Gorilla Todd? Yummy, Happy yummy, Saturday yummy, to yummy. everybody. All right, so let me show a couple quick buy nows. Anyone is looking for some good detective comics? I got some signed Kirkham, a three set. This is your detective comics 1027, signed with COA from Kirkham. I will do $40, uh, 45 shipped on these, 45 shipped. Then I got something special for all of you. Marvel fans, trading cards. That's right. Um, we have a 1993 Marvel's Masterpiece trading card set. This is box number 221618. If anyone's interested on this, it's a buy it now for 200 shipped. 200 shipped. All right. Uh, oh, my God. First round. We're going to get started with something uh, just old school but fun. Um, let's warm the crowd up. We're going to do a Deathstroke 90s lot really quickly. We're going to start this off at $5 and go from there. So Deathstroke number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Nice death stroke number one through five, 1990s lot, $5 bid. Hey, thank you, Beta Ray. Who that for dropping those cookies? We also got Gamma shouting out the sands. Guys, remember, um, I, I do have a giveaway. Um, I'll do a giveaway if we get to 100 likes here. But also, tomorrow is the end of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, if you haven't had a chance, follow me on IG, um, and there's a chance to get a Mike Mayhew number three, um, High Republic, or a Last Ronin number two, the PJ's variant. I hope he will be, Polka Dot. I still, uh, I, I still got my Mike Zek, uh Deathstroke the Terminator poster that I had when I was a kid. And I took it to Heroes Con a couple summers ago and actually got it signed by him. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, these books are pretty crispy too. They, uh, they've just um, been right, sitting crispy in, in, in a nice bin for years. Don't worry, I will have some fresh uh, bags and boards for the winner. Oh, John Robb, welcome to the chat, my brother. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And we got John Robb in for 10. And we have about a minute and 19 seconds left. Bring up the Sixers gear. Hey, you know what? It is All-Star Weekend, so I'm going to have to uh, – I'll put up some fun pops, uh, some Michael Jordans, if anyone's interested. I got the Jordan All-Star in the black jersey pop, so we'll do some fun with that as a buy it now. That'll be uh, 55 shipped on both of those. But just to get us warmed up, round one, some good old Deathstroke, the Terminator. Who doesn't love Slade Wilson? That was a cool series. I was pretty happy when that, when he finally got a series when I was a kid. Cool Mike Zett covers. The interiors are pretty solid. Oh yeah, these were. I was I was grabbing every number one that I saw. I just started working at a comic book store, and I was like, "Oh, let me get this." I hadn't read it before, but I was like, "Damn, this is really interesting." Let me make sure. Okay, I got chat pop pumping, but we got one bitter. That's the timer. So let me reset that. 
I'm going to go ahead and drop the end line. Excellent. My man, John Rob, these are yours, my brother, unless someone sneaks in and snipes, but I don't think they will. It'll be $9 ship, so you're looking at 19 total, 19 total. Sweet. Awesome. And we're going to drop the end line, get your that fan's information up on the screen as email. Excellent, and we will move over to Shelby. Thank you all. All right, what up, what up, what up? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, uh, again, I humbly apologize if I ever upset anybody, especially Beta Ray Jim. I apologize again. Uh, I, um, I, I uh, may have commented on his packaging when I did an unboxing one day. So... But, uh, you know, we all take, yeah. People comment on my labels, so, uh, saying they don't like them. So I actually paid and got some removable labels I can put on comics. So you'll be seeing some buy it nails tonight. Anyway, all right, we're going to start off for the early birds, uh, something special. I bought a lot of books, and they came in damaged. Um, and then when I complained to the person, he said, oh, well, it shows on my uh, eBay store, no returns. So, um, and eBay didn't back me up on that. Anyway, so all these books are damaged. I'm going to start them off at a dollar each. They are um, pretty. Thank you, what the deuce. Or unless you're saying that to... Um, anyway, never mind. Ah, uh, Joe Blow, good. I'm glad you got your package and your fridge magnet. I appreciate you, sir. Um, so I'm start these off at a dollar each. They are nicer variants that are desirable, but they are damaged. And I'll point out the damage to you. But there's seven books here, dollar each, so seven dollars. Um, the first one, and Todd, I know you can help me out with some of these names of the okay. artists. Amazing Spider-Man number 30, uh, Shan. Shannon, that's Shannon there. Okay. It has, see that? Yeah, that, that big ugly crease. Yeah. It's got, yeah. I'm only saying that because I have a near mint one. <laughs> I'm also, it's also, that is a color break. That is not part of the image. There's a color break there. Like something was dropped on top of it. So... Uh, then there is um, this Fantastic Four Comic Con uh, Virgin, and it's got a color breaking crease right across there. You can see it. Spider Gwen number three, um, Mary Jane's variant, and you really can't see it, but it does have a couple of color breaks. Here on the edge. Um, and I have some coming up later that are damaged, but I think they can be pressed out. But um, there's a couple of color breaks up here. You can barely see them. Amazing Spider-Man number 15. And this has that color break right there. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one, uh, Comic-Con exclusive. So you can see the dent up there. So what what are we starting at? What's the deal with these? Or uh, I said a dollar each, seven books, so seven dollars. Okay. Fantastic Four number one, Perillo, oh, yeah, Perillo variant, and. It's got those color breaks up there. And then the last one, which is the worst one, Amazing Spider-Man number eight. And you can definitely see the color breaks there. So, um, you know, I'm just, you don't want to know how much I paid for these. I'm definitely losing money. But, you know, I, you know, I'm just going to be honest with you guys about the damages um let someone get a good deal um you know pressing will probably help you know i'm get up to 9.8 um but 
you know, uh, if you want just some cool exclusive covers in your collection um, and you're okay with some uh, dingage, then, you know, these are definitely for you. So <laughs> I think you made a new word. Dingage. Dingage. That's a technical term in the business, Todd. Dingage. Dingage. That's the propensity of dings upon That's the right. But, you got um, one in for seven, what to do in for ten. Man, those are some sweet covers too, Shelby. I know. I was so upset with the guy, and I just made a big order with him too. I would have backed out on the other order, and he's like, "Oh, but this other order you have in are all going to be near mint, so don't worry." I'm like, "You mother front gate person, you know." I was just so upset with the dude. You know, it's like I just spent this huge amount of money with you and you're not even going to like dump me a discount or something. I do like that Comic-Con exclusive. It's cool. They, they, they are sweet covers. I agree. I mean, I, like I said, I pulled out the ones I feel like can be pressed out without any problem. They'll get you up into 9.0 range. Most of these probably with a pressing, you can still get in the eight to nine range. Um, but I want to point out the color breaks. Like this one really doesn't break co color. But yeah, like you I can that can be pressed. But yeah, you can see a couple of them. Yeah, that's yeah, it's still nice though. Yeah, it's a cool, cool book. So we got Sean at fourteen. What the deuce at fifteen? Sean comes back at eighteen. Thank you, the sixty-five people we have watching. Please, Gorilla, smash that thumbs up. You know, and a few of them are harder to get. That's one of the reasons why I bought them. Um, because the person's description said they may have minor corner dings. That's what the description said. That is horrible. And uh, please, um, you know, drop uh, that eBay seller's information in the chat so we can I, avoid. I know. I thought about it. I thought about it. Uh, cookie. Um, because that's Thank more you. than a corner thing. thing. That Thank is more than a corner thing. thing. So I, I I thought about it hard, you know. Well, at least tell me so I don't buy nothing from them. Yeah, you can see that. That's what I was kind of expecting was maybe something like that, you know. Like, that's the only problem on that book. And I think that can be pressed out. There's no corner. There's yeah, no what corner do 19. What's up, Keith? You know, the corners are sharp. You know, there's that right there. That's what I was expecting. And I really want to miss on. You know, so you got a color break. You know, I want to be full disclosure. And when I could, when I said his images didn't reflect it, he's like, oh, well, you should have assumed since they were damaged. I said they were damaged in the description. Then those were stock images that I used. Why, why would I assume that? If I do something on eBay, I I put an image of the actual book I'm selling. Anyway, enough about my complaints. So what the news fault? So it looks like Sean Richards is going to take this down for twenty dollars. I'm going to go ahead and drop an end line. And there it is. You got Sean for twenty dollars. Nice. All right, sir. Sean. There's Shelby's info. Thank you, my sir. I will send you an IG in a moment. Thank you, Todd. You are welcome. Okay, let me make sure of something. 
Yeah, I was. Okay, I got a copy of Adventure into Fear number 20, the first solo Morbius, right? A couple things. Uh, stay, the spine has some ticks on it right there. You see there's some ticks on the spine. Okay, so there's that. And then on the back... There's a little chunk missing out of the corner. So it's got a little back cover corner chip. But otherwise, it's, it's a pretty nice presenting copy. Right? So we got that. And then we got a nice, this, this awesome domino cover. Domino number eight with Morbius. That one's near mint. We'll start both these books at $6. Not the first Morbius, but the first, it's the first solo. The first, the first appearance of Morbius is Amazing Spider-Man 101. That's with Spider-Man with the six arms on the cover. This is the first solo when he was the first time he was in his own story. I got to drop the starting line what to do. Sorry. But yep, there it goes. So if you would be so kind to place that bit again. What we got? Elvis with the Elvis got the six dollars in first. What to do? Sorry about that, man. Hey, I got distracted. I was responding to a comment. Typically, I would have the the um <laughs> have the starting line dropped. I appreciate the initiative. I really do. Thank you to the 70 people we got watching. Let me take a minute to remind you guys. I have my quest for a thousand subs video up. Uh, it's a contest. You can win. A There's two 9.8 slabs I'm giving away and some other prizes, including. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I saw um, including uh, some gorilla bucks you guys can use from to buy books for me at the auction. You know, why, why should I tell you what you want to win? You can get the Gorilla Bucks and just use them as you see fit. Um, so we got what to do at eight bucks. Elvis Lewis is at nine. I know what to do. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, and listen, I got all everybody who's on the panel, their links are in the description. So please definitely check out their channels. Sub up all my panelists. They're they're awesome. They have awesome channels. We got what to do at 10. Classic. Old school, 20, 20 cent Bronze Age Marvel comic. And then we got nice new kind of classic Morbius cover. So we, we got a fold from Elvis. So what the deuce is in for 10, 10. We still got a minute and a half left on the timer.
some great issues from that living vampire run. I think my favorite's probably 24 when Morbius and Blade Me. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's a good one. But there's a lot of great covers from that. Hey, Shelby, we got Archangel Simpson at 15. You know all about the hip hop covers, right? Yeah, yeah. What's up? I'm sorry. You know all about the hip hop covers, right? You've been collecting those? Yeah, a little bit. Is the International Iron Man one a good one? Mm -hmm. Yes, there's actually <clears throat> two different ones, I believe, on that one. I have the one where he's looking in a mirror and the reflection is Iron Man. Yeah, that's, uh, it's a little difficult to find. <clears throat> I see the hip hops and I grab them. If you ever see any hip hops less than twenty dollars, I always grab them because I usually you just never know which ones are the rare or more desirable. Some of the records, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sorry, I, I'm not a hip hop aficionado. Nice record, right? like, no, I just yeah, no big deal. I mean the music, like you know, I'm not country yeah, yeah. western, but you know, I'm not, you know, I like I'm, some of them. I love them. I really like. Yeah, 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 definitely. And it's introduced me some hip hop I didn't know. Like I looked cool. up albums and downloaded them on Google. Yeah, what the deuce of twenty one? Nice. Comics Lounge. I hit you back. I just subbed you back. Appreciate that. Archangels at twenty five. Always good to find more comic channels. You had a creator chat with Joelle Jones. Oh man, I'm gonna have to check that out. I've got a couple. I've got a commission by her running right now. Yeah, she's she's great. I'm a fan. Appreciate that, Doug. Okay, what the news folds. So okay, I think Archangel. I think you're getting this. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because I was folded. So, Archangel, you're taking this down for 25. Here's the end line. Okay, so Archangel Sins, let me write you down. And then we'll move right over to... With Pat Gleason. Oh, that'd be sweet. It's great that's comics loud. All right. Thank you, everyone that's here participating in the auction. Even if you're not bidding, it's awesome if you're hanging out in chat and just lurking and just being here. Really appreciate it. Be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already. Got a quick buy it now. Wolverine, Black, White, and Blood, number one, Virgin Variant. All right now, 15 bucks. That is Wolverine. an Intense cover. Intense. What the deuce? What's up, brother? Buy now 15 bucks for that one. All right. This is going to be a $10 lot. We've got four books. Starting at 10 bucks, we're doing Ultimate Armor Wars, the full series, one through four. Nice, friendly $10 lot. I think what the deuce. Did you see what the deuce said? Buy now. What the deuce. You got it, brother. That's all yours. I will put that Crash, in your Crash, fans. Crash Cam is asking you to check your Insta. I'm on it. Crash, doing awesome, it right now. Awesome, awesome. Wolverine, bad day at the dentist cover. What's the deuce? That is all yours, sir. That's going in your box. Oh Back my to the auction. Gosh. Let's get a starting line. Gorilla, if you don't mind. Yeah, what, what's the, what do you need? Us, how much? $10, please. $10 wow. starting line. We're looking at Ultimate Armor Wars 1 through 4. Somebody asked about condition on those books. Comics and lounge. On these books? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look. We'll look at they're uh looking probably very fine to near mint. Let's take a look at the spine. I mean, I hate to give grades. I'm so bad at it. I'd hate to miss something that I that I just don't see, but they look pretty sweet. I'll definitely show all of them. Come on, camera. Mm. 
in the case you're wondering let me put this up real quick here where is it ultimate armor wars right there bam for two thank you archangel send the payment received my friend number three And number four. The TV show is coming, isn't it? Or is it a cartoon? It's a TV show, um, but I think, I don't, you know, you know what it is? They, with, I think with the shows and the movies, they pretty much pull from, you know, they use the title and then they pull what they want, whatever story elements they feel work, which is fine. Agreed, agreed. I think I think uh, Riri is going to be a part of it too, so you know it's going to be big. That would be sweet. I mean, after the especially no spoilers, by the way, no spoilers in the chat either. I haven't finished, but after the success of WandaVision, you expect that Marvel's just going to keep going with TV shows indefinitely. I mean, oh, why yeah. not? There's nothing but. Why not? You've got like so many characters, you could just keep doing that in in a variety of different ways um dude they've got they've as long as they put good as long as they give us decent content yeah the people will come yeah did you hear they crashed the internet that night when it dropped that wouldn't surprise me yeah and i haven't seen the last one so please no spoilers i need to watch it still <laughs> but, yeah, they crashed the Disney servers. I've been you know, that's a uh, somehow I've managed to avoid everything on the internet so far. So well, I don't know how. <laughs> well, oh, I will. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Well, that one part though. No. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, god when Zeno showed up, I did not expect Speedball to make an appearance. <laughs> That's oh funny because there's absolutely no room and no appearance of speedball whatsoever. Where did ten dollars starting bid? <laughs> Ultimate Armor Wars one through four. There oh my god! I might have forgot to start the timer. Yeah, let's do a minute. I got Y'all pick these here. up, man. Armor yeah. Wars is coming to. Disney plus it's a cool it's a cool uh I do like the covers. Yeah, it's uh Marvel it'll... was doing a, a bunch of their covers like that with that design for a while with like the more white on top with the red. I, mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, and Ellis is doing the writing. Ellis, um I love his writing. I think it's Steve. Is it Steve Ellis? Oh my gosh. Todd, Todd, Todd. What did I do? I don't know. I, I'm lost around here. I've been trying to get. I'm literally trapped. I know. I, I've, been, yeah, I've been trying to get. Everybody's. Uh, Crash Gamma right at the buzzer. Since I've been hinting about the mystery boxes, everybody's. I mean, not everybody, but I've had a lot of people ask. So. I've been working on that all week, man. I think Looks we have like a winner. Thomas grabbing these for 10 right before the it, buzzer. Brother. There's the end line. Nice pickup, Cody. Crash Gamma. Mm -hmm. Not bad, brother. I will get a box going for you. If you remember just last week, he was upbidding himself. He has learned the ways of the auction well yes. in just a short week. Cool. We will move right over to double A. Cody, you know how to get in touch with Jim. There's his email. You can catch him on IG. Yep. Good Get in touch with me on IG or send me uh, an email to the email address down there. And if you need any help, just let me know. Awesome. Thanks, brother. See you next round. Awesome. Here's double A. All right. What's up, guys? So uh, 
New buy it now. We got X Men 166 for $13. VF Plus Near Mint Minus. Uh, the Shadow, I'm going to take it down to $4. $4 is a fine plus. Uh, so you can just say Bin X Men or Bin Shadow. Uh, and now, one of the moments you've been waiting for. Uh, it is. Batman 234, first yeah. Silver Age appearance of Two Face. Uh, now, some people would say there's another book, World's Finest, that's the first appearance, but that's actually Batman dressed as Two Face, not actually Two Face. I'm just saying. I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, so, this is a low grade copy. Um, so I'm going to start the bidding, uh, at 30 bucks and you guys are going to decide if this is going to go. Now it is complete. Okay. It needs a press. See, I'm showing you in the light. It definitely needs a press. The edges have definitely have some wear on the side. This is a low grade copy. It has staining, but the top staple is attached. The cover on the bottom staple is not. So it's attached at the top, detached at the bottom. The big defect is on the back. It's missing some of the back cover. But it is complete besides that. Now, again, you got some black here at the bottom. It is detached at the bottom, but it's attached at the top. It is complete. You've got staining all around, okay? Being super honest about condition. It is a low grade, but if you know Batman, which I'm sure some of you do, in high grade, this book goes for absurd amounts of money. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so, but it is a very presentable low grade book. Again, you got some staining over here off to the side. You know, it's got general wear. I would, I think you would have to call it like a 2.5 just because it's missing a piece of the cover on the back. But this is an extremely presentable copy. I think 1.5 is a little aggressive. 1.5 is a little aggressive comic book. Did you tell me a start line? <laughs> yeah, 30 bucks. Oh, one thing I dropped a start line and people are bidding. Goodness, yeah. I'm slipping. I got lost in your beautiful description. Well, you're about to get fired. Todd. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm worried. So there's the starting line, guys. Go bid it. Start bidding now. So Sorry again, if, uh, low grade. I'm calling it, my opinion, 2-0. Maybe 2-5 on a good day. Probably 2-0. I know people are into this book, so I wanted to really give a fair opportunity for the description. <laughs> Comics Lounge. It's a oh, nine yeah. eight. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. Look at that. Peach is in for thirty five. Monster Warriors in for forty. You know so, what, Comics Lounge? You're right. It's probably lower. Two five is aggressive. I'm gonna call it a two zero. -oh. But honestly, though, with CGC, I like to give a range. So what I will say is, it's not higher than a three five. That I will tell you absolutely. So I like to give like a range, but so it has issues, but for the grade that it is, it does present extremely well. PGX 9.4. <laughs> oh, Micah, you're hilarious. Um, I'm going to not comment on that. <laughs> but yeah, so it's got its issues. A lot of them on the, on the back. Yeah, no, it definitely depends on the day the person is having having one grading, which is why, you know, a press would help. But, you know, the cover gloss is there. It has issues, but it doesn't have any major defects in the middle or on their faces or on the title. So if you're going to and I have some low grade Batman books, especially older ones, if you're going to have defects, it's great to have them when it doesn't interfere with the display factor. Mm -hmm. So and it has some issues. I can just show the inside real quick. You know, it, it had some water damage at some point. You know, it's an old book. We've got about 43 seconds left on the clock. Page quality. But I will ship priority. So it'll be $8 shipping. I will ship it priority. Um, <laughs> Sam Blass and some duct tape, a 7.5. <laughs> Maybe restored. I mean, if you want to go that route. 
Um, uh, is the X-Men direct? Yes, it is. It is a direct. It is a direct, not newsstand. Yeah, it's direct. And I'm happy to send pictures of anything. If you guys ever want to take a look at something, I will DM pictures all day long. So, but again, you know, the bottom piece of the back cover is missing and it's detached at the bottom staple. And it's it has like lots of staining. High Hope's going to claim the X-Men. Oh, you got it. All yours. Thank you, sir. Is but, Gio here somewhere? Did I miss Gio? What's up, Mike? It a great. But a great What's up, JC? Gio, if you're here. I think a great you're here way somewhere. to start off a Batman collection. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of a Batman guy. This is my thing. But I, I mean, this is a book for me. If I see this book, I'm getting it. So Monster Warriors, the high bidder of 40. Polka Dot Peach was in at 35. That was the timer. Okay, Polka Dot Fold. So it looks like Monster Warrior is taking this down. Monster Warrior, oh. congrats. Really cool book. Really cool book. No problem, Keith. Thank you guys so much. So uh, uh, Monster Warrior, if you want to DM me, yeah, if you want to DM me, uh, and you can pay almost any way you like. So thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next round. Awesome. And we'll move right over to Sam's. Hey, hey, what's up, party people? Round two. Let's get it popping with some more buy it nows. Uh, first up, I have a BF Plus copy of Your Toxic Avenger. Nice newsstand. Good, clean copy. It has a little bit of color rub right over here. Uh, but she is a beaut. And we all know Dinklage is doing a movie. So get this now. Uh, 20 shipped. 20 shipped. But buy it now. Toxic cookies. Ah, and I will show this if you haven't gotten your spec yet for book lot. Cover A, number one. Cover B, number one. Second print, number one. Cover B, number two. $40 shift. Buy it now. Teen Titans. Red X. Red X. All right. Let's do a little bit of some Spidey. Let's do some Spider stuff going on this round. Um, we will start off with four books, four minor books, and then we can build from there. But there is one fun book in the start. So we're going to start this off with... Uh, Start this off at uh, 15 bucks. You have Amazing Spider-Man number 54, the nullified cover. I do love it. Then we have Webhead, the second print, the trade cover. Gwenom versus Carnage, cover A. And a nice copy of Spider-Man 2099, number one. So we'll start this off at 15 bucks and build from there. All right, we got 70 people watching, but only 40-something likes. Hit that gorilla, smash that like button. Smash that like button, y'all. Drop those cookies in the chat. Let us know what you want to see, and we'll pull it out for you. Uh, we got a great panel and a diverse group of people that got all kinds of books here. So if you want to see some jungle action, let us know. If you want to see some modern stuff, let us know. Josh Nunez, yes, I can. They're $40. Just let me know. Josh Rodriguez is claiming the Toxic Avenger. All right. Toxic is yours, Josh. Josh that's Josh Rodriguez, Josh Rodriguez, just to clarify. Hey, Josh Nunes, I still have books for you. If you want to DM me, if you have any questions, just let me know, Josh Nunes. All right. 15, book, 15 bucks starts this. Nunez, yes, put claim, and I got that for you. That's $40 shipped on that lot. And uh, Rodriguez, this is yours right here, Mr. Senior. I got you there. So both of those by nows um, are claimed. 
Again, 257, 257. Is that the, the Puma cover? I think I just sold that bad boy. Yeah. You better watch it, or Oregon. You might get a kitty cat in your next box. <laughs> you guys are Oregon. What? Yes, Josh, I have the detectives for you right here, sir. Right here. Buy it now. It's still good. Still good. I have those for you. Those are yours. Timer's about to pop. If anybody wants to put a bid in, $15 starting line for these books. Now's your chance. We got no action, and I have more books to add. All right. These other books would have came in. That would have came in at uh, 65, and this would have came in at 120. If anybody wants to claim it or drop some money in there before the end line, oh, we got 15 on the start. You got this. Oh, you got 15 from Josh, so he's going to take. He's got. He came in just before the end line, so Josh has whatever you are offering in at 15, and then you can make him an offer to upgrade. Absolutely, Josh. If you want these, um, this will come in at sixty-five, so another fifty dollars, and this is one twenty. Just let me know in the chat if you want one or both of them. This is your Virgin Number Two Red Webhead and your second print on Gwenham versus Carnage Number One, the In Hook League. Thank you so much. And look forward to seeing you third round, guys. Third round. Gorilla smash those likes. Okay, and we'll move over to Shelby. All right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> We're going to do a few buy it now really quick. And then I've got something special for you guys. Just for you guys, not for anybody else. But you won't see these things anyplace else. Not these books, what I have coming up. But anyway, buy it now. Uh, Batman, Superman, number one, $10. This is limited to 1,000 copies. This is number 616. Oh, that's kind of like the Marvel Universe. Oh, somebody better get that one. And then 614. So Batman, Superman, number one. Um, Clayton Crane, I believe, uh, cover, uh, $10. So you can do a buy it now. Whoops. And I'm going to have several buy it nows coming up uh, throughout the night. Ah! My next buy it now for now is going to be deceased number one. This is also limited um, to 1,500 copies. This is number 399, and this is number 400. So $15 for deceased number one. Uh, this is also... Clayton Crane. So buy it now, deceased. Buy it now, Batman, Superman. So if you're interested in either of those. All right. Something special just for you guys. Collector cards are getting hot. People are getting interested. This is out of my PC. So let me explain. Back in 1993... There's a group of seven people that went and formed their own company. Image Comics. I win. And they called it Image Comics. So um, they put out trading cards. So I have a set of the first seven promo trading cards, along with the little sleeve that comes with it that is the announcement of the trading cards with um, a little preview of what Wildcats look like. On the back, you can see you can match who all the people are in image. And then each of the seven beginning um, books that was published by image by the seven founders. All right, here are the promo cards. Um, so you have Spawn, Shadowhawk, um, whoever that is, other people, Savage Dragon, Cyber Force, Wildcats, and Wetworks. On the back, they are numbered one through seven to match 
the card. All right. So this is a promo set. Um, I will start this out at $20. And I actually have a few extra things I can add to it. This out of my PC. First promo set of the image. So $20 starting line? Starting line. I've got extra stuff 20. to add to it as we go up. So some history right here, guys. This is history. Like I said, it's in my PC. I'm, I can't take it all with me. You know, one of these days I will die. And so, um, you know, I'm selling off things. I come across them. So this is a bit of history. The first seven promo cards, which announces the beginning of the seven image founders each of their books savage dragon young blood wet works shadow hawk spawn wildcats and cyber force all right if we get up to we got paulo in that 20 all right, if we get up to 30, I will throw in the Christmas cards. So I have two copies of McFarlane's Santa Todd, one copy of Jim, Lee, Links. of Jim Lee's Holly Days, and then one copy of Rob Liefeld Santa the Barbarian. And these are all promo cards. Todd says, Santa Todd says, I love ya. So $30, I'll throw that in. And then if we get up to 40, These are promo cards from Advanced Comics. So these promo cards you saw came from Diamond. There was another distributor back in the day called uh, Capital City. And so the promo card for Death Blow. Oh, you got guys. all the goodies, Sheldon. Oh, Shelby. Look at me, Sheldon, Shelby. <laughs> Shadowhawk, Youngblood, and then Youngblood. And all these on the back say promo, not for sale. Um, okay, you so need we, got, to, we got Paulo in at 20. You need to make make a bid. I just had someone send me. I got I got people send me messages on Instagram about this. Y'all really need to make a bid over here, guys. Um, we got 75 people watching. I'll give you another couple seconds, a little while, 30 seconds. Just in case people are. So then, um, you know, I guess there's just one person bidding. Uh, so I was, I started that at 20 for 30. I said I would throw in. in at 21 now, so you got two bidders. At 35, I throw these in. Then at 40, this is the second gen of, of what was coming out. So these are all fully goodness. I don't think this book even ever came out. Rob Liefeld's Battlestone. I don't think it ever came out. Supreme. Stormwatch, Youngblood, the Max, which is my favorite card, and then the Pit. And again, these are numbered one through six. So you have the whole set of six promo cards that were put out for this second uh, wave of books from uh 
image. So all of that comes in at $40. So you get, like I said, numbered one through six, the six full promos, the advanced comics promos, and all of them, you know, say promo on the back. The Christmas cards, which you could only get through promos. The card that announces the image people, the seven founders, and then the original promo cards. So all of that for $40. Right now at 21, it's just this. We got Paulo at 20 and Keith came in at 21. Yeah, very classic. Out of the PC. So Paul, I'm going to autograph them. Paul, let us know what you want to do. Got some some classic uh, image cards. Paul will fold, so it looks like he's going to take down the the start for twenty one. It's up to up to him if he wants to upgrade at that point. Yeah, uh, Keith, you can hit me up over on IG if you want to make a deal on the rest of these. You know, you've been a great customer, so you know I'm always willing to make a deal, sir. I'm very happy that you have those. I know they're going to a great home, sir. Okay, awesome, Shelby. Thank you, Todd. No problem. We'll come back to me. How's everybody doing? Okay, thank you to the 79 people we got watching. You guys are awesome. Please, Gorilla, smash that thumbs up. Let us know you love us. Um, I got lots of books coming at you tonight, all kinds of stuff. I'm pretty overwhelmed, but it's a good overwhelm. Let's, uh, let's do a little Batman. I got a nice little one, two, three, four, five, six, like half of the uh, Jim Lee, Jeff Loeb hush run. Okay, I got six. Uh, books. Hugging on the hard strings with this one. I'm going to start it at 15 bucks because I'm going to drop the start line, get it going. Storytelling okay. and artistry at its finest. And I will show you what you got. We got 610 with with uh, Croc, I believe. Killer Croc. We got 615, awesome Batman and Nightwing cover. We got 616, the awesome Ra's al Ghul sword cover. 617, Batman at his parents' grave. 618, having dreams about the dead Robin, and then 619, I believe this is the Heroes Gatefold cover. So, what's up, Kevin? So, we got these six books starting at 15 bucks. We got Captain Ramius in at 15. Good to see you, Kevin Bixby. Good evening to the 75 people watching. Hope everyone's doing well on this Saturday evening. Definitely, please, Gorilla, smash that thumbs up. We got one What's of up, the Aiden? best Me? runs in Batman ever. The Loeb Hush Run. Ah, classic. That Jim Lee art. Man, I wish they'd pull Jim Lee out of retirement for a Batman book again. That'd be cool. That would be sweet. 
Thank you, Kevin Bixby. Definitely, Gorilla Smash the thumbs up. I like that. John Robson for 16. Yeah, you can't, you really can't, you can't speak highly enough about this run. Just quality, top to bottom. Every time I read it, it's just great. Okay, that's the timer. We did have a couple of bidders. So, hey, nice, Josh. We got John Robin at 16 with the high bid. Captain Ramius was in at 15. It's still open to anybody. Captain Ramius goes to 17. Okay, John Rob Fold. So Captain Ramius is going to take these down for $17. Nice pickup. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me drop an end line. Somebody doesn't sneak a bit in. No, I'm running out of space when things keep fa falling off of my desk. I do have some, some older, I think I have some older detective and Batman coming up, John Rob. So definitely try to uh, help you out there. So, okay. We will move right over to Beta Ray. All right. Thank you, everyone, for being here so much. Love these auctions. Such a good time. We've got a couple buy it nows. Let's do a couple buy it nows. Uh, we've got an amazing Spider Man Del Auto variant. Buy now 15 bucks for the Del Auto Spider Man number 46. Near mint copy. Beautiful copy. And a little DC love. Another buy it now for 15. Wonder Woman, number 750. Near mint copy. Monster book. Huge book. Buy it now, 15. A couple buy it nows there. Let's do some uh, Silver Age. I'm going to start this one off at 20 bucks. Got some Silver Age Daredevil. Copy of Daredevil. Number nine, August of 1965. Silver Age goodness. So let's talk condition here. We got a little bit of writing on the cover. Nothing too horrible. Apparently it's an A plus book. So yeah, condition is A plus. A plus condition, I guess. According <laughs> do do love a good A plus book. Daredevil number nine. Some old school Daredevil. This is a first appearance. I think it's first appearance of. This guy, I can't remember his name, the Inquisitor or something like that. He's, he's, spoiler, he's not a huge character. <laughs> no, he's going to be in the new movie. Yeah, right. Got Kevin Bixby in at 20. Roman Curtis is in at 21. Tony goes to 25. Kevin goes to 30. Mm. 
What's up, Doc Cop Comics? Good to see you, Doc Cop. Monster Warrior, that's right. Tales of Suspense 97 is coming up tonight. That's going to be a good one. That one's in great condition. Condition of this book, I, I low, I guess, because of the, the writing on the cover. Low grade, I would say. I mean, it's a silver age. Got a little bit of spine wear. Got Tony in at 32. Kevin Bixby's in at 34. Sean it's goes to 35. All, it's all there. It's still got its gloss, but you can see, like, it's got some spine ticks and stuff, which is obviously expected. You can see up there some color rub. Kevin goes to 40. What the do you Number nine. Roman goes to 41. Kai Hulk goes to 42. Kevin goes to 50. Kai Hulk's at 51. Tony's at 55. Tony, good to see you, brother. Kai Hulk, you too. Kevin Bixby, I didn't think I gave you a shout out either. Good to see you, sir. Sean Richards, Folds. Kevin Sean Bixby. Folds, Kevin Folds, Kai Hulk Folds. Um, I know Let Folded. Mr. Let was here. Holy cow, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Mr. Lett was no, a big inspiration for my background. When I saw Mr. Lett's channel, I was like, all right, I need to, if I'm going to go on YouTube, no, I need I think, to have a bad uh, ass Roman background. Folded. Well, what's up, Mr. Lett? Thank you, brother. Next round. I think we're going to have to do a little more Daredevil next round. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. It's a teaser. Next round, I'll do this one. Just Daredevil number five, yellow suit. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done? Who's who's still in, Gorilla? Do you know? I think, I think we're done. I think Tony's taking this for 55 because we got a fold from Roman Curtis. We got a fold from Kai Hulk. We got a fold from Sean Richards. We got a fold from Kevin Bixby. And I think that was everyone. Is there anyone I'm forgetting? I don't think so. What the deuce folded? I think that's it. I think I'm pretty confident that Tony that NY Jr. That takes Tony it down. Taking it down for 55. It. Okay, and I'm going to drop an end line. Tony NY Jr., thank you so much, brother. One of the very first friends I made on YouTube. Good guy, that Tony NY. Tony's that up. All yours. I will start a box for you. Thank you so much. All right. I'll catch you next round. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Hit that like. Awesome. Subscribe to the Gorilla Talk. Definitely. Put some Gorilla, gorilla. in the chat. Gorilla, smash that, that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Loves these Gorillas. Loves these. Thanks, Beta Ray. We're going to move right over to Double A. All right. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> new so. bin, Daredevil 25, second print, $3. Bin Daredevil. Uh, shadow still four dollars, so we're gonna be moving on to some of the bigger stuff, some main event attractions. So, this is a Thor lot, uh, it has Thor 2 the first print, Thor 2 the second print. It does have number five, so there he is, Black Winter, and this is a nice copy, and Thor number seven. We're gonna start the bidding at 30 bucks, it'll be shipped priority. And uh, I'll go over some few grading things. So uh, they all have, Todd, if you want to slip in a 30 when you get a moment. Yes, I will. And right now. Um, 
So this one has a few um, ticks. Some, a couple are color breaking. Most are not. A press would help this book a lot. Uh, is it a nine eight? Super borderline. Depends on who's grading that day. That's a forty dollar book by itself. Yup. Yep. So plenty of opportunity here. I'm starting low enough. Uh, number two. This is the second print. Again, in real great condition, maybe one or two nicks and very slight. A press would help this book a lot. Black Winter, perfect down the spine, has a little corner dingage action. I don't know if it would be 9.8 or 9.6 or 9.4. Again, depends on who's grading that day. So, yeah, but I'll get, I mean, I think we all know what this goes for in 9.8 even in nine, six, but this is a nice book. These books are down right now. And then number seven, just a cool cover add to the Thor collection, but great set of books. Um, and honestly, number, uh, five, first black winter. This is the first print alone. This is a $60 book. So yeah, I just sold my, uh, 9.8 to someone on the panel. Yep. Yep. So yep. <laughs> yep, yep. So I'd be happy to grab another raw copy at this low of a price. You guys are sleeping on an exceptional oh, door exactly. line. Oh, Southern Comic knows what's up. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah Daredevil's a bin. It's just $3. Yep, yeah, Daredevil's $3 for a bin. Yeah, like no, I said, that number two is still a high, high valued book, and number five as well. So, and there. Plenty media meat on the bone here. Yeah, I mean, even even if all of these are nine two, fifty bucks is still a snag. I mean, these are all great. So claim Daredevil, yours. But awesome. Figure at thirty bucks, plenty of opportunity, and we'll let the we'll let the chat and the powers that be decide. But. Some great covers in this run, actually. And I think they did really great with the second, third, fourth print. Um, but great set of books. So, and we got the key in there, not just filler. I mean, though, number two is a good one. But trying to bring the variety and a little, a little spoiler for next round. Something is killing the children. Number one, third print. I got some other heaters in here, but that to whet the appetite. That's coming. That is coming. But mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Evan says if you give him some cookie stamps, he'll let you have it. Between you two right now. 50 bucks is, I mean, <laughs> been something is killing the children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that series is amazing. Oh, man, you guys know if Keith is here and those books go up, break your wallets out. We, 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 let's, let's play Beat the Keith tonight, right? With some, something is killing the children when it goes up. Get so ready. Not, so Sans Folds. Oh, Southern, are you going to walk away from this for 50, brother? Ooh, that might be the steal of the night at the moment. That might be the steal of the night. Is that the Bell Todd? Yep. Oh, Southern, congrats, my brother. That may be the buy of the night right now. That's a, that's a solid pickup for 50 bucks. Congrats. Definitely. You got two, two excellent yeah, keys. That's awesome. Nice one. Nice. Congrats. Nice. All right, Southern. Yeah, we talk. We'll we'll talk on IG. We can go to the next one, Todd. Awesome. Thanks. Double A. What's up, people? Well, right, let me show some bite nails. I have CGC 9.8 white pager. This is your nice. Marvel Tail number one. Some good old spider ham goodies. 
great new label. Um, this is a buy it now for uh, four thirty five shipped. Four thirty five shipped. I love it. All righty. Let me go ahead and you know what? Let's do some Hulk. Let's do some Hulk. We'll have some fun with this. Um, this is going to be a nice four book lot. And we'll start the bidding off at $85. $85. So, um, by the way, the buy it now for the Marvel Masterpiece, someone did hit me on IG and pick that up. So thank you so much. Um, we got that taken care of. So IG is still the way to go. If you ever see anything from our guys, this will be $85 starting line. You get a Marvel Masterpiece. You get a Marvel Masterpiece. You get your 684 First Immortal Hulk. You get your Immortal Hulk number one, the Clayton Crane variant. Fire right there. And you get your Immortal Hulk number 43, the Era print cover A everyone's talking about. So $85 starting line. And this is the big book in the lot, guys. This Marvel masterpiece. It's going for a whopping, I don't know. But I thought it was a fun cover to throw in with this pot. Thank you, Doc Cop, for the fly. Eagles fly. Josh, I got your payment. Thank you again. Coming up in the next rounds, we have some great uh, X-Men goodies. We have a nice independent lot that was a great run last week with the independent. So we're going to bring those back again. Um, but right now we're focused on the Immortal Hulk goodies. Look this book up. That's a $70 book by itself, my friends. That right there is going for some nice pretty penny on eBay. This has the error in it um, because of the racial slur that's in the book. So that's there. This is just some nice Hulk art. And this is your first appearance of the Immortal Hulk. 684. $85 starting bid. $85 starting bid. Okay, we've got about a minute, 15 seconds left on the clock. Kai Hulk's in at 85. There you go, Kai. Oh, someone with the name Hulk, of course, they're going to be in. Welcome to the bidding, Kai Hulk, my friend. Still a lot of meat on the bone for whoever picks this up. You got a nice Immortal Hulk Clayton Crane that is super crispy. Guys, be sure to sub up everybody on the panel and gorilla smash that like button if you have it. Guess what? I'm previewing it. I'm telling you guys tonight, the cookie box is coming. We will have 25 boxes with awesome, awesome uh, GP. I'll tell you right now, the grand prize is going to be a CGC 9.8 ASM 361. But there will be a bunch of other slabs in there and goodies, so you'll have major hit opportunities. Okay, hit me up for the cookie box, guys. All right, we got a question. D-Max, um, they are crispy, my brother, D-Max. They are crispy. I'll take a minute to show you since you're asking. Um, this is the Immortal Hawk number one. Again, clean, sharp corners. Clayton Crane goodie right here. Such a good cover. It's a great cover. Amazing cover. <laughs> then you have... He's buying a cookie box. 
Thank you, Keith. Thank you, Keith. I will put you down, my friend. And let me show you. This is this is just a uh, nice throw-in, but it's still a good copy here. And your 684 is looking crispy, clean, fresh baked cookies, my friend. Fresh baked cookies. So if you have, if you're interested, drop a bit in because the end line is coming in, DMETS. We took 30 seconds to show you the conditions since you asked. But if not, the inline is coming in. So you got less than five seconds. All right. I think Kai Hawk is going to walk away with some great value. And my son is mad over there. He's like, that is crazy. He got all of that goodie. But that's how, <laughs> that's how we do it. Thank you so much, Kai Hawk, for bidding, DMS for asking, and keep for bidding that cookie box. You are the first purchase on that. And we got some great hits. Uh, like I said, the cookie box, of a cookie box. They are 250. We have 25 boxes, and more information is on my IG. I will be showing the rest of the hits starting tomorrow, but the first place is going to be. CGC 9.8 direct ASM 361. So thank you guys so much and look awesome. forward to bidding, throwing up some more good books, including some independents. Awesome. And welcome to the stream, Hunter. We're, we're just hanging out, solving some comics. If you have any questions, just let us know. First rule is you got to be 18 years old to bid or claim anything. Other than that, we can figure it out as we go. We're going to move right over to Shelby. What up, what up, what up, comic fam? All right, let's see. Uh, what do I do with it? Damn it. All right, I had those uh, Batman up earlier for Buy It Nails. Um, here's a few more Buy It Nails. Uh, Spider-Man Velocity. Uh, this is limited to 1,000 copies. $15. I have two copies of this. So Spider-Man Velocity limited to 1,000 copies, $15. You cannot beat that with a stick. Well, you could try, but it'd probably damage your books. So $15, Spider-Man Velocity, number one, limited to 1,000 copies. Um, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, number one uh, variant, $10. So two Spider-Man books, Spider-Man Velocity, $15. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, $10. So buy it now for both of those. Okay. Um, then for my auction, I was going through uh, the hip hops that I had left, um, seeing what duplicates I had. And I had four duplicates that I'm going to put up for auction. I'm going to start this out at $10 for four hip-hop covers. Uh, the first one is Unbelievable Gwenpool, number one. The second is Uncanny X-Men, number one. This is a little bit harder to find. However, it does have a little bit of a color rub there at the top. How much did you say you wanted to start this at? $10. Jean Grey, number one. Again, a little bit harder to find. And then that beautiful Bill Sienkiewicz artwork, Nighthawk, number one. So four hip-hop covers uh, starting at $10. Yeah. Shout, shout out to the chat right now. You guys are great. Hunter, welcome. Followed you back. Welcome to the live stream. What the, dos, what the deuce is in first at 10. Sans is in at 11. Yep. Yeah. So I see 80 something people in the chat, but only 56 lights. Gorilla smash that thumbs up button. Show some love. This is at 15. Comics Lounge, you're never too old to read a comic book. 118 is good. Grandma is welcome to join the live chat and buy comics if that's what she wants. I love rubbing my books. Mm. Shelby, we talked about this, not in front of the children. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. 
I'm Lethal Gwimple, numero one. Uncanny X-Man with a little rub up there. One. Jean Grey, number one. And then Nighthawk. Oh, I love seeing Kevin Charles work. He could draw anything. He could draw in a bathroom stall. I would love it. I don't care. Oh, my nose itching. Somebody must be thinking about me. Isn't that the way it goes? No clue. Okay. Okay, let's see. We got we got some bids here. I've been slacking. We got what the deuce in at 25, Sean's in at 30. What the deuce is in at 31. What's up, Comic Forge? Good to see you. We're having a great night. Thanks for stopping by. Sean's in at 35. Keith Folds. What's up, Forge? I know, Aiden. So you get to watch. What the deuce is in at 37. Guy says, What's up, Desire Comics? Welcome to the welcome to the auction. Welcome to the channel. Sean's in at 40. Desired. What's up, man? Sean goes to 45. Oh my god. Wish I had something to put in, extra to put in. I don't have any more hip hops. What have I got? Oh. Definitely. He spelled definitely wrong. I'm gonna take points off for that, Aiden. What the deuce is in at 47. Unless you meant defiantly, but I don't even think that's defiantly. Let me move around. Sean drops the fifty dollar high bid. That is the infamous double A you hear in the background, Comic Forge. It is. We got nothing but the best here, and and me. You sound like like his cousin from vacation. <laughs> uh, Indeed, it is I. Well, I didn't set the timer, but it doesn't matter. No one cared who I was until I put on the tie. Well, ooh, what happened? Ooh. Settings. What the deuce folds. We got Sean Richards with the high bid of 50. Sam's folded. What the deuce folds. You purposely spelled it wrong. Okay. Well, I'll give you bonus points. <laughs> you got it, Rock City. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Clever chats, but then I get distracted and I have no idea what's going on. Oh, <laughs> I know Sean is the high bed. What the news folds. Yeah, he's uh, taking advantage. Is there anybody else? Is there anybody else still in this? I don't know. Let's double check. Let's go back to the beginning. All these underbids confused me. What the deuce was in at 10, he folded. Yeah, Sean was in at 11, he folded. Box. What the deuce again, he folded. I'm not looking at the underbid, Sam folded. What the deuce folded. Then Sean Richards came in at 30 with the high bid. Then what the deuce, 31, but what the deuce folded. Sean's in the folded. Desired Sean, Sean. I think Sean has taken it down. Uh, I think with the $50 bid. Great deal, my sir. I'm finding something uh, extra though in there for you uh, for uh, the sales tonight. I really appreciate it. So, nice to make advantage you. of uh, filling up that box tonight, sir. Yeah, Brooklyn Bourne was an underbid. He was never a high bid, so I don't worry about underbids. I'm fairly certain. Brooklyn born bid 13 after what the deuce bid 15 and he was the second at 10. So there's never a high bid from Brooklyn born. Yeah. That was a long time ago too. So. Okay. Okay. So we're going to jump back to me, but thanks for looking at it. Ian. Okay. Um, I'm unpacking stuff. This is, this is okay. How about we do, um, some Spider-Man books by this dude named Todd McFarlane. I like other Todds, right? Thanks for doing the fold in there, Brooklyn Born. But like, yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, um, six books. We got 303, 
Spidey vs. the Sandman. Uh, this one has some fine ticks. It's a new Sam. Otherwise, it's pretty good. Otherwise, it's all there. Silver Sable appearance, too, in the Sandman. And then we got 304 after the Fox. Couple of ticks. But in pretty solid condition. Then we have, excuse me, 308. Few ticks in the spine, but otherwise a solid presentation. Uh, Three hundred nine. Again, these are copies. They look like they've been read a couple times. They have a couple of spine ticks, but not anything bad. And then three fourteen, getting kicked out of their building during Christmas. Look how sad Mary Jane looks. Yeah, what up, excellent. Some of these are newsstands. What's up, X? Hey, X Collect. I got a book from Barney for you, so I think you gotta buy something from me so we can so I can ship it. And then we got 320. So this is six McFarlane. Uh one, two, three, four, six McFarlane issues. I'm gonna start them. What's up, Faison? I'm gonna start these at 15 bucks. See what happens. I'd say they're all between fine and very fine, conservatively. Mm. Let me get the timer going. Got a fifteen dollars starting line. Thank you to the eighty-four people we have watching. Please, gorilla, smash the thumbs up. Where do I ship from? I'm in Las Vegas. You got Joshua in at fifteen. What the deuce is in at sixteen? Uh, different sellers are in different locations around the country. We use flat rate shipping, so. You know, should be standard shipping prices no matter where you live. We have we have big key books every every auction, Joey Fink. Um, some monster books. I, my advice is to jump on if you can jump on YouTube and join us here. You'll get the best experience from the auction. We got Kevin Bixby in at seventeen, X Collect in at eighteen, Louis B C in at nineteen. Hey, all my friends are here. Tony's in at twenty. Kevin Bixby's in at twenty five. Good to see you all. Josh Folds. Oh, Todd thinks he has friends. Oh, Shelby thinks he has a place to sell comics next week. <laughs> this is escalating so quickly. Oh, I don't, I, you got to understand. I'm just, you know, I'm, I have a wrestler's mentality. If you come at me, I just go right for the throat. There's, it, it's just attack hard and fast. Is, is that oh, legal oh, in wrestling? wrestling? What? Yeah. Is that legal in wrestling? Going after no, their it's throat? A mental, it's a mentality. <laughs> a Todd a goes bit. full Senator Palpatine. Right. I will make it legal. Sure, nice show call is I don't even make it like a question. Horizon uh, 6 goes to 26. Yeah. Well, goes to X folds. Todd uh, brings a knife to a wrestling meet. No, I don't need a knife when I'm wrestling. It's just wrestling. Kevin goes to 30. Then we got full, full, fold from Michael... Doc yeah. Cop and what the deuce. Louis yeah. B. goes to 31. Yeah, Todd coaches wrestling, not wrestling. But my dream is always to wrestle an alligator, to be honest. What was your finisher? Oh. 
come down to Louisiana and I can hook you up, my sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was the uh, NWO 84. I can't sure, so It's been a minute since you've been on the auction. We got to get you back on here. I know you, I'm going to jump on yours. You invited me, Tony Folds. Is there anybody else out there? You got Louis BC with the high bid of 31. Yeah, Billy, you, you can. You can bet. It doesn't mean you're going to win. <laughs> um, Joe, I lived in Florida for over 30 years. I definitely know where to go to wrestle a gator in Florida. <laughs> I literally know it. But uh, is there anybody else who's bidding on this? Um, I think I think Louis BC is taking this down for 31. I'm going to give it about a 30, about a 20 second timer. And I'm going to drop an end line, and Louis BC is going to take this down. It's hard to keep up all the banter and pay attention to the auction. It's good. It's always a good combo when we get together, my friend. Oh, definitely. We have a good time. It's, I'm just very saying, funny. it's too easy to lose track, but, you know, six issues of McFarland Spider Man. Good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to drop that end line, Louis BC. Congratulations. You got a nice little chunk of McFarland Spideys. Let me write you down. And thank you to the 84 people. Listen, 84 people watching, do me a personal favor. Gorilla smash that thumbs up. We got 84 of you here. Comic Hit 84 is in the, in the chat. It's a freaking... It's, it's, it's a... It's something. It's comic pandemonium. Pandemonium. Smash that thumbs up. If you would give all the gentlemen in here your subs. We would greatly appreciate it. Everyone yes. here is releasing content all the time. Yeah, sub, sub up my panel. Everybody's links are in the description. Sub me up. I'm driving my channel. I'm trying to get to 1,000. I got a cool contest going on. Check out the video. It's on my homepage. Think Sam's has got a contest going. Check his out. We're gonna move over to the Beta Ray Gym. All right. So happy to see everyone here. Great to be here. See all my friends in the chat. Good stuff. Love these Saturday night auctions. I uh, got some buy nows this round. Run through these real quickly. Marvel see, I Comics. I believe Ray when he says he has friends in the chat. <laughs> uh, so Marvel Comics one thousand. Uh, the Rob Liefeld variant. This is ten bucks. Buy it now, ten bucks. Near mint copy. Very nice. Ten bucks. Uh, Gwenem Carnage number one variant edition. Buy it now, ten bucks. Hi. Yes, please. Gwenem versus Carnage number one. Ten bucks. Buy it now. Pretty good deal. All right. And somebody's asking for keys. Next round, I'm going to be doing this one. Jungle action number five. Near mint. That's next round. So if you want a key, that's they don't get more key than that, really. Um, well, maybe maybe Kevin I Bixby. I'm maybe exaggerating a little bit. Kevin Bixby, Ben's Gwen. Oh, Kevin Bixby, Ben Gwen, you got it, brother. All right, we're gonna start this next round. Um. Let's start it at 20 bucks, just like the last round. This one's uh, Ooh. worth a bit more, but Ooh, this is Hot Devil. Tamale. Number five, but still starting at 20 bucks, nice and low. Somebody might get a good deal. Is that a Wally Wood cover? Uh, couldn't tell you. I'm not sure. Um, I don't The first see. Matador. It is the first Matador, yes. And the introduction of the new Daredevil logo and yellow suit. Classic. God, if I bought that, I would be so close to it. Is a wall. It would confirm. So thank you, thank 84. You for confirming. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, D Runk, 100% Wally would. If I yeah. got bought, I would be ever closer to my one through seven, but I don't know that my one through seven is ever going to happen. D Runk, good to see you, brother. 35. Davis Ryder's in at 40. Pete's in at 50. You got to believe. Uh, condition, Beta Ray. 
any uh, any major flaws or issues. We've got a crease right there. You should be able to see that crease. Cutting right through the matador. Yep. Slicing the matador down. Show you the spine here. Um, but yeah, Dick Ayers didn't start till the new costume, Todd. Complete, obviously, complete. Nothing's missing. Yep, absolutely. Davis Riders of 52. Daredevil number five. Classic. Yellow suit, Daredevil. That's freaking nice, D Ronk. Congratulations. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna say low grade. I can't can't imagine this being mid grade. Cover's still attached and everything. Got some color break increases. No writing on the cover. That's Presents quite nicely. Definitely could a, use a clean. I'd say that's an A plus. <laughs> You heard it. A plus condition. And I got a master's degree in education. Yeah, I think with a clean and a press, you got a pretty nice presenting book. Absolutely. So, yeah, definitely needs a clean. But definitely needs a press. Aaron Johns is in there at 60. But those are definitely pressable defects for sure. Definitely on the Absolutely. cover. <laughs> Get that to a professional and enjoy it afterwards. Daredevil number five. That's right. 1964 Daredevil yellow suit. Book came out way before I was born. Didn't have the opportunity to grab it off the shelf. Even at <laughs> 60, still a damn steal. A lovely 12 center. Look at the colors. The red is so vibrant on that. It just pops with the yellow. Jeez. We got Davis Ryder holding. Run. We got anybody else live. We got Farron Johns with the high bit of 60. Davis was the high at 52. He folded. What the deuce folded. Pete folded. Um, Doc Hopkins. 61. Farron fires right back with 65. Farron Johns comes in at 65. Barnes was first at 65. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in this condition on eBay, they start at 80 bucks. So not a bad deal. <clears throat> yeah, it's a, it's a great... Aaron Johns was at 75. No one's hurting at the moment. This is... <laughs> If there's such a thing as fair, we're looking at it currently. <laughs> That's what I like to do. I like to get those good deals out there. Okay, this Josh Holes and Ron Coles. I think this is going to go. Well, wait, Tony's still in. Can't count out Tony. Definitely Whoa. needs a press. Definitely needs a clean. Let's take a look at that Tony spine Harris again. Comes in at 76. Tony comes in at 77. Suddenly, this is a three way auction. No writing on this cover. Get your popcorn or chips as I hear them. It's about to be some fireworks. Let's get this book up there, guys. Baron Johns is the first to 80. Mr. Unknown, good to see you, brother. 
Tony and Wine back in the action. This is at 89. Tony's at 90. Mr. Unknown goes to 100. Bids over 100 are in $5 increments. So the next bid is 105. Definitely needs a press. Definitely needs a clean. As you can see, that white down there. That'll Baron clean John very Cole. nicely. Daredevil number five. <laughs> Single digit Daredevil yellow suit, baby. <laughs> so we got. Roman folds, Farron folds. We still got Tony out there. Mr. Unknown's got the high bid. What's up, Jay McRae? So I think at this point we're waiting on a fold or a bid from Tony. Tony's going to save a little bit on shipping with me because he's already got Tony a box going. Old, so oh, there it is. Tony's out. This is going to go to Mr. Unknown Comics. Mr. Unknown Comics guy. Nice pickup, sir. I'll get a box started for you. Next round. Jungle action number five. High grade. Mr. Unknown. Yes, thank you so much, sir. Nice pickup, brother. Classic. Okay. I got a little, a little additional something to add to this, to tonight's auction. This is a surprise to everyone. I'm bringing in another panelist. Oh, nice. We're gonna do something a little, a little special tonight. Mystery panelist, mystery panelist. Kevin Bixby joining us for the first time. Awesome, Mr. Bixby. But the Bix Tone Productions. Uh, a warm welcome to Gorilla Todd's Comic Bonanza. Um, Thanks for the work. We're gonna get you into the rotation. We're gonna go. We're gonna continue as we normally go, and I'll get you in after Shelby. But welcome, Kevin. Uh, you got some cool art. I, you were sending me some 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 pictures on the Instagram, and I was like, normally I'd be like, well, let's plan this out. But I was like, no, let me, let's let's get you in here and let's get this art up here. Because this is something that I think just will, will be something extra cool to, to for the people. Very cool. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks. Excellent. Nice work, Gorilla Todd, my yeah. brother. That's how you do it. Hey, you know, it's just bringing something extra special for the people. But right now, we're going to move back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Double A Comics. What's up, guys? Uh, new Buy It Now. Dead of Night 11, first appearance of the Scarecrow from Marvel. Fun fact, uh, they had Scarecrow, and then they had changed the name of this character because uh, DC has kind of a character named Scarecrow from Batman. You may have heard of him. No way, man. He just called he snapped the redesign in Batman. <laughs> so, uh, did, you, six did, you, did you see his redesign in Batman? No, no, no spoilers. He's I haven't seen it pretty yet. pretty snazzy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be sweet. I'm definitely glad I have my 189 tucked away. But this round, uh, as promised, this will be a Something is Killing the Children builder lot. Uh, I'm going to start with the number one third print and the number 10 second print. We're going to start at the bidding at $75. Uh, I've got some great stuff in here. So for, for a little preview... I have number eight, which has pretty much become a somewhat non-existent book on eBay at this point. Uh, the supply cannot keep up with the demand. And I have number six, which is somewhere between a 60 to an $80 book on eBay. So we're going to start at 75. Uh, if someone go, there you go, 75. Um, I'll He's go through. 75, Here he is, guys. We got to beat Mr. Lackey. Beat Lackey. So 
Number one is so close to perfect. It has the tiniest nick that you can only see on the front, not on the back. I don't know if they would give it a 9.8. It is very borderline. It's definitely a 9.4. I personally would call it a 9.6 to be safe, but I've seen 9.8s that look in worse shape. So full disclosure, there is the tiniest, it won't even show up on my camera, but there is a nick there. It's not on the back cover where it's all black. You can't see it. Double um, can you spine slide that? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good call, Sam's. Um, so I'm going to try and so it's right here and you can't even, okay. Yeah. We can see the tiny one there. Yep. Yeah. But the, she but then, is crispy. Yep. But if I go to the back, it's not there. So it doesn't it doesn't bleed through onto the back. It's literally just this tiny nick on the front. So that is still a big big book, y'all. The third print on something is killing the children. As y'all can see, every one of these issues are on fire. And the third, fourth, fifth, sixth print, you just grab them and stash them, or as Mr. Keith Lackey is doing, is squirreling them away for a rainy day. So this one has a couple ticks on it, but this is just like a nice throw in second print. Cool book. Um, condition of the, sh uh, the shadow is, I would call it a fine. Um, I got it for $3. It's number four. Yeah. So uh, if you guys go you to. You know when the other books come in. Uh, if you go to 125, I'll put in numbers. Oh, oh, sorry. Wrong one. 125, I'll put in eight. 125, I'll put in eight. Oh, I think everyone's looking for number five, Jose Rivera. I can't tell you how many DMs I've had over number five, and I don't even have that one. Yeah. So 125, I'll bring in eight, which, I, I mean, this is crazy. This is a $50 book now. Like, I just went to eBay. I think I saw one copy. It's absurd. The series is just on fire. So 125, I'll put in eight. Uh, if we go to, if you go to 175, I'll put in six. And uh, I'll put in the freezing cover 11. So you'll get all five in at 175. But... And then uh, condition-wise, everything has like one, pretty much one minor defect that would make me hesitate on calling it the 9.8, especially because I'm not going to be grading it, but they are in very good condition. So, I mean, they all have like one tick where you're like, is it going to make it? Is it not going to make it? They're all very borderline. So, but the corners are all great. There's no major flaws. Obviously they're complete. Um, they will ship priority. They'll all be bagged and boarded. They'll go into plastic and then I'll board them again. And then they'll go into a Gemini mailer. So no foolishness. Um, 125, the eight comes in <clears throat> at 125 freeze. Your shadow is sold. Yes, I, I can combine shipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three bucks, yours. Thank you very much. But sweet series. So I've got some that I'm sending out to CGC myself, but the series is amazing. I bought the trades. It's how much to get eight included? Uh, 125. Sorry, freeze. Mine is lagging a little bit. Yeah. 125 freeze comes in or eight comes in. Freeze. <laughs> 
I'll tell you what, for 125, I'll put in eight and I'll put in the freezing. And I'm happy to answer any questions about condition, go through anything. I mean, literally, it's all, you know, they all have one minor thing that could hold them back from 9-8. They're close. And that, and, you know, you guys know the CGC game. If you submit, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. So I don't. <laughs> Keith goes down. I didn't think I'd see it that quickly. That's funny. And again, I'll ship priority. I don't really yeah, mess around with media with mail or any of that. Um, So, and uh, 125, you get 8 and 11. And honestly, mine and under are all on the move. It's been, I'm sure like a lot of you, I've been watching them closely, and it's, it's pretty crazy. Tony's right back at 82. <laughs> Well, he's got to replenish after last week, Keith. Nice going, Tony. <laughs> nice going. <laughs> but. <laughs> of course, Keith. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm fast. i nickel and dime you all the way up, Tony. Gosh, you know what? I wish I had, like most of us, that sixth print. Oh, my goodness. That sixth printing. Oh, it's... you mean like Mr. Lackey has over there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sixth printing went nuclear. Nuclear. Can you bid the total? Uh, you have to be at least, I don't know if this is what you're asking, Lawrence, but you can, you have to bid at least a dollar more. Until we get to a hundred, and then it's five dollar increments. If you want it to go to one twenty five to add in the two other books, you can just bid one twenty five. And number six is still waiting in the wings, and that's another uh, that's another key, guys. I mean, everyone's going after number one, and understandably so. But I need legal advice. <laughs> Uh, the Scarecrow book is just a buy it now, $6, VG minus. So very, very minor key, more of like an interesting piece of Marvel trivia history. So first appearance of the Scarecrow, they, they later turned him into the Straw Man. They had to turn him into the Straw Man because DC has a character named Scarecrow. So kind of just a cool piece of comic trivia. But six bucks. Okay, we got Sam's group folding. Tony's at 89. I think Tony's the only bidder. Unless Cold Deep is All right, is that a is that a bid for ninety five, Cold Deep? Welcome to the auction. I don't recognize your name. Glad you're here. Um, not really understanding what the two means. 95. Okay. Okay. There we go. Tony goes to 100. Two, at 125, uh, 8 and so 11. All, all bids over 100 are in $5 increments. So the next bid is 105. $105. 
145. Okay. These are all in. Whoops. They got 125, and then Cold Deep goes 145. Uh, so next is 175. Number six comes in. Ooh, that's a big one, too. So you got number one, third print. You got number eight. Uh, you got number, ooh, got a mix and mash here. You got number 10. This is the second print. You got number 11, the freezing cover, which she has been killing it on this run. All right, 175. So six is in. Congrats. Number six, condition of six. All right, let me take it out. So same thing as number one. If I can get it close enough, it has a very slight break. It's very tiny. I can almost get it there. Those look pressable. Are they, do you, are they color breaking? So the one is slightly color breaking. The other one is not. The one is definitely color breaking. The other one you could definitely press out. And again, um, it's not on the back. It's only on the front. So the back is is clean. Tony's at 190. So it's it's really borderline. Like maybe they give you a 9.4, maybe they give you a 9.8, maybe they give you a 9.6. A press will definitely get the other one out, but the slight one, I don't know. It's it's really close. So I will ship them immaculately, but yeah, I cannot control the CGC peoples. But one, six, eight, ten, and eleven. So beautiful books here. Wow. Okay, so I'm having a little technical difficulties. We got Tony at 190. Cold Deep comes back at 205. Tony's at 210. Yeah, absolutely, Edwin. Yeah, and I'm more than happy to to send pictures always to communicate. Yeah, I, I want people. I don't want you to be surprised when you get the books. So if there's an issue, I'm just gonna tell you. I don't want any surprises. So. They're, you know, could they make a nine eight? It's it's close. I mean, it could go one way or another. They're definitely near mint. They're definitely near mint. But after that, I'm just. I mean, I don't mind grading to a certain extent, but once you get to nine four plus, that's really in CGC's hands. It's not up to me. But they, yeah, I mean, so one, six, eight, and 10 all have like the tiniest minor tick that doesn't go onto the back. And then 11 uh, has a slight here. I mean, 11 is like a, I think a four or $5 book. That's not really what the bidding's over. 11 has that at the bottom. Which I can almost, but. Yeah, Doug, I just, I hesitate to call almost anything a 9.8 because I'm not going to be grading it. So it's just, that's not really, I can tell you I think they're close. But. Um, I feel comfortable saying, yeah, they're near men. 
but calling something a nine eight is a different is a different category to me. And I just it's tight. So and I'd rather have you get them and be and be excited than get them and be like let down. So I'd rather almost talk them down a little bit. But I'm glad to see books getting a lot of hype that it's actually a really good story and a good read because these have been a tremendous read. Right. Okay, so cool deep, cool deep. If you're uh, not gonna, if you're not bidding anymore, give us a fold. Antonio, win the. Just type fold in the chat. Uh, okay, it's so. number eight, number ten, second print, number eleven, the freezing cover, number one, the third print, and number six, the first print. So you get one. Okay, Six, eight, ten, and eleven. So it's been a minute since the the bid cold deep. Um, it's been. A, let us know if you're going to bid or fold. That's possible. It's possible, Joshua. I have my I have my own guy that I use, but everyone's got their preference. But that is very possible. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with owning them raw too. I mean, I know it's sacrilege, but I have some books I have raw and some books I have graded. I do a little bit of everything. All right, no guts, no glory. The time is now. Yeah, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do a thirty second. Uh, it's been about five minutes since the last bid, so I'm gonna do a, a dusted timer for thirty seconds. Does that does that sound good for you, Double A? I think I think we've talked about it. They know if they're in or they're out. Yeah, let me do. I'll set a timer for thirty seconds. Dust the timer, and if that goes off, the end line's going to drop. Ten seconds. All right. There's the end line coming in. Tony, NY Junior, congrats. Something is killing the children. Appreciate Good. that. Um, you can reach me on Instagram, and uh, and we can talk. I'll get them shipped right out to you. We can move on to the next guy, Todd, to keep things going, but. Okay, I'm gonna move over to Sam. Mm, great freaking lot, double A. Way to lead the charge there, my brother. I think I'm going to follow you up with an independent lot myself. Um, let me show a couple quick buy and nows. We know this guy is coming. The boat Loki. Get him wise hot, the nice Stephanie Hans fried pie cover. I have these available. Um, they are 15 shipped, 15 shipped. My second buy now this round is going to be a Batwoman lot. You get uh, week 11 on DC 52 and Batwoman number one. This is a new stain. This will be 75 shipped, 75 shipped guys. So those are the buy nows for this round. And like I said, let's continue to in the train. Um, so we have one, two, three. Josh Rodriguez is kind of a Loki book. Okay, Josh, 
Loki is yours. I have about three more of those guys. So again, Loki, Loki claim. I have three more. Anyone can get them. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve books. We're gonna start this off at forty-five dollars. Forty-five dollars for twelve indie books, and we can build from there. We have some great additional variants to put in here, but we're gonna get started with. Radiant Black, number one, great new series. Four kids walk into a bank, the fried pie variant. Ha ha, number one, the second print. Ha ha, number two, cover A. Cover B, I might have them backed up. I think that's the B cover. Then we have that big book that snuck up on everyone. A girl walks home alone at night, number one. This is the Alan Qua cover trade. We have Knock 'em Dead number one. Great new indie series from Aftershock. We have your number six uh, cover A first print, cover B first print. Then we have Ice Cream Man number, uh, this is number 10. Ice Cream Man number 20, the local comic book shop day, and number 22. $45 starting bid for 12 books, and we will build from there. Okay, Sean, I see you in at 45. 45, do I hear another? Uh, look at Sam. Look, look at Roman. <laughs> hey, Roman, no. <laughs> <laughs> I call Roman Snorlax, man. We'll we'll be on a we'll be on an auction together, and all you hear is somebody snoring on. You're like, is Roman sleeping again? That's Snorlax over there. Big old Pokemon Roman. <laughs> Got Marco at fifty. Hey, Mark. Thanks for jumping in on this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, that. We got some great variants in this in these lots. Back at 55, Marco at 60. All right, now we got to 60. I'm going to throw some more books in. I'm going to show you what's coming in. The next set of books that are coming in. All right, so you have these three books, these four books coming in at 60. So you got your hot book, Maniac in New York. This is the 1 in 15 or 1 in 20 cover. Um, great. Another hot book from Aftershock. You have Ice Cream Man number 11 for cover A. Ice Cream Man number, uh, no, excuse me, this is number 10. That's your, that's your cover B on number 10. This is number 11. And you got Department of Truth number 5. The C cover, which is really, really burning up the charts. So that is coming in now, guys. So you now have four more books in that slot. It's 16 books, and you can't see that right there. So let me cycle through them again. Boom. All right. So you got your Maniac in New York, your Ice Cream Man cover uh, A of number 10, Ice Cream Man number 11, Department of Truth, this is number five, the C cover, Ice Cream Man number 20, number 22. Radio 70, Sean comes back at 75. Kid walks into a bank. Number one, Fry Pie variant. This is a great book right here, guys. Ha ha, number one, the second printing. Ha ha, number two, cover B, cover A. And a girl walks home alone at night. The great indie um, hit from Alan Qua. Knock them dead, number one. Department of Truth. Number one, uh, number six, excuse me, Department of Truth, number six, cover A and cover B. And then back to your ice cream mats. All right, how are we doing? What comes in at 100? Game Swapper knows what's going on. All right, let's play no more games. So at 100, 
I have two more books coming in. At 100, I have The Last Witch and Solid Blood, 17. The Last Witch, your sketch cover. This is a number one indie lot uh, right there. And this is Solid Blood, number 17, all high grade. These come in at 100, 100. This is quite the indie lot. All the stuff in here. This is nice. Get those cookies in chat. Hey, all of them. All we, got of it more book, we got more books coming down the pipeline. Gosh, and something comes in later too. Oh my goodness! We got more books. More variants. We got more books. Jesus. And we got more books. So, one stop shopping it. right here. One stop shop. All your favorite indies are coming in, guys. All your favorite indies. Oh, man. Guys, remember to gorilla smash that like. If we get up to 100 likes tonight, I will be giving away a, a giveaway. Thank you, everybody, for dropping those cookies in the chat. Much appreciated. Thanks for showing that love. We got about three or four bidders in. Sean goes to 85. 85. Do I hear 87, 88? All right. All right, guys. <laughs> so you are at 16 books right now. And remember... The next two books come in at 15 more dollars. These are worth about 30 to 35 between the two of them right there. And then we have, then we'll start getting into the bigger books. And I'll tell you what, because I don't want to hold everyone hostage here tonight. Let me tell you what comes in next. All right. So at 100, those two books would come in. At 165, both of the ha-has would come in. This is your ha-ha number one, the Megan Hutchinson. It is a limited print run of 250. This is the color splash. This is your, this is your color copy. This is the Simmons ha-ha number two virgin cover. So both of those would come in at 165. And then at 200 and 240, both of these come in. This is your Something is Killing the Children, number 15, the Sanchez variant, and A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, the virgin cover, the virgin cover. So 240, everything is in at 240, guys. So but right now we're at 85. Thank you so much for bidding. Thank you, everybody, for dropping those likes. We have one, two, three, four, five, six more books that can go into this lot. Guys, you know, these ice cream mans alone, each one of these books are about 15 to 20 bucks. So if you haven't looked up these runs, any any of them before number 20, before it started getting hot, are still hard to find, low print. So make sure you, if you're looking up this lot, I know it's a lot of books, take a look at it. Also, your Department of Truth is on fire, as you know. So take a look at that book right there. Number five, the C cover. More ice cream, man. Radiant Black for your spec. This is a number one book. Great to have. Look at Jay doing some moving along. Thanks, Jay. What's your crispy $1 bill tonight, good sir? So game swappers, you saw what came in at a hundred. Are you gonna drop a hundred for us? Or oh, even yeah, if you need you to bid or fold, please, because you know nobody wants to slow down the auction, but we've had some time here to, to think about what we're doing. We got Sean with the high bid of 85. Um we got Marco and slabbed some Mark Foles. We got slabbed addict in. 
we need our folder and then a fold. Okay, so we got folds. I think that's it. I think that's it. So Sean's going to take this down. End line coming in. Boom. Thank you, Doc Cop. Guys, remember, smash that like. We'll get a giveaway at 90, at 100, excuse me. And also those sans boxes, the cookie mystery boxes are available. Hit me up. $250 shipped on your mystery box. Thank you so much uh, for picking this up, uh, Sean. And I will talk to you guys next round. Okay, let's move over to Shelby. All right, all right, all right. Oh, man. I'm not sure how to follow all this up. Goodness. All right, still got some buy it now. So I'm going to show these one more time, and that's it. Um, so we're not slowing up things. I've got Batman, Superman, number one, $10 is limited to 1,000 copies. 1,000 copies, Batman, Superman, number one, $10. Buy it now. Deceased, number one, $15, limited to 1,500 copies. Deceased, number one, $15. Last time you'll see that, so get it now. Um, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, number 10. And then I'm doing a little bit of a deal here. So I showed this earlier, uh, Spider-Man Velocity, number one. I also have... Uh, velocity um, Virgin. So together, these would be uh, $35. One's 20, one's 15. Um, for tonight only, I'll do this set for $30. $30 Spider Man Velocity uh, Virgin and um, regular cover. Uh, $30 for that set. So Spider Man Velocity, $30. Tonight only. Okay, for my auction, uh, do some Bronze Age. Uh, these are mid-grade, I would say 6.0. Uh, one or two of them may be 7.0, 7.5, but I'm just going to say an average around 6.0 to 7.0. Um, for Bronze Age books, I'm start this out at $30. So you have Marvel Chillers, number three, first... Uh, Full story of Tigra, the werewoman. Brr. Bernie writes an art on that cover. I'm not sure if he did the interiors, but uh, Bernie writes on that cover there. Uh, Marble Chillers, number four, Tigra, parents of Craven, the hunter in there. Marble Chillers, number five. And then Marble Chillers, number six. So, parents of Red Wolf and um, maybe John Bernard on inside. I'm not positive on that. Um, so, yeah, four great books. Uh, this book in 6.0 is going for about $60. Um, so, I'm starting to set out at half, half of that. So, $30 uh, starting bid for the set. Great Bronze Age books. Okay, we got a $30 starting line. Let me get you a timer. Tiger is a great character. She was part of the West Coast Avengers. Yep, some great books. You know, these Bronze Age are heating up. Um, but yeah, great stuff. I love these 70s. Kind of Marvel horror books. Um, this is one of my favorite series. Uh, I was able to find them at a good price. And it's like, you know, I'm passing these along to, uh, you know, the viewers, um, to the comic fam, because they need to really experience some cool Bronze Age Tigra, the Werewoman. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I even got a tiger statue up there. Uh, I love it. I look at it every night. I hug it. Yeah. Actually, number three is probably the best copy in here. Um, it's got a corner, little blunted corner. 
that's a hair. But the spine for a black cover, it's not bad. It's really not bad. Um, and you can see there's really no corner dings or anything. And I do have it in this kind of matted uh, matte, uh, color bag because they're a little bit thicker than normal bags. But I can pull it out if you need to. But yeah, this might actually um, get up there to about 8.0, but you know, I'd say 7.5 conservatively. It, it's a clean book. The number three is the best one. Um, number four could use a press. Um, again, really no beans on the on the edge there. The corners are a bit blunted, and there at the top, it's just you know it's just worn a little bit. Um, oops. Number five, what's holding it back is this top corner. If I can get it to focus. That top corner is a little rip there, and that hold it, holds it back some. And then, oh, number six. Hmm has a bit of a crunch here at the staple that holds it back for me. But again, no big color breaks or anything. It, you know, they're just overall, you know, they're 70s books. You know, they haven't been put into bags and stuff. Um, you know, they were in someone's collection. You know, they were taken care of, but, you know. We got, that was the timer. Looks like we got one better dot cop in at 30. That was the timer dot cop, so the inline's going to come in. All right, great dealio. Awesome. Yeah, we will wrap him up for you, buddy. You know, I'll send you an IG. You're welcome, man. I love dealing with you. I don't think I don't think uh, you bought anything in a while, but happy you got these because I know they'll go to a good home and be loved. Awesome, awesome. That good. makes me feel special and warms my heart. Nice lot, Shelby. Okay, I know you guys have been waiting. Ninety-three people waiting. I appreciate every single one of you. Please, girl, let's smash that thumbs up. And welcome to the Gorilla Todd Comic Bonanza, Kevin Bixby. Thank you, fellas. I appreciate it. Working on something special uh, that will go up in later rounds. It's just going to be for this show. But I'm going to start off with some Yusagi Yojimbo fun. We're going to start this off at uh, $10. If I can get this squared up. Okay. Um, with me, you always get some extras, too. I throw some stuff in the package, but all original art. Um, Copic markers. All kinds of goodness. Tacoma's coming right out of the gate for 20. What's the shipping cost? Uh, you know what? It's going to be, I think it's like $5. Okay. Because, um, I put them. So what I do is I sandwich this between two comic boards and, uh, send it off in a, in a mailer. So it yeah, that go first class. So, and I usually send these out, uh, priority two day. Okay. So five, he's saying five bucks for shipping. Sands is at twenty five. Tacoma is at thirty. Thank you for dropping his Instagram link, Lisa. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you get to see what I do. Uh, I do uh, IG videos every once in a while. Actually, one of the pieces that I'm going to be throwing up in a uh, in a round or two. Uh, I just did a IG video on last night. So you get to see the progression of how it goes, plus uh, 
my son loves it when I go on uh, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook live. So you'll hear him in the background. He wants to come up and sing songs and talk and tell how awesome how he's an artist. So to be five. So. so let's see what do we have we got Tacoma at 30 I got a timer going we got about a minute left so all original art you can even see I do a little special thing if it'll focus I know my lights a little bit bright I do a little bit little signing on the back. That's actually one of the things I do. So if anybody ever comes and, and asks if it's a picture that I've done, that's the first thing I do is check out the back and look for my marks. So, but you can see the marker bleed through. It's not a print. This is all original. Very cool. Very nice piece of work there. Thank you. Love you, Saji Jimbo. I have an original. I don't know if you've ever seen, I've showed it a couple times. I have an original from Stan Sakai. Oh, that's nice. I actually, so um, I was involved in uh, comic books for kids, put out a coloring books for kids. And what they do is they hand them out to uh, kids in hospitals. Uh, and Sakai was one of the artists that contributed. We had a big signing and I thought, I'm going to get to meet Stan Sakai. This is awesome. And of course he didn't show up, but Still, just to say that I'm in a book with Stan Sakai is... is um, yeah, seriously. Well, that was the timer. We got, I think we got Tacoma with the high bit of 30. Sans all right. So he's going to take that for 30. That's a great price and a great piece of art. Tacoma, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. congratulations. Is this your first sale on a YouTube auction? Uh, on a YouTube auction, it is. It is. Awesome. Usually, um, like last week, I did uh, AMKM's uh, Sunday Fun Day show and did a uh, Wanda uh, Maximoff. Um, and then they auctioned it off on uh, their auction later that night. So, or not auction, they uh, raffled it off on their auction. So, this is my first YouTube sale. Thank you, Todd. Awesome. Congratulations. Nice. So, Tacoma hit me up on IG and. Uh, I think I've bought some stuff from you before, so I'm pretty sure that we're friends already. But uh, hit me up, and uh, I will get this out on Monday. Awesome. And we will come back. To and just a, a little uh, preview of what we got. I'm only going to show the corner. <laughs> Hilarious. If you guys can guess who that is. But that'll be coming up. Kevin, do you do Cash App? Uh, I do. I do. I have. Okay, cash. cool. Tacoma likes Cash App. So, awesome, I, awesome. this is one of the reasons why I got Cash App because there were some comics I really wanted to get. <laughs> I feel you. Okay, awesome. So, thank you to the 94 people we have watching. Please, Gorilla, smash that thumbs up. Okay, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get close to a thousand subs. Every time I look at my analytics, it tells me about 20% of the people who watch the channel aren't subbed. So if there's 94 of you, I should be able to get a couple of subs. If you're hearing me, please hit that sub button, hit that bell. If you like the auction, you enjoy. Thank you, Farron Johns. Just got the notification. Appreciate the sub. You never know. Even if you think you're subbed and you've been watching a while, double check. Because sometimes it will trick you. It will trick you. Okay. I've been working on a couple of buy it nows. Let me see if I can get a little organized here. Okay. I got a Venom 28. This is an Alex Gardner exclusive, $15, if anybody's interested. Yeah, no worries, bro, no worries. 
Okay, I'll check us. I'll, I'll check Sterling. I appreciate that. Does yeah, sub, sub everyone up, guys. Follow everyone. Always releasing different content. Lots of different stuff out there. You know, definitely double check. Make sure, please. Um, Venom, and check out my quest for a thousand subs video. It tells you how to enter the contest. You can win. There's a couple of nine eight slabs I'm giving away, plus Gorilla Bucks. You can use at the auction. So Venom twenty eight, Alex Garner, fifteen dollars if anybody's interested. And then I have a Virgin Venom by Philip Tan for fifteen bucks. Let me know if anybody's interested. I got a couple of Vampirellas. This is a New York Comic Con exclusive. And these are all 15 each. I got some Peach Momoko. I have the, the regular. This is Dynamite number one, the regular Peach Momoko virgin variant. That one's 15. And then I got the zombified for 15 peach momoko now i will do do you want both of those josh let me know if you want both virgins and then i had the 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 one venom was a virgin so make sure you let me know which one do you want specifically Wow, thank you, Hunter. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I you may be right, Jay McCray. I don't know for sure. You know, I honestly don't know. That's why, I mean, we'll definitely be wary if we see him come through again. And then I have, uh, this is a connecting cover set, uh, 15 a piece. I, I like to sell the set. So, Josh, you want all four? Okay. I think, Sterling, I think he beat you to the punch. So, Josh, if you claim all four virgins, if I'm understanding you right, these are the four books you want, $15 each. The first Venom, the New York Comic Con, and the two Dynamite number ones. And then you want the connecting covers, Josh? Okay, sorry, Sterling. I think he beat you to the... Well, wait. Vampy and Red Sonia. If Sterling wanted these two, Josh, I think he beat you with the Vampy and Red Sonia claim. Let me know, Sterling. Were you claiming the, this Vampy and Red Sterling? Because I got your claim before Josh did the connecting cover. So I want to be fair. And you'll get the uh, these two if that's what you were claiming, Sterling. Otherwise, I think Josh had the first bid when he bid the first claim when he bid for the four all four first virgins. Yeah, he he's got he you you said claim connecting, but he said claim Vampy and Red Sonia just before. So I want to be fair. I appreciate that, Josh. So, Sterling, you'll get these. These two are going to go to you. Let me just write that down so you don't forget. GT, um, did you see the chat from Jay McCray? Yeah, and, and I addressed it. I mean, I, I don't know that they're wrong. You know, I don't know that they're right. I can't. It's a tough situation because, you know, I can't accuse people outright when they come in and bid. We'll keep an eye on it, though. And I said, if he comes around again, yeah, definitely, we'll be wary. 
Absolutely. You know, but you know, we had to dust them, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be quick to want to accept bids from him again. Unless somebody can vouch for him. Um, and then Josh gets these four for 60. Okay. Just want to make sure I get the names on those. So, and then I had a couple other odd price ones. I have this Spider Gwen book. It's a connecting cover. I don't have anything it connects to, though. That one, it's a, it's a comic exposure. Five bucks if somebody wants that Spider Gwen. Yeah, I agree 100%, Jay. I'm not disagreeing, but, you know, I, I don't know how to, you know, unless I just, you know, we, we'll, have to, we'll have to discuss it with my panelists, you know. I want to keep the auction moving. Um, I got this Joker, Harley Quinn. This is the Joker year of the villain number one. That's nine bucks if somebody's interested. Okay. And then I have this amazing Spider-Man 49, which is Legacy 850. This is the um, Ron Lim homage cover with the Green Goblin. That one's available for $20. And you know. Okay. Before I get these back. Okay, I'll have some more buy it now for next round. Um, let's see, I got this for auction. We'll do this could be like a little builder lot. I have uh, one through six of Star Wars Target Vader. I have a, I think this is a mini series. One, two, one, 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 one two, three. Six issues, uh, Target Vader, one through six. I'll start this at $15, and we'll see how it goes. If there's interest, I'll have some more Darth Vader books that I can potentially bring in. We got Josh in at 15. So we got number one. Target Vader number two. Little Gengar action. Number three. Number four. Cool arms eye view cover. Number five and number six. Uh, I believe it's a six issue series. So there's six in the lot. I have one through six. I 
have uh, have a spider going by it now for five bucks. And then I have the Spider-Man 850 by now, Ron Lim cover for 20. Um, yeah, I mean I have Another Vader series, uh, Vader Dark Visions 1 through 6, you know, but I bring that in, and I mean, from here it would have to go to like 45. I see you're saying 100 for everything, Drew, but honestly, um, I think you're new to the chat. Unless somebody knows you or can vouch for you, um, you know, I really can't take that seriously. So, Josh, if you want to do 45, I'll throw in, um, you're going to go 45, so I'll throw in, the, this is uh, Vader Dark Visions 1 through 5. These covers are really cool, man. We got Vader on a horse. Vader with a reflection. Number three. You don't often see Vader with a woman. That one's pretty cool. Yeah. And then number five. So you got that at 45. And then I got the last book I have. If you want to go another $10, I have a Vader down number one. But you might have that. I don't know. I'll do that. I'll throw that one in at 55. That's up to you. But I'll drop an end line. You can have this at 45. You want 55? Okay, you got it, Josh. $55. Nice stack of Darth Vader books. Yeah, Two Face already went up, I think, Dallas. What's up, Weapon X? Okay, let's move over to Better Ray Gym. Yeah, it's a, you know, Friday night. What are you going to do, Doc Cop? All we can do is our best. All right. So, yeah, we're going to be doing this this round. Very nice copy, Jungle Action 5. But before we get there, let's talk about a little... Some buy it nows. Tyler Kirkham, King of Black variant, number three. Buy it now. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Sorry, I disappeared there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> you go back. There you go. Adam, 28. Tyler Kirkham variant. Oh, Saturday. You're right. I lost track of the days. Ten bucks for that one. Perillo, ASM 44. Fifteen bucks for that one. 
And this is uh, Symbiote Spider-Man number one. Jason Cook's buying two, I think the second book. He says it's been two. Which one was two? I think it was the uh, Venom 28. Is that the one? And he wants the bin four. And this one, I believe. All right. Jason Cook, you got those two, brother? <clears throat> All right. So we still have these other two books left again. $15 buy it now. And a $10 buy it now. Awesome. Thank you, Jason Cook. So let's get to the auction. Oh, Geo. He wants that ASM. You got it, Geo. No, Dallas. Actually, we're not. We're not, man. I don't, and I don't want, I do not want new people to get like a stigma like they're not welcome. So, Dallas, we're absolutely not talking about you. It was from earlier on in the auction. Welcome. Please know we want you here. Um, and we're, we welcome new new bidders and new participants. It's you know it's part of uh, you know it's the nature of dealing stuff online. I mean, there's some people who are going to come out and play games, and you know we're going to do the best we can to to try and keep things you know running as smooth as possible. Um, and I don't want to anybody to feel like they're not welcome. So this is an absolutely beautiful copy of this book. Gio wants to know if the Del Lotto is still up for grabs. Uh, no, that one. This is the only one left for the Buy It Nows. King and Black, number three. Ten bucks. Tyler Kirkham variant. Not bad at all. I appreciate it, Dallas. But if you want to see some more uh, picks... I've got a couple posts on this book. Uh, one of them has quite a few picks, and another one has a couple. We're going to start this out nice and friendly. I hope I don't lose my shirt on this. Uh, 20 bucks. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's have some fun. And again, this is a absolute beauty. You said it was a gelato from the previous round. Oh, from the previous Oh. Okay, Comics of the Minds in a 20. Doc Hop goes to 75. I have two copies available. 15 each. That 21's not going to work, Double A. We're not playing blackjack. Great estimate. It all I'm happened this so at fast. Least the nine. <laughs> okay, we got Airboy in at a... Jay McCray was in at 80, but then Airboy came in at 100. I Joe didn't Blow think it'd stay a, there, but... a hundred second. Joe Blow is legit. I know Joe Blow. I know the name is a little funny, but I vouch for Joe Blow. Doc Cop's in at 105. Jay McCray's in at 110. Discovery Bay's in at 150. I literally had the jeweler's loop out looking at this book. It's, it's amazing. It's an amazing condition i mean i'm not going to say nine eight or anything but with a clean and a press oh my it's oh my a contender it's a contender it's pretty like there's a little section on that corner that's easily pressable this nice white cleanup so nicely Looks the real deal. Mm. If you want to see the back, it, all right, let's do it. Wish I like to to up, you can always do the cheat and pull the board out. All right. As you can see, it could use a little bit of a clean, but it is just immaculate. So nice. So let's look at this these corners here. As you can see, that definitely needs 
press. It's got just a little like fold up there. That can be pressed out. Quite confident that can all be cleaned easily and pressed. Nice, sharp, sharp corners. It's got all of its luster and beauty. Jason at 205. That's, that's the same as me. Still got the luster and beauty. <laughs> Story checks out, brother. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful copy. I think Gio's claiming the ASM 46. Gio, you got it. 225. Damn, that book is so crispy clean. Ooh. Sean Ryder's in a 250, Discovery's a 275. I have my Black Panther 1 at CGC. I can't wait till it comes back. I'm stoked. But all 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 the Black Panther keys are just There's not even it's it's great cuz there's not even like a movie right now and they're all still moving at warp speed. The first appearance has gone up crazy over the last year. Sean Ryder's at 300. Glad I picked that one up when I was in middle school. Definitely a good call. We made some questionable ones, but that was a solid one. Yeah. Discovery's at 325. What's up, JC? that beautiful color this book was well cared for sean's at 350. Discovery goes to 400. Sean Ryder goes to 420. Jay Folds. Airboy Folds. Discovery Bay folds. Looks like Sean might be taking this down to 420. I'm not sure who else we got. Let's see. Discovery folds. That means J folds, Joe folds, um, Doc Cop folds, Airboy folded. I think that's it. This is truly a gem. Absolutely, our boy. Yeah, you know your books, brother. <laughs> Pounce on the mind if you're out there. I need a fold from you because you were the first bidder at 20. So technically you're still in. So just fold, you know, type fold if you're 
watching comics on the mind, please. I have decided to fold officially. <laughs> What's up, Mr. What a, Taz? What a what great book. Tools? It might be, Keith. I know it's got... I'm not sure. I think it is. I think it is considered a reprint. Oh, he did fold. You did fold. I'm sorry. So I'm going to drop an end line. It looks like Sean Ryder is taking this down for 420. Congratulations, Sean. Sean always seems to be around. Pops up. Beautiful copy, brother. This... Take good care of it. If you do get it pressed, cleaned, and slabbed, please let me know. I'm at least a nine-two. I'm thinking it's oh, it's so nice. I'd love to hear what it comes back as. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And let's uh, let's tease the next round real quick. So next round we'll do first Whiplash Tales of Suspense. Really nice grade two. Not like that last book, but really nice grade. <laughs> so that'll be the next round see you then thank you nice nice uh jim what's your paypal is that what it, is it your email that's on the screen yep right down there that's my paypal and my insta i'll put my insta uh in chat as well if you have instagram cool cool there you go and kevin let's have another one of those awesome paintings drawing sketch marker creations well thank you to the 95 people we got watching we got a good crowd tonight i wouldn't go to sleep now kevin's gonna show some some beautiful work now is not the time to go to sleep now is the time to pay attention you unmute muted. yourself sorry i'm muted uh okay. at the build up right there hopefully i can live up to it all right, so this round, we have the Daredevil. Nice, nice. That's the, the proto training Daredevil. That is that. This is uh, this is still one of my favorite Daredevils. I, I mean, I love the red suit. I love the yellow suit, but I love it when uh, Frank Miller just had him in the mask, and mm -hmm. I thought it was pretty nice. We're starting this one off at ten bucks. Ten bucks. Okay, here we go. Boom. Yeah, he Keith is right. You you had teased one with a unicorn in the corner. I'm what still happened? working on it. Oh, you're still working on it. Still working. That's coming. If we can get this up to, if we can get this up to 20, I will throw in a Supergirl. Josh is in for 10. 10 more dollars gets another sketch. 10 more, two pieces of work. I told you I got a drawing tablet for my computer, right? Yeah, you showed me last night. That's pretty nice. I'm kind of getting. I'm. I'm kind of starting to figure it out a little bit, like how to use the layers and stuff. Yeah, there's. Uh, like I know, I know Photoshop from years ago, and I'm using Sketchbook, but like, just how to like, not worry about like detail early on, and. Yeah, it's. Uh, I have one myself. I have a uh, Wacom. What is it? Not a. Might be a Cintiq, and it does take some getting used to. I still, I I like being able to sit down with a pencil and paper. Um, for my my actual comics, I still draw um, with the blue line board. Um, I have a photocopy pencil that I sketch everything out with, so. Yeah, I mean, I love sketching with paper. It's just I generally sketch on paper and then it disappears. Yep. I'm, I'm just not that. Yep. At, least, at least I save my drawings and I have some record of them. So, again, 
if we can get up to 20, we've got Supergirl. But no pressure. <laughs> we've got about 20 seconds left. Set that. Let's see. So it looks like Josh is getting this sketch for ten dollars. Nice pickup, Josh. Nice job, Josh. Hit me up on Instagram. Uh, my thing should be in the corner somewhere here. Let me do my little. There you go. Hit me up there. Ideas Big uh, Steel Productions. And we will get that all worked out. And again, I'll get it shipped out on Monday. Very good. Very good. And then uh, a little bit. Uh, I'll just tease the edge. <laughs> just tease the edge. This is it. Like I said, I'm I'm doing the live, so this is a this is just for the Gorilla Todd show tonight. Awesome. Thanks, Lisa, for dropping the link. Now we'll jump back to me. What's Hello. up, Automatic Comics? Welcome. Welcome, Automatic Comics, to the auction. Good to see you here. Oh, we've got piles and piles of books. So what is your skipping around method? Hey, did we skip? Did yeah, you, you skipped like me and Sands and... Did I? I went from Bay to Heaven. Yeah, you went to Beta Ray to. Okay, sorry. No worries. Not my mistake. Is, is Double A up? Is he going or? Should yeah, I Double A. You skipped Double A. Oh, I went from me to Kevin. Is that what I did? From Beta Ray, from Beta Ray to Kevin. So Sands is up. I. Double A is up. Double A is up. If I went from beta, if I went from Beta Ray to Kevin, then Sands should be up. Did I skip Sands? Yes, you skipped Double A, Sands, and me. So it goes Sands, Double A, you. No, look at your thing. That's how it is in my thing, bro. All right, that's fine. I mean, you're gonna that's tell fine. me what my eyes are seeing. Well, no, when you was at the six panel thing, it showed. I don't know. Well, I got kicked out and I had to come back in. So it made uh, it uh, okay. what's going on. No worries. I, I think we can figure it out. We yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. We're grown up. So we can figure it out. Yeah, you got to, you got, you know, I'm just trying to figure out who. I'm not trying to. We are good to go. Okay. So um, let's show the buy it rounds for this, uh, buy it now for this round. Um, I showed a. Here. Let me just grab it. So this round we are going to do buy it now on a Black Panther and Shuri lot. Mm. I have your negative variant, Black Panther, your Shuri number one, your Black Panther number 19, and your Shuri number two, the second print. This is a buy it now for 350 ships. 350 ships. And this round we are going to do, let's do a last Ronin lot this round. Ooh. Yep. So we're going to do some last Ronin stuff and then build from there. Um, it'll be some TMNT and last Ronin. So uh, this is. Your TMNT number 110, the retailer incentive. This is the first preview of the last Ronin. And then we have TMNT number two, the last Ronin, the beautiful Brian Levels cover. So we will get the bidding started at $45 for the two, $45, and we will build from there.
Hey, hey, everybody. We are at 90 likes. Gorilla smash that like. 10 more, and I have a giveaway. There may be others, goodies coming up. So just smash those likes. Tell a friend to tell a friend to sub Gorilla Todd. We are so close to getting them to that 1,000. And guys, I want to see that giveaway. So we are there, my friends. Sub Gorilla Todd. Again, $45 gets you started on these beautiful. This is your TMNT, the last Ronin preview issue, the 110 retailer. And this is TMNT number two, the Brian Level cover. $45 to get us started. The last Ronin covers in general have just been amazing. There's been so many good covers. It's kind of a problem because I want so many of them. <laughs> it's, it's become an issue where I have to, I need a budget just for last Ronin. You got to have them all, right? Got to have them all. It's become a problem. A good one, but a problem. <laughs> <laughs> So we get started. I have some more books I'll show for last Roman. All right. $45 gets us started. Your next book would come in at 110. This is the John Giang cover for last Ron TMNT, the last Ronin number two. This would come in at 110, guys. 110. And she's a beauty. Crispy. Now, I will show you the book that would come in. Oh, I think we're at timer with no bids, but at 275, this book would come in. This is the Bartling number two, last Ronin, TMNT number two, Aaron Bartling exclusive. So 275, that book would come in. And it does come with the challenge coin right there. So time is up. You guys do know how to hit me up if you want any of these goodies. But this is $45 to begin with. And I do have more of those goodies if you would like. Okay, man. We'll catch you next round. Hit, Thank hit you, Kelly. On the IG. What's up, K Titus? Good to see you, my friend. Double A. What's up, K Titus? What's up, man? YouTube comic royalty. All right. So we got, um, still have day, Dead of Night, number 11 for six bucks. And we have The Champions, number 17. For 10 bucks, look at all the Sentinels on the cover. I'm a big fan of covers with the Sentinels on them. For the auction, I have an ASM 344. You already know. And then, real casual like, ASM 55, second print, Gleason. Nothing fancy here. Uh, gonna start it at 10 bucks, guys. So we got the first appearance of Cletus Cassidy, and uh, we got second print Spidey. So we'll start at ten bucks. Uh, condition of three forty four. It has a few very slight ticks. They are there, but it is a very nice presenting copy. So I can give you an up close and personal look. Have the first print. I might comics lounge. I'd have to look. I might have it. Yeah. So let me just. Let's 
So again, they're there, but Whoa, ten. We got B Finnegan at fifteen. Hello, Ben B Finnegan. I don't recognize your name, but welcome to the chat. Um, if this is your first time at the auction, let us know if you got any questions. Yeah. And if this is your first transaction with the sellers, please be prepared to pay after the round. Yeah, guys, I can take a look for the first print, uh, 55. I think I may have one kicking around. I sent one into CGC, but I think I may have another one. So... Monster Warriors at 17. You're welcome, B. Finnegan. For sure. So. B. Finnegan so, at 20. Nice spidey goodness. So, but 55 is a, is a near mint copy. Near mint copy. So, definitely, definitely near mint. Yeah. So, no issues on that. Brand new. Off the rack. Obviously, 344, I did not pull off the rack. As cool as that would have been. Yeah, the black covers are definitely, they're definitely tough. Definitely tough. So. But great books. Um, Louis B. Season at 21. <laughs> I pulled 344 off the rack. <laughs> That's sure. awesome. That's really cool. 300 off the rack. Yeah. Let's still have it. I'm going to I'm going to plead the fifth. For yeah. sure comics lounge, yeah. yeah. I can take a look after this round. But but if I didn't pull 252, I probably pulled like 256 or something. <laughs> yeah, high bid, but yeah. So for sure, Comics Lounge. But quality stuff, just classic. Little new school, little kind of old school. I don't know. Is a dollar book old school? Where's the line? But as a side note, I do love some Eric Larson goodness. I'm a fan. I see an Eric Larson cover, I think. Oh, yeah. Lou B sees a twenty-four. Yes, you guys have smashed that like button. One hundred and one gorilla smashes. Nice. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. So I mean uh yeah, near mint minus VF plus for ASM three forty four. Again, I don't, I don't think it's a nine eight or a nine six or anything, but it's just a nice presenting book. No major flaws, no major issues. I mean, it does have a few ticks, but it's a nice book. Okay, so we got Louis BC with the high bid of 24. Um, this has pretty much been between Monster Warrior, Louis BC, and B. Finnegan. So if you guys are not going to bid anymore, throw a fold up in the chat so we know. King Conan 19. Cool book. The very first book I really that I, that I still have is G.I. Joe 29 that I bought when it was new. Monster Warrior folds. B. Finnegan is out. So, so Louis B. C. B. C. is taken down for 24. M. Line's going to come in. Congrats. It's a great pickup. Louis B. C., if you, if you want to hit me up on Instagram, that's fast. I can also put my email uh, if you need that, if that works better for you. But just double A comics, hit me up, and we can get this done. Thank you so much.
And I'll, uh, I'll look for the first print. Thanks, guys. Move over to Shelby. All right, everyone. Uh, let's see. A few buy it nows. Um, Spider Man 800, big thick book. Uh, John Romita. Um, See, buy it now for a few minutes. I got to step away for a quick break. Okay. Uh, Amazing Spider Man 800, John Romita Sr. variant, uh, $10. I will still do the Spider Man Velocity number one. So you get uh, the. Um, it's a variant of number one plus a virgin copy. Uh, normally, this would be $35. I'll do this for $30 if anybody's interested. And then variant edition of Spider Geddon Zero, $15. Anybody's interested, so buy it now. Spider Geddon, $15. And I got a couple of copies of Fantastic Four, number one, the Clayton Crane. Um, so several of these, uh, someone actually brought that up. They messaged me um, asking me the artist on some of these. They didn't realize uh, this is a Clayton Crane cover. So Spider-Man 1, Clayton Crane, uh, $10. The Spider-Geddon Zero is also Clayton Crane. So I know some people are, you know, click certain artists. And um, like I said, they hit me up on IG asking me to specify who the artist was. Um, and then the Velocity, uh, this is also a Clayton Crane cover. So um, several, several Clayton Cranes, Clayton, Clayton Cranes, uh, if anybody's interested. All right. Let's see. Let's go a little old school. I'm like a double A. I'm not sure if the 80s or 90s is considered old school, but we'll try it anyway. So I've got a lot of Batman. So this is where uh, Batman's bat gets broken. So um, I'm start this off at $10. So you get... Early Bane appearance, Batman 489. Nightfall, number one, which is Batman 492. Batman 494. Batman 495. 496. Then, of course, the issue where he gets his back broken, 497. 498, 499, and then you get both copies of 500, the uh, um, regular and then the Foley one. So, Okay, I'm back. Thank you. Sorry. That's okay. So we're starting this at $10. Oops. You got it? $10 starting line coming in? Yeah. So it's, how many books is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah. Buck a book. What a deal. Oh, uh, yeah. The uh, wedgie one. And Joker had with uh, snakes and stuff. Uh, it's always kind of freaked me out a bit, too. And of course, the Poison Ivy, um, Joker, Batman, where it looks like Batman's life's, I don't know, I guess he's melting or something, and he's he's got a bunch of blood in his hand, and then the Joker's mouth is bloody, so I'm not sure if he ripped his smile off or something, his teeth is still in there. Watch his heart. Huh? No. I thought it was a different cover. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what he ripped out, but it's all bloody and there's like a little circle in there. So it's like an eyeball, but he's bleeding from his mouth. So I don't know. And of course, you know, with still has the wraparound 
um, for the uh, breaking of the bat back. Um, Kelly Jones. Uh, I don't really like Kelly Jones's Catwoman, but the Bane is pretty cool. All steroided out. And of course, both copies of 500. Uh, my favorite, the Joe Quesada cover. So, yeah, uh, he always does those weird, tall, bad ears. Um, yeah. So even though he's got the mask ripped off, still has the crazy tall bad ears. So, all right. Well, it looks like Tim's the only one, and Tim and I spoke earlier today. Uh, he was another happy customer. He got his books in this past week, and him and I uh, traded a little bit of money around for some things he got that I was wanting. So, you know, I appreciate it, Tim, uh, helping me out with some uh, FF books I was looking for. But, um, yeah, no need in stretching this out. Uh, I probably started the timer late. Yeah. Oh, you're right close. He is here about five. Oh, I do There's have a minute one. left on the timer. Hmm? Okay. So I do have one more thing if anybody's interested. I was cleaning out, um, of course, cards. And I did find this if anybody's interested. Oh, let me see if I can get them all together. Salo is in at 11. Oh, okay. All right. So, okay. So, um, I found, so this is the original Batman animated series. I found a couple of Happy Meal boxes. So this is from uh, this is from um, I don't know. Let me see if I can find a date on here somewhere. But they're from the what the original animated series. So uh, 1993. So two different Batman animated series Happy Meal boxes. Um, also a, a Batman animated series promo card and then an unpackaged. There we go. I think it's the same promo card, but, uh, a still sealed one that came a little promo pack. Um, if anybody's interested in, uh, that I'll do these for like $20 um for two happy meal boxes batman the animated series if you're a batman collector i mean these are in beautiful shape uh never used never had any hamburgers in them or fries and then i'll throw in like i said two uh batman animated series promo cards so uh nope don't smell like fry oil they're not even punched or anything um they're fresh so yeah 20 bucks i think is a great price uh, for two Happy Meal boxes, the original Batman animated series. See those back at 13. All right. So then we got these. But yeah, you can do uh, buy it now, Happy Meal 20. And we can definitely get those out to you. Tim's at 15. Yeah, and these, of course, all are beautiful shape. Um I, I would, you know, if you want to send them in, you know, definitely maybe a little bit of a bumpage there, that weird paper they used back then. Um, but all the rest of them are beautiful. And, of course, the 197 is in great shape. And the 500 is hard to find in great shape, uh, this cover, because it's cardboard and it's almost always dented and everything. But yeah, okay, Cielo goes to 16 Tim Folds. It's really nice. So bring uh, the line. 
All right, Cilio, I'm not sure if I recognize that. Um, I'm pretty sure that, he's good. Before. He's good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, hit me up over on IG, sir. Uh, Todd will do my magic. Yeah, there you go. And I'll drop it in the chat. So thank you, sir. I was 16. Awesome. All right. Appreciate it. Well, now that's the end of the round, right? I should go back to me to start a new round? Yes. That is correct. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, no, we thought you were just, uh, you know how some people get the special guests and, and that you throw them in a couple times throughout the rounds. So that's why we didn't say anything. Yeah, no, I, just, I, got, I got mixed up, I think. All good, my brother. You know, I'll, I'll be the first one to admit when I make a mistake. Human I'll being, be I, I specialize in mistakes. I figured you were having a stroke. Well, thanks. Be human is to error. Sheesh. You got you to you take it very dark, Shelby. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Is that really? I mean, I don't know. A stroke isn't a joking matter to me. Just that's just my two cents. Well, me either. I mean, good night, Aiden. Go to sleep. Uh, Silo, sixteen plus. What's the shipping on that, Shelby? Uh, for this, I can do nine. Nine bucks shipping, so twenty-five in total. Sounds right. Okay. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I'm see if I can find them. Okay. Yes. Okay. Jaden went to sleep. Okay, I have this really cool uh, cosplay, naughty and nice set. So that's the Chitara from, you know, Thundercats. And then there's the naughty one, Use Your Imagination. This set is $100 if anybody's interested. Thank you, Hunter. So... Uh, in bags and inside of like mylar bags, but that's the better one to show. That's the nice one, and then that's the what they call the naughty one. Yeah, I taped it on there. I don't want to have any accidents, no wardrobe malfunctions. But I made I made pull tabs so it'll come off easy. Thunder. Thunder, Thundercat, ho! Mm. Mm. I have another book I wanted to show you guys. Now I'll find it the next round. Um. I got these four Jim Lee trading card kind of covers. Well, these were, I think, illustrations from the trading cards or something. That's Doctor Strange, Mr. Sinister, Iron Fist, Sabretooth, Kitty Pride on Spider Man, and uh, Colossus. On uh, Iron Man. Uh, I'll do those four to buy now. Do them for 25. Four cool Jim Lee covers. Buy it now, $25. Okay, one second, um, CeeLo. What's the matter? Uh, he doesn't have IG, so let me drop them. Roman, you want the gym leads for 25? You got it.
There you go, C low. Okay, and then I got through another buy it now. I got um Kenny Pride and Wolverine one through six. Now all nice copies, thirty dollars. Buy it now. That's an awesome cover. If anybody's interested in that. Then I got a very cool Amazing Spider-Man 9, Jeff DeCall set. So you got the trade dress. And then you've got this really nice virgin cover and his his stuff is really cool. His art. Yeah, I love those covers. I got I got this set available for forty five. Yeah. Did you see that Uncle Roman did the buy it now on the Yeah, gym? I got him. I got him all taken care of on the Jim Lee buy it now. For sure. Thank you for looking out, Shelby. Oh, and then this one I have from last round. This is the trade. Uh, Spidey ASM 850 Ron Lim trade edition. Have that one available for 20. Man, if Todd McFarlane had gotten a dollar for every time someone did an homage, he'd be... He'd be wealthier than he is now. Yeah, he'd be wealthier than he is now. <laughs> oh, that's true. It's so true. He was. I was just watching a video. He was talking about how he's still getting royalties. Yeah, I, I was just watching the interview he did with um, Comic Tropes. And I got this J. Scott Campbell, uh, Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. Mm -hmm. Got that one available for $10 if anybody's interested. I love that cover. I got it signed. I had to buy it signed. I loved it so much. Uh, I should have it. Okay, okay, uh, Roman. I should have another copy of the Virgin coming in next week, Josh. Got you on that, Roman Curtis. Thank you, sir. I think I have another. I have a set coming in. Um, Josh of the Virgin and the Trade. I got this Lucio Perillo Thor with Hella, Mighty Thor. Ten bucks if anybody's interested. Roman, you want the Sheena too? You got it. Yeah, and uh, Roman, let me know if you got your books this week, man. Um, hopefully you did. And hopefully you 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 happy. I don't want you sending the Detroit Mafia out after me. Okay, these guys. Uh, Captain Ramis asks, "How much for that?" The, the, the cow set was forty-five. Captain Ramis. Oh, cool, Josh. Yeah, I know you would have hollered at me if you uh, wasn't happy. Yeah, yours was that really large box I had to do some creative uh, moving around in. Hopefully everything uh, got to you safely. I 
do have the Gwenham, Mary Jane Gwenham vs. Carnage, the trade. I have that for 12 bucks. And I do have the Virgin somewhere. And the Carnage Eyes Virgin. Let me see something here. Here we go. <laughs> okay, and let's do a simple little one book auction. Got a little Miles Morales Spider Man issue 23. What a cool homage wearing the Air Jordans. Slam in the basketball. Todd, you're not getting rid of my book, are you there? What? No, I, I buy more than one. <laughs> uh, do you have the Virgin for that as well? No, I missed out on the Virgins. I was quick, but not quick enough. <laughs> we'll start this at 20. And let it ride. So, Bicillo's asking to no, I don't have the version. I just have the trade on this one. That cover sold out so fast. It was. Yeah, I never even saw it. It uh, was yeah. like, <clears throat> I knew it was coming and I knew it was going to be a hot cover. And still, I mean, so uh, I know Kevin over at Frankie's, there were a few people who had bots for it and they bought way too many copies because he limited it. So he returned all of them except for one, and then he's re-releasing it. Cause it like, yeah, that cover is just sick. Yeah. <laughs> they got a new one with Venom Duncan on Spidey. And so, that uh, and that one looks great too. That looks so awesome. <laughs> so yeah. yeah CeeLo, I got your uh CeeLo, I got your payment. I saw it pop up. Thank you, my good man. So we got Geo in at 21. Marky, you're a little slow to the bid. We got Monster Warrior in at 23. A little slow to the bid, Louis BC. It's always going to look like your first on yours, Marco, but the one we go by is the stream yard that I look at. So it is what it is, my friend. Gio went to 25. Mark went to 26. And this is a beautiful, nice minty mint copy. Louis BC goes to 27. Roman goes right up to 30. Hold for Monster Warrior. Let's see. Do a little tease. I got some Black Panther books for next round. So we got a full from Monster Warrior. We got a few live bidders, so you guys know the drill. Marco folds.
Geo folds, but Michael Solis bids 31. Roman goes 35. We're at 35, Shiny. Louis BC folds. So we got to go 36 or more. <laughs> exactly. The Tina Wolf variant. That's hilarious, Rock City. You didn't miss it, Shiny. You just got to bid 36 or more. Not a big deal. Jeff's in for 36. Actually, Michael was in for 38. Then Jeff came in for 39. Again, same same thing happened, Shiny. <laughs> Nobody's bullying anybody. They're just bidding. They want to win. Jeff's in for 40. But you technically are upbidding yourself, Jeff. So. So shiny folds. So Roman goes to 50. Okay. So Roman looks like Roman's going to take it down at 50. Well, I'll tell you what I can do, guys. Let me see what I got. Maybe I can make everybody happy. Maybe not. I don't know. If, let's see, Jeff, Michael, if you want them at 50, I got two more. I'll do the two, the two I have left at 50. I mean, if anybody wants a copy at 50, let me know. You got it, Roman. Yeah, that's what I'm, I got. Look, this is Romans, and I got another copy. If you want to, I'll do it for fifty, Michael. I'll do it as a buy it now for fifty. I feel like that's the fair thing to do. That's what it's sold for. No problem, Jeff. So. We'll move over to Beta Ray. If you guys got any other questions, just let me know. All right. So happy to be here. Thank you, everyone who's been bidding and chatting and lurking and hanging out. Just love this stuff. Awesome. Got some uh, buy. Nice slot there, by the way. Congrats, Uncle Roman. Good work. Got some buy nows here. Ten bucks. Red Sonia, number one. Buy now, ten bucks. Buy now, Red Sonia. That's good. Daredevil, twenty-five. Virgin variant. 
Only 15 bucks for this one. Pretty sure this is the issue where Electra becomes Daredevil, I think. 15 bucks. Virgin variant. Some DC love. Batman, Catwoman, Black Label. Number one. 10 bucks. Hey, Beta, is that uh, Daredevil first print? Uh, no, that's the second print. Is it the second print? That's the second. That's the second print. Full, full disclosure, I don't know. <laughs> I, ordered some, I ordered some slabs of that one. X-Men 11. Cyclops is a lucky bastard. As Jeff Sterling wants that Daredevil. I know you'd like that one, brother. Nice work. You got it. $15. I will put that in your box. Excellent work. Very nice. Very, very nice. And he wants the Red Sonia. Excellent. You got it. I have two copies of the Red Sonia. So if somebody would also like a Red Sonia, you too can have one. All right, I'll get both of those in your box, brother. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Let's go with... Do they come with the Mylars? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. They will come with fresh bags and boards. Um, this book will come with the Mylar. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, that is crispy. Tales of Suspense, number 97. Let's do it. I've done all my Silver Age tonight. 20 bucks. Let's, uh, let's, <laughs> let's lose my shirt. <laughs> it's pretty good condition. Not bad at all. Beta Ray, how do you find these gems? Oh, my God. First appearance of Whiplash. Very nice copy. 30, Davis Riders at 40. Very nice copy. Monster Warriors at 45. Davis Rider goes to 50. They should make a movie with Iron Man. Wars 51. Davis Riders at 55. Did you just say they should make a movie? <laughs> they did. It's called Iron Man 2. I think he was being sarcastic. Oh. Um. January 1968, Tales of Suspense. So, but I can understand if you don't remember it or didn't see it, it kind of sucked. No, Mickey Rourke was pretty good. Yeah, I liked him before he got all beaten up and steroided out from wrestling. Uh, that was boxing. Mm. Was it boxing or wrestling? He was in that wrestling movie. The wrestler oh, movie? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, movies are always based completely on reality. Of course. <laughs> First whiplash. Oh, yes. A little bit of Marvel history right here. Very nice condition. Sorry, we got Monster Warrior 56, Damage Rider 58. Monster Warrior at 65. Hello, Lego Stan Lee. What's Lego up? Lego Stan Lee. Lee? Nice. <laughs> uh, 
Well, let's be honest. Anybody watches that movie, it's for Marissa Tomei. Yeah, I was just going to say, Marissa Tomei was excellent in that she movie. She steals every movie she's in. My cousin Vinny, the wrestler, I can't think of any others. Oh, Spider-Man. Yeah, her scenes with uh, with uh, Happy, come on. Nobody really cares about Spidey. Yep, that's why they call him Happy. He hooked up to Mr. Tomei. Beautiful 12 center. Yeah, she was on Seinfeld, Jalen. She was. Davis is in 68. Yeah, Aunt May shouldn't be hot. That's uh why not? Why Anybody? the heck not? Anybody <laughs> can be anything they want to be. Yeah. You know you make a point. <laughs> what do you want? You want the early field? Aunt May. Betty White. Now that'd be maybe I'd see. Betty White as Aunt May would be friggin' hilarious, though. Monster Warriors at 75. Davis Ryder folds. I don't know where my knees are at. I keep chasing my what is that noise? A little baby? Yep, that's me, guys. Sorry. Newborn in the background. Oh. <laughs> oh it sounded familiar. Yeah. Apologize for that. Congrats. Lots of Warriors. The High Bid. Congrats. Monster Warrior. Davis Monster Warrior. Davis Monster Warrior. Tony. Davis. Okay, I think... Uh, I think uh, Monster Warrior is taking this down. Yeah, this copy is very special. Awesome work, Monster Warrior. This is going right in your box, sir. Mylar and everything. Great book. Thank you, Monster Warrior. Appreciate that. Awesome pickup, brother. Awesome pickup. Key issue as well. Very important. Hopefully, you're, you're seeding the world with future Batman fans. I hope so. I certainly <laughs> hope so. Because <laughs> that's what's important. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well done. Uh, Beta Ray with the hammers. <laughs> Beta Ray moving over the sands. Cookie What's time. Up, Cookies time. The, the oven just went ding. And like I said, it is All Star Weekend. Ooh, ooh, good catch. Look at that. We have two beautiful Michael Jordan All Star and uh, Michael Jordan away suit. These are 55 shipped. 55 shipped on these beauties. That's the first buyer now. And let me show this buyer now from earlier. Once again, it is Marvel Tales. That's right. Marvel Tales number one Spider Ham. CGC by point eight white digits. This is, I'll do. 415 shift tonight. 415 shift. All right. Um, we are over a hundred likes. So I just want to show you what is what the giveaway is tonight. And then um when Gorilla Todd says we can go ahead and do that, I'll give I have two books and one and the first two people that answer the question correctly will get it. But they will be the G.I. Joe Wu Tang homage covers. So those will be the giveaways since we got to 110, what is that? What are we at? 103 likes. These will be given away to two lucky winners. All right. So we did a little bit of this lot earlier. I'm going to put this back up since we didn't get to this, but I've added some stuff to this. So 
it'll be a little bit of a little bit more fun. Um, we are going to start this at. Let me see. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. We're going to start this at one. I'm going to say one thirty-five. One thirty-five, and we'll take it from there. So. Cookie time, guys. Here we go. Fresh out the oven. You got your last witch, number one, the sketch variant. Nice little book. Then we have that new Amazon series that is coming out. It has been confirmed and they have cast it. Your paper girls, number one and number two. These CGCs just dropped for some nice prices on eBay. So check these out. All right, you got Solid Blood 17 with some Michonne goodies in there. You got the Alan Qua, Alan Qua, my good man Alan Qua, has made the Virgin variant for uh, A Girl Walks Home Alone. This is number one. Then we got that sick cover from Marat Michaels on the Department of Truth number five, The Face, The Monster, and we got something is killing the children. Number 15, the Sanchez cover. 135 starting bid. Let's do this, people. Who doesn't love some last witch? Solid blood. Alan Qua, Marat Michaels Virgin. That Alan cover is pretty crazy. I haven't seen that yet. It's a good yeah, one. I love it. It is sick. And your Sanchez, something is killing the children, number 15. Nope, it's 55 for the set, comic. It is 55 for the set of those Jordan Pops. Let me know if you want to claim those. Again, I want to thank everybody for coming through and smashing that like tonight. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to Gorilla Todd. Do so. Subscribe to everyone in the panel, please. We appreciate it. Two things I want to mention. I have a giveaway tomorrow. Um, there will be a giveaway for the last Ronin number two, the PJ cover. If you look on eBay, that is going for about $85 to $100, as well as the Mike Mayhew number three High Republic shadow variant, which is also going for $85 to $100. So follow me on IG, follow the instructions to get in there. And the last thing I'm going to mention is those fresh baked cookie boxes. I have mystery boxes for $250 that will be going on sale. They're actually on sale now. You'll be able to select your box as early as Friday, and they ship next Monday. Not this Monday coming up, but the 15th. So if you want a cookie box, there will be a guaranteed slab in every box. And there will be some crazy hits, including a ASM 361 number, uh, excuse me, direct. That's right, Telekinetic. We got the Alan Qua in here. We have a bunch of others going on. Thank you so much to Gareth Green for subbing me up. Appreciate you, my brother. Yeah, the last thing I want to do is shout out to Stranger Comics, who are uh, who I'm working with on these boxes and doing different things. Joe, I have a giveaway that I'm sending you out. It'll be going out on Monday. You won last week, so that is still coming. But again, big shout out to Stranger Comics. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. They are awesome. They do Niobe. She is death and she is life. I am waiting for their uh, their Stranger Con, which is coming up, and it is just going to be amazing. So that's coming up. Um, 
later this month. I believe it's the 23rd, guys, the 23rd, but I'll confirm that with you. Again, starting bid on this is 135. This is super value, guys. You got the paper girls in here. All right, that's the end line. The end line. I was, the I, was on, I was muted, so you probably didn't hear the timer. Oh, no worries. I knew time was getting low. If you need anything, guys, you know how to reach me. Hit me on IG, and I'd be happy to work on this with you. Thank you, as always, Gorilla Todd, and look forward to seeing you if we do another round. Yeah, definitely. We'll do at least one more round. You said you want to do a giveaway, right? Yes, sir. We'll knock that out next round for sure. Okay, perfect. Double A. What's up? Definitely. Uh, New buy now. Got Venom twenty eight, three dollars. Still got Champion seventeen for ten. Uh, throwing it back, little little DC action. Uh, so four books. Gonna start at twelve dollars. You got Superman, Man of Steel, classic. Then you got um, Adventures of Superman fourteen. This is a Jot cover, really cool. You got Joker, but he reveals the S. Love, love some jock goodness. Then you got Art Germ. This is a great run. Supergirl 26. Just holding a little, little super kitty. This was a really great run for him. And you have Action Comics. Jim Lee. Uh, Action Comics 1000. So Jim Lee cover. So four Superman books. Different artists. Different years. Fun stuff. Everything... Um, I would say VF plus near mint minus. So 14 has a couple ticks. Uh, Supergirl 26 has one definitive tick for sure. Action Comics is actually, I don't see any issues. Looks near mint. Great copy. And then uh, Superman Man of Steel. You know, it's an older book. It's got a couple, couple nicks here and there. Nothing crazy, but... For $12 starting, get a bunch of great artists, different time periods. So, anyone ever want, anyone ever watch the movie where uh, Joker and Lex team up to fight Superman and Batman? That was a good one. Throwback. That one was a lot of fun. But switch it up. Something different. Anime. Version? Yeah, the animated version. Yeah, that was a good movie. That was actually really well done. I mean, DC's always been able to nail it, I feel like, with their animated stuff. They just they've got that on lock. Well, and both of those shows were tremendous shows. Yeah. Yeah. They had this dude named Bruce Tim who was pretty good. He's He's got a couple skills. <laughs> People like him. But yeah. Cool. I don't know. We don't, we don't see tons of Superman. I'm trying to do a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah, mid-90s animated was, uh, was, was pretty good. Right. And you got Jock. Art Germ. Like a redo of like the Supergirl number one from that time. I think, yeah, it could be like... Uh, I mean, this pose has been used so much. Yeah, yeah, but it just that, that it's almost that exact, like. Yeah. Um, I don't even know who did this first. I would love to be able to give credit to the original person, but I don't even know. Joe's in a 13. Jock, Art Germ, Jim Lee. And is this. This is by Louise Simonson. She wrote it. Yeah, she wrote it. Yeah, she wrote Superman for about 50 issues, I think. Yeah, for a while. I think a lot of that art was John Bogna. The, the, I don't know how to say his name. I'm just not even going to try. And Dan Jurgens and Kerry Gamble. Oh, yeah. John Bogna. Something, yeah. <laughs> John B. Kevin's at 14. Uh, 
<laughs> One bunch of Superman books. Trying to mix it up. Been some good ones. My personal favorite Superman story, I think at the moment, Superman Red Sun. Great read. Great That's read. So I'm at 969 subs. It's getting a little surreal. I don't know that I thought like when I started. I could never imagine getting to a thousand subs. And I'm not there yet, but just being like within 31. It's pretty serious. It's pretty nice. Right. Kevin Bixby folds. So I believe Geo, you're gonna take this down. Congrats. Uh, my Instagram is, should appear. Terribly, let me just get rid of, there we go. Yeah, so if you wanna, if you wanna hit me up on IG, if you don't have IG, uh, you can, I can shoot my email over, you can email me, and, uh, we can settle up. So, congrats, this is a good one, 15. Cool beans. And we will move over to Shelby. All right, all right, all right. So all right. Kind of getting down to the last bit of my stuff tonight. What um, are you, we're just starting to get rolling. You was yawning. We got 70 people watching. You were yawning. You were I'm yawning. Yawning, but that was just me yawning into my second wind. Uh-huh. All right, I got three Silver Age books. I'm going to start this out at 24. How much? Three Silver Age books. I'm going to start this out at $20. They're all six uh, to seven, you know, maybe some a little bit better. Tales to Astonish, number 74. I mean, this is a nice copy. And Mylar. Uh, see, a couple of tickets there at the top. Other than that, you know, there's no huge vertical, horizontal creasage. It's got a little bit of that rollover from the um, over covers of those Marvel books, uh, but nice clean copy. Tales of Spence, number 89. Little blunted corner there at the top. You can see some tickage going down. You know, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. A little bit of chippage at the bottom there. Minor, minor chippage. Little blunted corner. But again, no heavy vertical, horizontal, or diagonal creases. So, still a nice book. Uh, those are the two nice ones. Um, Silver Surfer number 17. Uh, this does have, you can see the creases there along the spine. Uh, that stuff's not pressing out or anything. A um, little dirtier than the other two. But overall... Nice book. So, yeah, three great Silver Age books. Sweet. So we got a $20 starting line. We'll get you a timer, some nice Silver Age books. Yep. What issue is, is that a Silver Surfer? Yeah, Silver Surfer number 17, Tales of Spence number 89, and then Tales to Astonish uh, 74. Nice. So you got the Melter in here, which, you know, that's tough. That's bad for Iron Man going Not to get the the asking to show them again, maybe just cycle through. Yeah, it's kind of a bad, bad deal when Iron Man goes against a guy called the Melter. I think he's going to be in the new Iron Man movie. Um, you know, I'd call it a strong 7.0 plus. I 
I know one of these does have some, there's a little bit of tickage here at the bottom. But no heavy vertical, diagonal, horizontal creases or anything. I mean, it's got blunted corners and stuff for sure, but um, the 74 is really nice also. I definitely would call these first two books Fine Plus VF. Um, this does have some browning along the edge, which isn't, you know, uncommon for these Silver Age books. I think it's a little worse on the back. Billy's in a 22. Davis is in a 25. Billy now, this one I would definitely call a uh, 6 you know, fine minus copy because it does have color breaking creases in the cover that aren't coming out, some deep ticks in the spine. So 30. But um, you know, these two, the first two I bought as seven to eight oh and and you know they, they probably fall in that range. So these are thirty two. And then whoever gets this, I'm going to throw in. I think Billy already has this copy if he wins it. I'll see if I can do something else for you. I'll throw in a, um, a Sergeant Fury, number 74, and uh, Doom Patrol, number 106. And this is a VG copy for sure. And the Sergeant Fury is probably a VG Fine, minus, minus. But these are some strong books, you know. They definitely should be going for about 50 bucks or so, is what I was guessing. But Tony bits 35. Uh, they were tough, man. Two of them already dropped out. One of them, uh, I'm still waiting to hear, so. Thanks for asking. Billy's at 38. Sorry to hear that, buddy. So. But, uh, yeah, I definitely would have put these in my PC if I didn't already own them. Tony's at 41. Uh, you know, my profession is um, I'm, a, I'm a user experience researcher. I have a PhD uh, in human factor psychology. Yes, I am a doctor. But not one that helps people. Um, well, I could, you know, I'm not that kind of doctor, but I'll always take a look. <laughs> that sounded creepy. <laughs> uh, I have a couple of skin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm laughing at what Joe said. <laughs> oh. Good though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I know a couple of people there at Nielsen. Um, uh, I, I just really, I'm not wanting to move. So. Too many comics to move. Tony's at 45. I'm trying, man, I'm trying to sell. I'm selling, you know, I'm selling stuff one card at a time around here. Come on, mm. man. What's up, DB Striker? Um, I would definitely, I bought these first two at 47. Mark, so asking if you can give a quick grade on the comics. You missed yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm about to do. These first two I purchased as, um, 7.0 to 8.0. And, and I would, I would agree with that. Um, well, Tony's in 50. 
There are no, I'll let you see. You know, there's a few issues, but it doesn't have major sp spine hey. or anything. Monster Warrior is saying he works for them. He could give you a reference. Oh, really? And everything's remote. Oh, well, okay. We were just talking online um, about some other books. So definitely I'll uh, talk to you a little more. But no major vertical uh, horizontal creases. This is the nicest one. Um, this one has some browning along the edge. It's a little worse on the back. You can see those couple of ticks there at the top in the red. And you're not getting 9.0s, but, you know, right now without cleaning and pressing, I wouldn't have a problem just comparing them to some other 7.0s I've gotten from CGC. Um... You know, putting that in that range. And then, like I said, the Silver Surfer, it's got it's got issues. It's got some color breaks here. Pretty big spine crease. You know, so I would call this more of a six. But, like, and, and I'll just, you know, and y'all probably heard this from other people. You know, this was newly done, 7.0. And you can see all the tickage. See all the tickage that's in that book? And they called it a 7.0. All right. So, and these do not have anywhere near that. So, by me calling them a 7.0, you know, 7 to 8, I think, is in the right range. Yeah. So in other words, they're VF books. Uh, I bought them as fine plus to VF. So The 6 to 7 5 range is, in my opinion, one of the hardest ranges to grade because it's so... <laughs> yeah. Well, do these six little things equate to this big thing? Or do this... To this medium thing and does this medium thing equate to these two little things and this major thing or yeah it's, yeah it's, it's a lot of uh variables it, yeah. it is it is and it, it's the hardest area i agree with double a hardest to grade you know um now what might have helped this is white pages really clean white back and cgc press to clean this for me which I will never do again. Never pay them for that. It takes like six months, and they tore one of my one of my comics. So we sue it to fifty three. Yeah, I've heard a lot of. I don't know. I've heard a lot of secondary stories about getting things pressed at CGC and it not going the best. Yeah, but. Yeah, I've heard covers are getting taken off. Yeah, pretty, yeah, you you saw that video also. Yeah, pretty gnarly stuff. Mm -hmm. But I have also heard if you have them press and clean it, you're more likely to get a nine eight. So, it's an yep. interesting world we live in. That being said, did you see they just bought a a huge thing of uh, property of what? They just bought a, a new piece of property. They're expanding big time, which they should. I mean, they, they, they at, yeah. at this point, they're so busy. It makes sense. <laughs> Mark, yeah, I think the big thing is there's about the last interview I saw with Brittany McManus. I think there's at least 20 pressers at CGC. I think the big thing is so many people are sending in books at this point. I mean, they're just so behind a year ago. It, the turnaround just wasn't as long. I think it's just they're taking in so many books. Um, and I, I think, yeah, I would probably agree with Monster Warrior. It's just I use a professional. All he does is clean and press books. I trust him. And if there's any issues, I know that he would treat me fairly. So that's, I mean... 
Yeah, my my guy has been doing this 20 plus years. Actually, that's his website is the comic book um, You know, super great guy. I've had no issues with him. Yeah, asthma. Yeah, yeah. I use Gary over at Impressive. He's always he's always been good to me. And I've sent him hundreds of books at this point. Yeah, Rocket Comics is another reputable one. Yeah, I mean, I think I think at this point there's definitely a top four or five in the community, and they're very reputable. Most people will speak for them. So there's just so many good pressers you can use that it's just easy to not use CGC if you don't have to, because there's so many other reputable ones. Just do your homework. Yeah. Yeah. So we got Tony at 60. They are pros too, but they're pros that are part of a larger machine. Corporate stooges. So it's the difference between, you know, buying your books from a local LCS and buying your books from a larger chain where, I mean, it's just a different experience. Billy's at 62. They're definitely pros, yeah. I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus, but I just, I think the incidents I hear about seem like they just have, they're taking in so many books. So I think that's, it's been a Tony and Davis was in a 20, the Davis fold. Yes, Davis folded. So we got Billy and Tony. Uh, I see a fold from Tony, so maybe it's just Roman built. Curtis was in at forty. Did we get a oh, fold? Okay. 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 I'm trying to see yeah, and, and there's also Titan, um, which I already. Oh, if you're if you're not getting that, did you, did I miss a fold? Let me just make sure. Okay. Yeah, and Mark, if you wanna, I mean. This panel is pretty friendly. If that's ever something you want to just talk about in general, I mean, I try and respond to every person who messages me on IG. So if that's ever something you want to talk about, I mean, I have my opinions, but I'm I'm more than okay with saying like I haven't used that presser, but I know they're reputable. So yeah, this this crowd's going to be pretty honest about that. So yeah, if you yeah, if you hit me up on IG, I will respond. Um, you know, cleaning, I think sometimes that's something you can do yourself. Uh, I stay away from yeah, it. Yeah, Roman, Roman was, uh, was, had a bit in there at one point, so I need a fold from uh, Tony Folds. I need a fold from Roman. Yeah. If you, it, Roman, if you could fold, we'd, I'd appreciate it. I hate to dust you. I know you might be watching more than one thing at any given time. Yeah, I cleaned this book slightly. It had some grime on that uh, spine, and you can see it came out fairly white. Um, now, if I have a thousand plus dollar book, I usually don't clean it myself. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Rock City. Roman was in at 40. That's why I'm waiting on a fold from him. I do not, I don't want to dust Roman, but I know he's sometimes. Multitasking, let's say. Is that a nice way to say he's sleeping? Uh, no. Oh, he could be just sleeping. That's true. He, he could be, but I'm going to stick with multitasking. You know, what we can do is we can pause this auction, go over to Kevin, let him sell a piece of artwork, and then hey, come back. Come back to Roman. Oh, uh, yeah, he could be gambling. Yeah, well, he could be sleeping, watching other auctions. Uh, I think it's okay to dust them. Um, and Billy, like I said, I think you bought some Sergeant Fury from me. I will throw in this Doom Patrol, though. Um, you know, it's a VG copy. Uh, I got it sent to me free. Okay, Roman, I'm going to ask you one more time, Roman, if you're, if you're interested, bid, or if not, fold. We don't hear from you in the next 20 seconds or 30 seconds, give or take. We're going to go ahead and drop it in line.
Yeah, and honestly, I'd have to go next. I'd have to go in the other room to get some other books at this point. There were some things I was going to sell, but then I thought about keeping them for myself. So, how, how dare you? I know. So, this isn't. This is an outrage. So, <laughs> you got to go for seven more rounds. Oh my god. All right, Billy. Okay. It's an all nighter. All right. That was 62. Yeah. All right, Billy. I'll, I'll send you a message on IG, my buddy. Cool. Congratulations, Billy. Nice pick Yeah, up. congratulations. I'm happy you got those. Okay. I agree with you, Billy. Yawn. Uh, it's early still. Shelby, oh, okay, I'm not even. Right. Kevin, all what right. Are you, what are you yelling at me? Your, 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 your time's over. Uh, Joshua Rodriguez, if you're still in the chat, you would ask about a carnage. This is the only carnage I have left. I want to make sure that that was the same one that we were talking about. So I'm going to put that aside for Josh Rodriguez. If you're interested, let me know. We can discuss it. But um, now I'm going to put it to the chat. Do you want the Gorilla Todd exclusive, or should we do that next round? Or do you want another one, another different picture? Beta Ray Bill. I don't have a Beta Ray Bill yet. I honestly. Wolverine. I been trying to uh, to do a beta ray bill and I can never get it to look right and he just looks like a weird Mr. Ed which is <laughs> most of what beta ray bill looks what he, like. What he looks like yeah. <laughs> is it? Mm. Nailed it. All right. I'm going to go with the with the other picture. If you guys um, follow me on Instagram you've already seen this picture. We've got a Wanda Maximoff. Nice. Oh my God, that's fire! I just did this yesterday, uh, before watching the final episode. So um, we're going to start this off at ten bucks. Start this off at ten bucks. Wow. Got to wait for the starlight, Sam. Right. <laughs> Come on, man! I need you to set an example. You're right. You're right. I just lost. I lost my mind on that yeah, picture. Man. Got that so was... excited. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even let me get in. If you, if it goes up to fifteen, I'm gonna throw in this. This is a cop. One of the copies of my comic books, all original stories, uh, with my character. So the cover is based off of uh, uh, Dark Knight Returns two. So this is the original. Yeah, Joe. Oh, that is gorgeous. This is the original. So that is gorgeous. See the Joe. It is not original, Joe. Don't even don't even worry about it. It's it's Stop it's, a, it's a it's a reprint of a reprint, Joe. I have to mute you. You can you can bid, but you can't. Wow. That's that's yeah, so that's the lead on oh. the other side. You can tell it's original. So. How big is that? Is that like a trading card? Yeah, that's why I'm asking, and you muted me. It's, uh... No, I muted you because you were mocking me. I did not mock you. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> you it's a four Maybe I was mocking you. I'm, I'm following child abuse charges. You're not a child. You're so far from a child. I'm older than you. Yeah, exactly. You're childish, but you're not a child. <laughs> it's about four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay. So four and a quarter by it's, five and a half. It's, it's the same size. Three by five card. Yeah, it's it's the same size as one of my my mini comics. My mini mini comic. Um, she goes through twenty six and a pair of mom jeans from the Wandavision set. Sans comes back at twenty seven. Mom jeans. 
Oh, Jiho, I'm glad you're on here. Do you want me to send your stuff, buddy? I got a few books for you. I think you've paid. If not, <laughs> pay me. I, I mean, you only send. I got to say, too, Jiho's got a thing for Wanda because he already has a Wanda coming to him. He should have it on Monday. She's the Scarlet Witch. Why? What? What? Why? How could you not have a thing for her? That's true. Uh, I just have a thing for the Olsons. You know it, Rock City. You know it. Jiho's. Going 28. All right, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to grab something else real quick. If we can get it up to 30. Sam's went to 30. We get it up to 30, you get... We got it up to 30, so we're including second uh, issue number two. So it is the follow-up to this. So are the, the comics original or the comics printed? What? The comics are printed, right? The comics are printed, yes. Yeah. I actually, I print those myself on my printer right here. It's a lot of dots on that. It took a while. The they're the Kirby dots. Yeah, Kirby crackle. So it's it's actually three different colors. I don't. You can't see the the lightest one. You can't really see. Then I went in with a darker gray, and then I went in with black. Oh. Yeah, and I promise that wasn't your, your your comic book, but you probably feel better about your deal now. Uh, a little bit. Actually, I, so I'm excited about that, but I'm more excited about my uh, Gorilla Top t-shirt. That's why you got a good deal. That's right. Comic books come and go. That's right. Well, I just, so I had to pull out, I know it's not yours, but. It's okay, CLG's my buddy. The CLG shirt today, and I got some comments on it. But uh, CLG came on the show a couple weeks weekends ago. Did he? Yeah. So you're done, JC. I'm gonna drop an end line. All right. Uh, Sam's gonna take this down. Nice. Sam's just hit me up in uh, IG. We'll get it all squared away. So that's a nice pickup. This is, I, I'm not going to lie to this is, I, I was struggling with, with uh, selling this because I really like this one. So I'm actually going to go make a copy of it, um, like a good copy of it uh, tomorrow before I send yours out so that I at least have something. Sweet, sweet. I was scared when Uncle Roman started talking. That guy. Money bags. And I dropped the online. Sorry. Well, Thank you guys. Uncle Roman wants one. He can always commission me for one. Yeah, exactly. I take commissions. Kevin takes commissions. Kevin, can you drop your uh, contact information in the chat? Yeah, I sure can. Thank you, brother. All right, thanks. Cool. And we'll come back to me. Hello, everybody. 56 of you still watching. Just upon as we hit the five-hour mark. Thank you for hanging out for five hours. Having some fun, having a few laughs, picking up some comic books and now some art. Um, please, Gorilla Smash, the thumbs up if you haven't. You probably have if you're hanging out this long. 
I, I, I assume you're one of the diehards. But please, 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 if you haven't, maybe you've been, what's up, Starscream? Maybe you've been distracted. Hit that thumbs up. Also, hit my subscribe button. Hit, hit, you know, sub up to all the panelists. I'm 31 p subs away from 1,000, so everyone counts. Yeah, that's what I thought, Sean. Just something different. Oh, Starscream69, well, welcome to the auction. I'm Gorilla Todd. We do this every Saturday. Um, I like the Transformers, too. More than meets the eye. So there's Kevin's info in the chat. Awesome. He's on IG. So, yeah, working hard, trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. 31 away last I checked. Please make sure you're subscribed. A couple of people said, oh, I thought I was subscribed. But I checked and I wasn't because sometimes it's funny. What's up, Rock City? Sometimes I just see chats and I don't know how to take them. And I know you guys are, are, are usually having fun. So, I'm, you know, I like to have fun too. I'm calling it my quest for a thousand. It's a little bit more noble, I feel, quest. So, I think I want to check on these. So I had this Jeff DeCal set. If somebody wants to do this for 40, I'll knock five bucks off and do it for 40. Since you guys have hung in there for five hours, I'll do a $5 discount. 40 bucks. I think it's a good good deal on that set. Those are some nice books. Tough to find. I got the Perillo Thor with Hella. 10 bucks if anybody wants that Thor. We got this Venom 8. Uh, this sideways cover. 10, 10 bucks on Venom 8. I had this one for five, Spider Gwen. Just, you know, if you want anything, claim and then whatever you want to claim. Uh, nine bucks on Near the Villain, the Joker number one. Tony, you want the Venom? You got it. I'll pull that one out for you. Gotcha, Tony. Um, we got another Venom. Whoops. We got this one, Venom 20, 28. This one's 15. If anybody wants. Um, I'm not selling that one. It's a keeper. I got three issues, <laughs> three uh, three issues of Batman. Well, technically, Detective Comics. Pretty cool issues. I've got this five sixty seven. This is actually as a story by Harlan Ellison. He's one of my favorite writers. It's a newsstand. This is a great issue. And then five sixty eight. This is an awesome Klaus Janson cover. And then 573, this is a beautiful Alan Davis, uh, Paul Neary cover, and they did the interiors too. The Mad Hatter, against Batman and Robin. Um, I can do these three for a buy it now of 12 bucks. Hey, Dave. You want the Gwen and the Joker? Josh, gotcha. 
You want the black sack, black cat set, Ashtroth? You got it. So let me see. Claim Gwen and Joker. Gwen and Joker. Here's Gwen and Joker. So let me just write a few of these down. Josh, you got Gwen and Joker. Gwen's five and nine for 14. Tony. Yes. Did I say 10? No, I said 10. Um, Sterling, you want the the black cat set for 40, you got it. Somebody wants this uh, Iron Man, International Iron Man, the hip hop, uh, 15 bucks. Give you a good deal. I know I could probably get more if I auction it, but I'll give somebody a deal if they want to grab it. I'm going to buy it now mode. Got Edge of Venom verse one. I said fifteen bucks on the Iron Man Geo. Edge of Venom verse one. I can do that for eight bucks. Man, this next one's pretty cool. You want to see Iron Man? It's the international international Iron Man hip hop variant. Fifteen bucks if anybody's interested. I got this Conan number eight. This is freaking awesome. Carnageized Conan, 15 bucks. Tough to find these, these Conan variants. These aren't ordered very heavily. This X Men Red uh, Venom Thirty Year Anniversary seven seven dollars on that one. If anybody's interested, shoes. It's not a good marker. Got this Spider Geddon, six dollars. Spider Geddon number one, Punk Spider. 
Which are you claiming, Josh? Just tell me which book you want. I'm going through a few of them. Got the Iron Man, Hip Hop, the Conan, Carnage, the X Men, 30th Anniversary, Venom, the Spider Geddon, the Edge of Spider Verse. I've got the three Batmans for 12. I don't know, I got lots of spider getting kind of, these are pretty cool. I got these two, uh, I got a Spider Woman Alpha number one, the Silk, the X-Men, okay. I got gotcha, you, Josh. I got the Spider Woman Alpha number one with Silk, and then I got a Silk 7, J. Scott Campbell variant. I can do those for 20. If anybody's interested, the pair. Spider Woman and Silk. Okay, Josh, let me just write you down. It's a cool cover. It's a Lee and Hook. Or in Lee Hook. Lee and Hook. Sweet cover. Cool, cool. Okay. And then I got uh, the Black Panther, right? Yeah, I said I was going to do Black Panther. So I should do Black Panther. Okay, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books. I'm going to start it at five bucks. I'll do it as a builder lot, and I'll add a book every five bucks. These are all, like, cool variants. Um, so, let's see. Arrow Meister, you want to see the Spider-Man covers again? Well, I got the Edge of Venom verse. That one's eight bucks. Edge of Venom verse number one. We got Spider Geddon number one variant for six bucks. Uh, I had Venom twenty eight for fifteen. And then I got a bunch of other Spidey variants. But so that's what I that's what I showed. And then this was the pair, the silk and the spider woman alpha for 20 bucks. So uh this is the first Black Panther. This is um, a Hulk variant. This is cool. It's, the, it's actually the new Fantastic Four from that story that Art Adams drew, Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Spidey, and Hulk. So we'll start at $5. So this is in at 5 and then at 10 we'll bring in uh, Black Panther 3.
So now we've got uh, Shams went to right to 10. So that brings in that Black Panther 3. I love that cover of the new Fantastic Four. Uh, awesome. <clears throat> the next $5 would bring in the 50 Years of Carol Danvers variant with the Star Jammers on it and some of the X-Men. So that comes in at 15. Nope, we got a minute left. Well, these two are in right now. The next one that comes in for five dollars more is the Black Panther. Number three, the Star Jammers. These two are in right now. You got Black Panther and Storm variant for number three, and then this is the Hulk variant for number three. For well, this is one seventy legacy. This is what is three is one seventy five. So two different issues. Max, what's up? Okay, I guess that's it. Sam's group is getting the two issues. Hey, GT, if nobody's bidding, I'm going to take that third one, too. Okay, you're calm, man. Whatever you want, you can take them. Perfect. You can take whatever you want. Davis, you want some venom, huh? Okay. I think I think Todd just showed a bunch of venom or venomized. Yeah, I did show some venom. I could do some venom as well. All right, we can see what's going on. Cool. You want the? Uh, you want to just do fifteen on three? Yes, sir. You got it, Sam. Thank you. Let me reach it down. Cool. And we'll move right over to Beta Ray. All right. So happy to see everyone here. Five hours in 20 minutes. Holy moly. Look at the smile on that man. And we're still, we're five hours into it. You guys got to love it. Sub up Beta Ray, please. He's the yes, man. Yes, please sub me up. I need the subs. Hurt. Warm up. Warm up. Five hours I'm always smiling warm-up. because of sleep deprivation, I believe they call it. So we've got some buy it nows. Red Sonia number one, Dynamite Edition, ten bucks. Max Comics, how you doing? I got a box going for you. We can add this to your box for ten bucks. What else we got? This is a uh, Web of Venom Wraith number one, the Virgin variant. This one's buy it now, fifteen bucks. King in Black, number one. <laughs> yeah, you've got some badass Ghost Rider in there. Third appearance of Ghost Rider. Cosmic Ghost Rider, number one, Virgin Variant. Yeah, you've got some good books in there. All right, what else we got? Spider Man, Delato, number 46. Buy it now, 15 bucks. And somebody asked for some Venom. Let's. Let's see what we have here. Number 31, Delato Carnage variant. Buy it now, 10. These are all near men, by the way. 
Uh, even more Venom. This one's by now 10. Venom 26 version variant. Only 10 bucks. Venom 28 variant. I can't remember who did this cover, but damn, that's nasty. I like that pink and black. Venom 27. Another Del Auto Carnage. Buy it now. 15 bucks. Looks awesome. Good stuff. All right, let's do... Oh, one more. One more buy it now. Cable, number six. Buy it now, 20 bucks. Davis Rider wants Venom, 28. Pink and black. Davis Rider, you got it, brother. That has got your name on it. Nice work. All right. So for the auction, I'm going to start this off at $20. This is Silver Surfer Terrible. First edition, first print. This is a high-grade high copy. I don't believe this has ever been read. I certainly have not read this. The only flaw I can see that might make it a very fine plus is down in that corner if you can just see it but this thing is absolutely beautiful I'm such a huge fan of this artwork too Mobius oh my goodness yeah it was a that was a two issue series and then they did that trade paperback beautiful copy mm -hmm. Sands. You can tell we've been going for five hours plus. A little, a little quiet. <laughs> We're just trying to keep track of a bunch of things. Is all. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. About one and a half left. <laughs> Do a twenty-one and a Jump Street VHS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a guy. Mm. John Street. Silver Surfer Parable. Yeah, let's. Uh, doesn't look like there's much love for the Silver Surfer, but let's take a look at these Venoms again. Buy it now, fifteen dollars. This is uh, Venom twenty-seven, Gabriel Delato variant. It's Venom twenty-seven. Uh, let's see what else we have. Venom twenty-six, first appearance of Virus. Buy it now ten dollars for that one. We also have the Gabriel Del Auto Venom 31 Carnage. Sense. Yeah, that's it for Venom. We got the ASM. Oh, he's back. He's back. Hello. But that's it. If, uh, if you catch this on the rewind or whatever, just get with me on Instagram or send me a message via email, and uh, we'll move on <laughs> next round. Okay. 
Jurassic wants that 27. You got it, brother. That is all yours. Good pickup. Yeah, yeah. What's up, my peoples? All right. Let me show a quick buy it now. We're going to do this Star Wars lot for 50 shipped. This is Darth Vader 7, Darth Vader 8, Dr. Aphra 7. High Republic number one, the third print. High Republic number two, the second print. And High Republic number two, the unknown comic variant. This is 50 shift. 50 shift. Okay. Let me show a quick Spider Man by it now. You got your gold. Your gold variant Spider Man number one McFarlane cover. Your red webhead and your your carnageized Mary Jane. Uh, this is Dan Huckley's second print on Gwenham versus Carnage. This set will be uh, 130 shipped. 130 shipped for that. Buy it now. Spidey or buy it now, Star Wars. Okay. So you asked for some Venom. I was going to do some Wolverine, but Venom, Venom is needed by the chat, so I can show some of that. All right. We can do this. Pull out some books. All right, so one, two, three, four. Let's start this lot. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. We'll start this off at um, $30 and we can grow from there. So you get Venom number 27. This is your Ryan Brown cover. Venom number 28, Scorpion. Venom number 29, this is the connecting cover. Uh, the Giordano, I believe, is the artist. You get your free comic book day, Venom. This is Venom number 12, the C2E2 variant. Venom number 25, this is the third print. Venom number 26. Cover A, your virus, and Venom number 26, the second printed. Let's get that started. What's your uh, what's the start? Uh, let's, do, let's do 35. Okay. Let's do 35. And I will show you some of the other books that can come in. So we got Venom number one, the fourth print. We got Venom number two, your third print with the dragon on there. This will come in if we get to 65. 65, these two books come in. At 90, your next two books would come in. This is your uh, number eight decal and your number seven, again, your cameo of Dylan. These two come in at 90 and we can keep building from there. At 110, that one comes in. One forty-five. This one will come in. That is your second printing on number four. And at two seventy-five, these two would come in. That is your number three triple sign by Stegman, Kirkham, and Cates, along with the Necro Sword. 
275 for the whole lot. But we got to get started at 35. If anyone wants it, 35. Yeah, Yahweh. What's up, my brother? Welcome to the chat, man. What's up, Yahweh? Thank you guys so much for hitting that 110. Um, I am going to give you guys a quick raffle question after this. Davis, what are you looking for, man? If you need slabs, holler at me then. Next time, I'll just ask you specifically in the chat what it is you're looking for, and we can go from there. Are you going to do that? You want to do your giveaway? Yes. Let me go ahead and do that giveaway. All right. So if we can get a starting line, we're doing a G.I. Joe giveaway on these two covers. Top two will get a cover. Um, so the question is in the eighties, there was a wrestler who also was featured on GI Joe. Please give me that wrestler's name. Oh, come on. This is too easy. <laughs> there we go. We have a winner. We got two winners. All right. So if if we can confirm my first two people that I see is Sean and Edwin. Is that the what you can guys confirm. see? That's what I see. All right. Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter. So Sean, you get first pick. You can either have the uh, desk cover with the bullets or the cover with all the faces. Sean, which cover? Sorry, go ahead. He's on uh, the convention rounds too, isn't Sean, he? Sean, they're they're both uh, they're both Wu Tang um, homage covers. For like an A or a B on them or something. Um, let's go with uh, so this is the black cover. Um, this is cover A, and this is cover B. Just type A or B, and then um, Edwin will get the next one that you choose, that, that you don't choose. So this is A, and that's B. Okay, Sean, you got A, the black cover. Got it. So Edwin gets B. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. And Sean, nice. hit me up if you need any of that venom, my good sir. Now we've got a double A. All right, all. Good evening or morning, if you prefer. This is my last round. I'm starting to feel it a little. So uh, I, we have the Teen Titans, uh, the Judas Contract Dark Multiverse, number one. This is the Art Germ cover. Uh, beautiful cover, $15, near mint. Uh, and then you have Venom 27, the second printing. Three bucks. You can bin that. I also have 28 first print. Also three bucks. And final buy it now. Not sure if we got any Wonder Wonder Woman fans out there, but I have Wonder Woman Annual Four and Wonder Woman Number One Future State. So uh, first full appearance of Yara Floor. Some people are calling this the cameo. Uh, I'm not going to get into that debate, but a book that's got a little heat on it. Uh, I will do these both, both of these for 120 shipped, shipped. So uh, you get both. All the Yara goodness, the Brazilian Wonder Woman, 120 shipped. Picked up a few of these myself because I just love Joelle Jones. So let me know. 
in Wonder Woman. Claim 28 first print. You got it. Oh, caps. You want this one? 27? You can just confirm, Geo. It's all good. Uh, you can just put claim 27 if that's the one you mean. You, oh, you'll take both? Okay, both for three. You got it. Three apiece. Thank you, sir. Put that aside for you. And the auction. I wouldn't be me if I didn't end with some Batman. That is kind of how I get down. Um, so, this is uh, Batman 176. Um, so, this is, a, this is a beat book. It's got like a stain and there's some different stuff going on. But it has a bunch of classic covers on it. This book is normally 30, 40, 50 bucks. I'm going to start it at $10. And uh, for each, let's say each five bucks you go up, I'll put in a Batman book. So, yeah. Yeah. 80 page giants are hard to find. They, uh, even in VG condition, they usually go for about $30. That is a banging deal of the night. So it's, I mean, again, it's complete though. And you have a, this actually is tech uh, 259 over here. This is first calendar man. This is Batman 121. This is first appearance of Mr. Freeze 15. All right. So I'll let you choose then which Batman book you like. How about that? Um, I have a Batman 370. Or uh, you got a Batman 49, New 52, or uh, a Batman 475. This is actually the first appearance of Renee Montoya, and it's a sweet Scarface and Ventriloquist cover. So you can pick one of those for 15. What do you want to get thrown in? You pick. All great covers. Different eras. Yeah, 475. 475, yeah, good choice. Renee Montoya. Yep, so for 15 bucks, solid pickup. Uh, what else do I got? So, another five bucks. I have, ooh, I have Batman and Grendel. Ooh, 20 bucks. Okay, so we got these two. So for your third book, what do you want? Batman, Grendel. What's up, Simpsons? Hey, Batman Barney. 49 from the new 52 or Batman 370. All cool covers. What do you want? Three seventy. Excellent choice. Right. So I'll tell you what. Um if you want to go to 25, I've got 355 or uh, 457. So you've got Bat and the Cat or um, some Tim Drake goodness in costume. Minor key, the scarecrow there. So you want to go to 30, I can toss in one of those or one of the prior ones. But so far, you got, you got your giant Batman, 176. You got a, uh, ooh, Tim Drake it is. Okay. So. So, uh, for 25, got some good, good stuff in there. 
minors, majors, um, still have these, and I will keep adding books. Let me pull something else out that's fun. I got some Batgirl. I got some random Flash. Ooh, got this Poison Ivy cover. So these are all live right now at 25. Um, if you want to go to 30, I will toss in any one of these. So we got Poison Ivy. This is actually a gorgeous cover. Um, this is Gillian March. Poison Ivy, 30. Yeah, but Jiho went to 30. Oh, but Jiho did the best. Yeah. Max. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing to me, Max? <laughs> <laughs> so 30. Uh, Jiho, just tell me which one you would like, and I'll add one in. So this is what's in the pot. <sighs> Any of these can go in. Batman Grendel, Batman 49 from the New 52, uh, Batman 355, The Bat and the Cat. That's a sweet cover. I really like that one. Um, Batman Year One, 1995 annual. And then you got Poison Ivy, number one, Joker's Asylum. Beautiful cover. Yeah, you guys pick. You get another book. You put it to 30. Poison Ivy it is. Okay. Does it bother you? They bother you. All right. So, this is what's in for 30. Fun little... Fun little Batman lot. Um, well, it's, that's fun. Ooh. Got. I know this is a Flash cover, but it's got Batman on it. Yeah, I can go through all those for sure. Um, so we got Poison Ivy number one, Gillian March. You got. Uh, so this one, uh, the Gillian March Near Mint. Number one is a Near Mint copy. Uh, you got Batman 475, first appearance of Renee Montoya. Uh, Near Mint minus. Little corner ding, but no major issues. Then you got Batman 457. Uh, same thing, Near Mint minus. It has, uh, it has a tick, little corner ding, but in good condition. Uh Batman 370, VF plus, conservatively, no major issues. And then this one is the one that has issues. It's uh, Batman 176. It has a stain. It has dings. Um, there are issues with it. It has some water issue stuff. But, I mean, normally this goes for 30 by itself. So um, you more than make up for it with the, with the lot. Um, and every five bucks, we're at 31. If we go to 35, I'll toss in another book. Um, and I'll just keep chucking them in. So this is what you got so far. And these are the books that if you go to 35, you get to pick. So Flash 33, but it's the Batman 75 year anniversary cover. So that's really cool. Um, you got Batman 355, the bat and the cat, Batman 49, new 52, and Batman Grendel, Batman year one, 1995 annual. So, and if you guys are out, you can, is this price ship? No, it'll be uh priority shipping. Uh, nine bucks because you got five books. Priority shipping. I'll wrap them all up. I'll put them in a Gemini. They'll be ship priority. 
anything over four books, I just do nine and then I ship priority. Unless you get like 30 books or something and then, you know, 15 for a flat rate box. Thirty-two and a pint of Baskin Robbins. <laughs> I don't think that will last through the mail. So again, you're three dollars away, and I just chuck in another book. And then this. This is what you have at the moment. For sure. Uh, Polka Dot Peach you might be able to talk. Uh, 475 is an issue I kind of always pick up because I think Renee Montoya is a really underrated book. So I, I may actually have another. Yeah, Tim Drake has gotten a little heat on him. Which honestly, I don't know. I'm biased. I'm a Batman fan. About time. So it's on then. It is. So these are the books you got so far. Kevin Folding. Okay. I think I think with Kevin Folding. Yo, know, I think it's you. So if I think I think it's you. So if you want to go to thirty-five, I can add another book. But if you're good, you're good. So seems good. All right. Cool. Thank you. I agree. He was a good Robin. Cool. So, all right. Uh, yeah. Instagram or email, you know how to contact me. Uh, guys, appreciate it. It's been, a, it's been a riot. This is probably the fastest five hours I've been a part of in a while. It's just about six. This is wilds absolutely geo you got it um yeah that's it for me guys have a great night uh feel free to reach out and uh awesome. appreciate it todd day. thanks for coming yeah almost there to a thousand we're gonna get there yeah. within it's, it's coming 31 it's coming. away it seems doable <laughs> No, that was not the print error, as cool as that would be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I guess we're going to move over to uh, Dr. Evil here. Well, that's all right. So we got a freeway. Freeway came to okay. say I'm starting the timer when you're playing with your cat. <laughs> he says hi. He says, buy some comic books so I can eat. All right. I got the bat movie. I sold a Batman lot earlier. It sold for $16. I have a few of, of the copies. Freeway. People can't see the comic books when you're in the front of the camera. Um, I've got a few copies of that run left. Um, oh, Freeway. So I'm going to sell this. This is a buy it now. Uh, for ten dollars, uh, Batman four ninety four, Batman four ninety six, four ninety seven, four ninety eight, four ninety nine. Freeway. Ooh, 
$4.99, 500 and then the other 500 but this one does have a ding uh, in this top corner um, that holds it back. But I will throw in a free Batman animated series card, a promo card. So if anybody wants this uh, little run of Batman, which has Batman getting his back broken, um, $10, buy it now. So great deal there. Last deal of the night there. All right. I have three Bat Girl. Stop it, Freeway. Freeway. I'm trying to do something here. All right. I've got three Bat Girl books uh, Bat Girl 25, 26, and 27. Um, really great books. Uh, I have these priced at $5 each. I'll do 20% off. So $12. Buy it now. Uh, for these three books. So, Batgirl, uh, $12. Batman, $10. All right. Todd said I had to sell my funny books. I couldn't keep anything. So, here are four exclusives from that uh, box I purchased I told you all about earlier. I think the defects, except for one, I'll point it out to you, can be pressed out. Uh, so this is four exclusive books, um, very exclusive books. I'll start this at $10. Spider-Gwen, number four, Comics Exposure Exclusive. It's got um, some wrinklage here at the top freeway. Okay, so... Looks like we have some technical cat difficulty. You just heard it happen. <laughs> well then. And that's why you got to be careful when you're on the freeway. He's back. He's I'm back. back. All right, freeway, stop. Okay. No, what where, where are we doing? All right. Spider hey. Freya, number four. Freeway, don't. Here. I'm getting you down. All right. Okay, so that's your time. Oh, I think you right. like your time walk. Starting at $10, uh, Spider Gwen, number four, comics exposure exclusive. Spider Man, number six, very cool cover. Uh, comic Book 2018 uh, variant. I love this cover. Um, like I said, these couple do have some wrinklage. I think a press can get out. Uh, Amazing Spider Man, number nine. Again, got some wrinklage I think you can get out. And then this very cool book, Amazing Spider-Man 23, um, Venomized cover. Now, this one has wrinklage, but it also has a color break down here. You can see it right there, that little bit of a color break. So, but, um, yeah, three really great exclusive books. Look these up. I mean, they're about... Uh, fifteen twenty dollars each. Um, like I said, I feel like uh, all right, Tim, buy it now on the Batman. Yeah, I'm on the Batman. Okay. Uh, and on the Batgirl, cool. Um, they're in the other room. They was scratching. I let them in the closet. Take them Batgirl too. Yeah, I saw it. I uh, let them in the closet with all the uh, packing materials, so they're probably in there checking out boxes. And I don't know where Charlie is. Thanks for the update. But, uh... I did have... All right, so that was 10 and 12, so 22, Tim. Uh, buy it now, Fantastic Four number one, Clayton Crane variant. So if anybody's interested in that, $10, great deal. You can find these for about 15 on each day. <laughs> Spider Geddon Zero, Clayton Crane also, um, $15. They go for about um, 20 on eBay, so... Freeway says three more rounds. Oh, please, Roman. Roman, what'd you do? Wake up, take a nap, wake up, and now just want to 
start harassing people. Uh, oh, Did anybody bid on your books? Were they just? Oh no, no one, no one. They were they were distracted by freeway. Okay. So, all right, that's okay. I want to keep three of those anyway. So <laughs> that's trap. Nice. Cool. Anyway, freeway yes. looking for Catwoman. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Next, next. Now do we know what he he got the the line so messed up? Oh, do I go to Sam's now? Or no, it goes to you. No, it goes to uh. Kevin. It goes Kevin. To, yeah, goes to yes, yes. This is harder than Monopoly. Uh, that's all right. I'm about to. <laughs> it's because I dropped off for a second. No, every everybody I dropped off to too. Yeah, off. so. All right, I'm about to drop off permanently. I'm tired. You mean forever? Oh, forever? You, wish. Wow. you wish. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Subtle, ain't we? <laughs> well, it's only two o'clock here. I'm ready to go another round. Another another four rounds. I got lots of books. I mean, that's what I like to hear. Three day weekend. <laughs> I look at it. Oh, see, I gotta get up and do I do actual, actual some actual stuff in the morning. I look at it this way: in uh, in about four hours, regardless of when I go to bed, my five year old's waking up, and it's gonna wake me up. So, right, there's no stopping a, a five or a seven year old, and that's what I'm doing <laughs> too. <laughs> that's right. All right, so now we're down to the Gorilla Todd exclusive. You've waited all, well, at least the whole time I've been on for it. Here it is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's, that's my son's. Yeah, I only bring you the best <laughs> original art. That's right. A gorilla Pod's comic bonanza. Oh, nice. Unicorns and tacos. Unicorns and tacos. Oh, does that mean I'm going to get tacos after the auction? <laughs> Always got to be a taco place open. So, oh, dude, I can get tires in the middle of the night if I need. I live in Vegas, man. <laughs> That's right. Everything is open 24 hours in Vegas. Uh, so we're going to start 10 bucks. <laughs> Roman Curtis. Yeah. Do they have 24 hour comic shops in Vegas? I don't think they've done that yet. But this. Yeah. That would be amazing and dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to have armed guards or something. Go, go to a comic shop at four in the morning. You wake up the next day. I don't know what I bought. I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> the guy told me it was a great deal, and $1,000 later, everything got out of hand. You'd have to be open close to the casinos. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua Rodriguez is back. Joshua, I don't know if you saw before. You were asking about a carnage. Is this the carnage you were asking about? This is the only one I have left. But <sighs> they need a slot machine. Max, can... I got a big stack of Cosmic Ghost Rider. You probably got them all, but I got a stack of them. I picked up a Cosmic Ghost Rider today just because Max has talked about it. And I'm uh, interested in seeing it, Mr. 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 Bixby. Jiho has has aok'd you the Batman 457. Tim oh, Drake. He a, did, doesn't need to do that. What we, a guy. We were talking on IG. He really doesn't need to do that. I He's, do have. A, it's just my the copy that I bought when it came out. So it's like the staples are barely hanging on. Ah, uh, he he was very insistent. Uh, Don't worry, I'll hook him up too. What's up, Jane? <laughs> oh, gee, how are you doing? The Josh says it was a different full face one. Yeah, so Josh, I probably that if it's the one I'm thinking of, then that one is uh, that's long gone. That was uh, raffled off, I think, on Thorough Show. So, 10 bucks. I'll do the same deal as before if we can get it up to 15. 
you'll get the big, it's called 24 hour comics extravaganza. It's the biggest book that I do. It's very difficult to staple. It's an awesome book. That comes in at 15, but otherwise Deadpool, unicorns, tacos. Josh is going to go to 15. All right, Josh is going to 15, so he's got the comic. One of these times I'm actually going to figure out my camera. Looks like you're doing it from your phone. I think if you just turn it horizontal, you'll get like the nice widescreen. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I so I found I have I've got a computer here and I've got my phone. And my computer for some reason I get major delay and it just pictures blurry. It doesn't work out very well for me. But when I use my phone, it's perfect. Plus, I've got my little stand here that I use for uh, my live drawing shows. So, oh, yeah, like I said, I'm not an IT. I'm a doctor, Jim. I'm not an IT. That didn't sound right. <laughs> I'm a, uh, I'll figure it out later. <sighs> All right. So we had one one better. So that's going to, and he's already, he's already got a an envelope here. So I'm just going to throw that in there and we're good for the night. So now I go back to me. Now it's to you. Yes. Let's see if I can make this the longest round ever. Oh, I have God. so I have so many comic books. Please no. Yeah, not, not, if you, not if you want us to do another round. Well, do I really? <laughs> uh, not. Okay. I got this Fantastic Four 103. I was going to keep it, but I'll sell it. It's got the Human Torch, the Thing, and Submariner in like a three-way battle on the cover. And, and Mr. Fantastic's back there in the in the car and the fantastic car or one person of it and maybe invisible girls there somewhere too we just can't see her is that still jack kirby uh no no, no. no i sold that book a couple of weeks ago and it's uh ramita when yeah. kirby drop off it was, it was I, we were talking about that i think he Supposed it went to like 112, but apparently there's some books. No, if you just sold it, I'm not going to sell it again. I'll just keep it. No, sell it. Make some money. I'm not sure if it's on your show or not. Did you look and see? Yeah, it's Saramita. You're right. Okay. Well, it's in pretty good shape. There's a little something going on with the spine, obviously. It's an older book. A couple of ticks and a little wear. On the corner's got a little little crease there, light creasing. And a little light crease in there. But otherwise, it's a solid... Oh uh, yeah, I don't think he gave a start line. That's a good question. Comics yeah. and slabs. 
Oh, I didn't do the starting line yet. I'm just, uh, I'll start it at 10 bucks and give you plenty of, plenty of room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the hurry with putting up the starting line? I thought this was going to be the, the longest round ever. Yeah, I'll just do three auctions. That works. That works. Okay. <laughs> Uh Jiho's in at 10. No, Todd and I just give each other crap. Him and I talk several times during the week. We're we're buddies. Yeah, yeah. But we can wrestle in a cage match. I'm down. Uh -huh, sure. You're you're in Vegas. I'm sure we could probably probably find a cage. So have, what is there's what's your finisher? Gorilla? There's, there's a wrestling ring, two oh. doors down in the mall. Uh, where I was at today. I'll call up, call up Joe Rogan to hook us up. And it's Vegas, so it's twenty four hours. Yeah. Oh. Not creepy at all, Oregon. Not creepy at all. Yeah, that's what I was laughing at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, none of my cats declaw. They could be my weapons. I pull them out of my back pocket. <laughs> Comic slabs and statues is at 11. I won't tell you what my weapon is because then it wouldn't be a surprise. Well, you know, I come to California and don't call you, so it's even X collect. But dang, I could have given you the book uh, that Barney gave me for you. Yeah, vegan oxymorons. That's funny. Freeway's ready for me to go bad. She's ready to show yeah, I get it that you're bidding, JC. It just it takes me a minute because I got to read everything. JC's at 13. I should have done the beta ray built beta ray gym thing and started this at 20. You would have gotten more to the point. It would not have taken so long. Started at a dollar. Why not? Well, I thought 10 was basically starting at a buck. Yeah. Right. 15 mm -hmm. center. I can't believe there's still 62 people, watch, 65 people watching. They just have us on just like AMSR, you know? They just like want to hear our voices. Let's pause on these. He's got the $13 bid. Anybody else can bid at any time. So I got this big stack of Cosmic Ghost Riders. I don't know if anybody's into these. They're all like variant covers. Ugh. I'm just going to show some books. This is where the longest round comes in. If you see something you're interested in, let me know. Wait, was that Cosmic Ghost Rider writing a space starfish? Yeah, and a dolphin <laughs> or a shark or something. And Silver Surfer was in the background. It's a so yeah, see Silver Surfers in the back. <laughs> that yeah. is too cool. Now, which way am I going? This way now? I have not seen a lot of those variants. That's freaking yeah. hilarious. Oh, see, Dave agrees. Awesome. Dave agrees. It's our voices, our soothing sounds of comic auctions. So yeah, there's the there's the Ghost Rider variants. Here's the rest of the Black Panthers that didn't get seen. He wasn't lying. Three auctions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I got the Black Panthers. Then I got this young Marvel Young Guns assortment of books. Um. 
Are we just showing yeah, off books in our them. collection? <laughs> no, I'm, if they want, tell me which. Uh, yeah, Max asked how much for the Ghost Riders. She said there's a couple in there. She all didn't of them. Need. I want to sell them all. I don't want to sell a couple. Well, and she said she would a okay the extra ones. So how much? Five bucks a piece. We got Black Panther. These are all cool. And that's some Daredevil. Wait, where's the Daredevil? Oh, the dare Daredevils are behind there. This is a cool uh, Tim Sal variant. Look, you got the yellow Daredevil in the back. You got the red one. Then you got the 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 one from the the John Romita Frank Miller series. Where, where's the Where's the Daredevil armor one? Yeah, well, it's a time in Daredevil history we all like to forget. Yeah, yeah. Well, Max Comics. Five dollars each. Buy it now. Cosmic Ghost Rider. Mind if we end the line on the set? No, I, I mean we the, we can go back to that. So we got JC with the high bid of thirteen. Where's the timer at? Oh, no timer. It didn't, doesn't matter. Um, what's it? Weird. But he he said he said that you took so long he forgot what he's bidding on. So he just went ahead and folded. Okay. So I guess JC wins. Does anybody else want to bid? On the Fantastic Four 103. Going once. Going twice. Where's our buddy Matt Spotty at tonight? Uh, he don't get paid till Wednesday, I think. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Did I miss a bid? But Max, you want those? So you got that, John? You got that, JC? That was one of the Young Guns covers. Well, Max is next in line, Joshua. Let her. So you got it, JC. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, so 60 bucks. Max, 12 times 5, 60. Mm. You got it, JC. I got you on that. Max, just confirm you're, you're good with 65 times 12. I don't know if you knew it was 12 or you thought it was right. or a Yeah, different. it looked like it was only about six earlier when you I did. I want to make sure you, you're good with that. If you don't, if, you know, okay. I, let me make sure. Did I have a double in there? Yeah, don't. I won't, I won't make you buy a double. I think I had a double of one. She might yeah, be I, I had a double of this number five from hell. She might have been drinking, so don't take advantage. I had a double of that one, so I'll pull that one out. So it'll be fifty. It'll be fifty-five. Got that new stimulus check coming. That's gonna be fun. Let me hurry up and get my taxes done so I can get a stimulus okay. check. Let me let me just bag these up. I still got like twenty minutes to go for the longest round ever. Here we go. Jeez. All right, so you had Joshua asking about that uh, wedding. Yeah, I got it. I got it. No rush. Do a little tape there. Ooh. Okay, so where's my... I got these Doctor Stranges. These are pretty wicked, too. Scotty Young, Doctor Strange. Pascal Ferry, Deadpool doing a little Doctor Strange thing. This is a Venomized Doctor, uh, like the Venom, the 30th anniversary of Venom with all the symbiotes. And then this is the coolest one, I think. This is uh, the Hulk, Mike Dodato Jr. doing Maestro. Look at that one. That one's pretty wicked. Hurry. Oh, 
See what you're doing. L-M-A-O. Just playing. Todd. <laughs> I gotcha. Hurry up and wait, right? Okay, so those are cool. But you wanted the... Here it is. These are from the, the, the Young Guns variant covers that they did. Like this one's Mike Del Mundo. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got this one, Mike Del Mundo. Yeah, only click Mike Del Tuesday. Don't make fun of his name, dude. I, what? That's culturally insensitive. What? I, how much venom? I know. <laughs> the venom, Doctor Strange. I mean, the, the the. I knew you'd like that one, Tony. Uh. Five bucks is cool. Tony, if you want it for five bucks, you can have it for five bucks. I figure you want it for five, so I'm writing, it, writing your name down. Yeah, I figured. Good. I, I know my Tony. So that there's the wedding one. Where did I put those books now? Put them down again. Can't do so right here next to me. So that's the Mike Del Mundo. This is an Aaron Cooter. Got Black Bolt kicking everybody's butt. Here's another Mike Del Mundo. Mean Humans. Statue of Lockjaw. And then we have a uh, Javier Garan. This is pretty cool. Another. Black Bolt holding Medusa, Lockjaw, and all the other humans in the background. And then here's a Marco Chichetto. This one's pretty dope. This is uh, Magneto. Yeah, Tony's asking how much of that wedding one to throw in. Uh, and then uh, I got this Doctor Strange. This is another Javier Garon. That one's pretty awesome. And then the Pepe Larraz. The uh, the Black Panther. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, man, this is a tough one. I never find it. This is only the only time I've ever found it. Um. Just, I'll do 10 on that one. I'll do 10 on the wedding one. Unless you want all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll do five dollars a piece if you want all two. Wait, two, four, six. Yeah, if you want all seven, I do five dollars a piece. 35 bucks. If you just want the wedding one, because that's probably the most popular one. I'll do 10. <sighs> Claim your guns. Are you taking the whole the whole young gun set? Josh, is that what you're, you claim young guns? Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, Tony. I think he beat you to the punch there. Man, these comic auctions are a pretty rough neighborhood. Did I show you all the daredevils? I think I just showed you the one, right? 
So this is the one with all the costumes. And then this one's the the Skrulls variant where Daredevil's fighting the Skrull Electra, Roberto Ramos, Roberto Ramos. And then this one is, these are pretty cool variants. This is Lionel U. Anytime they show the bottom detail of the boot of a superhero, I think that's pretty wicked cool. And then this one's a pale of Rivera. Really cool on the subway stairs. Got those bright red boots. Uh, and then this one, who did this one? I don't see a signature, and I'm not sure, but cool bullseye throwing the playing cards. It's Daredevil. Here's the number six. Hey, um, I'm just going to throw this out there. When I started this round, we had 62 watchers. We have 65 right now. You know why? People like Gorilla Todd. People show up for Gorilla Todd. Either my comic. Amazed that we're still on the air. Oh, dude, I've gone ten hours. This is nothing. We're this. This is like the warm up. <laughs> I, was, I was made up all week. Oh my god! For like three days. I'm gonna find your number. And and the kind guys. I'm gonna have them call you. Three hours. Call who? You. I'm gonna Thank find you. your number and have my five year old call you in like three hours when he wakes up. Dude, I'm a teacher. Five year olds are nothing to me. Roman Curtis <laughs> claim daredevils. You want the? I didn't even give a price. I was just showing them. Um, <laughs> you, Wait, I guess you get some free then. No One, charge. Two, three, four. Nice pickup. Uh, these are nice. I didn't really want to sell these, but I'll do fifty bucks on the seven. Seven books. They're all nice variants. They're sweet, Roman. If you want to do 50 on the Daredevils, Roman, it's, it's, it's a nice bunch of books. Seriously. Let me know. They're I, sweet. I do notice somebody has taken away a like and made it a thumbs down. I don't care. <laughs> Haters going to hate. They it hate what they ain't. Dude, I, you you got it, Roman. Uh, I, I I chew up haters and spit them out. They can hate. I don't care. They think it hurts, but you know what? They got a. I get a view for them coming on my auction. That's that right. Counts as an interaction, so I'll take it. Less the haters. You got it, Roman. Set you up with some sweet Daredevil action. Um, and then what's my PayPal? Right there. Gorilla Todd Comics at gmail.com. What's up, Comics on the Mind? Still hanging out? It's literally right there. Gorilla Todd Comics at Gmail. It's the simplest. I got all these spider books. So I asked for 20 for these two before. But if you buy a bunch of them, I'll hook you up. I'm telling you, Dave. Haters hate because they haters haters gonna hate. Hey, they hate because they ain't. I'm just gonna keep being me. I got some spider getting. This is numbers one. All right, Lee in Lee Hook. You look all your spider friends are there. Um, so you got the spider woman alpha. Who did that one? I forget who did that one, but that's pretty cool. You got the, the Campbell, Scott Campbell, uh, Silk 7 variant. This one's sweet. This is uh, David Nakayama, Spider-Geddon number one variant. 
pretty sweet. I should probably do my homework and figure out what the ratio is or whatever. Here's a number three variant. I don't see an artist signature, but it's pretty cool. Oh, Inley Hook. That's what I thought. He hides it. Like, it's right there. on type of top of Penny. There's Gwen and... Shoot, I don't even know some of these spider people. And then I got the Spider-Verse number two, Nick Bradshaw, Gwen Stacy, Spider-Gwen cover. This is pretty cool. This is a Ronlin Spider-Man 2099 variant. And then this one just looks dope. It's another Spider-Man 2099 number 10. All new story, something sinister comes this way. I just think Spider-Man 2099 is cool looking, so I grab covers when I think he looks cool. And then I got like four more boxes. I can keep grabbing stuff. It's in here. Lots of stuff I want to keep. Show that already. And then I, nobody took the Kitty Pride and Wolverine. Uh... What I say, 30 before? Somebody wants to get Pride and Wolverine. 20 bucks. All six issues. That's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good story, too, if you never read it. One through six, $20 if anybody's interested. So. We got Max some comics. We got Roman some comics. We got Tony a comic. We got Jiho a comic. We got Josh Josh some comics. Does anybody else want some comics? Anything else look interesting? Did you have a spy? I have a couple. Well, we can make a a Spidey. 2099 lot because I have two Spidey 2099 books. So boom, ten dollars. Spidey 2099 lot. You get the 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 number ten awesome cover, and you get the Ron Lim variant. You got it, Max. I get it out Monday. Let me know, Arrow, 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 Matt, Maestro, if you're interested in that. Oh, I got this one, too. I haven't even showed this one yet. This is the J. Scott. This is from the J. Scott God Campbell website. This is the Marvelous Black Cat number one. With, like, the, uh, I guess, the Material Girl kind of Madonna... Marlon Monroe cover. I got that one. I don't know, but Josh, you want Kitty Pride and Wolverine? See, just when I'm about to give up, somebody buys something. And it, like, renews my my, um, I don't know my my figure. So, you want and you want the twenty ninety nine? I got your arrow maestro. Look at that! Look at that! So I X arrow maestro X I ten bucks. Boom! And Josh is taking. Uh, which spider getting? There was a couple spider getting issues, Tony. Sandra, are you interested in the the the? I hear all these thundercats. Are you interested in the naughty and nice cosplay set? I said a hundred, but I could do. I could give you a better price if you're interested. Who's still in the panel tonight? Who did I lose? Just triple, just double A. 
Everybody else is still is still with us. It's still going strong. So I think we're good. I got to check something here. But uh, let me see here. Tony, how much was the black cat? I'll t Dave wants to take the Monroe. How about the one where Spider-Man's swinging? Uh, it's going to be... I can do two books. If those are the only two books you have with me, Arrow Maestro, I, did you buy anything else from me? Because if you have a box with me, shipping's nine bucks. And I can do up to like 12 books. If it's just these two books... You know, I can ship them for like six bucks. So if that's all you've ever bought from me, just call it 16. And I'll get back to the black cat. Let me see if I can figure out the spider Gwen. This one, Tony. Or this one. A lot of these were Spider-Man swinging. I guess those are his most swingiest. And then you guys want a price on the black cat. I should really be more prepared, I suppose. Um, but that's a pretty cool book. Got to go and see what I can do for you guys. Hmm. How about the red one? Yeah, this is the David Nakayama one. Uh, eight bucks. I'll do it for eight bucks, Tony. I'm going to put your name on it. I assume you want it. Just confirm. I'm only doing that so somebody else doesn't claim it and, and grab it. Josh, you wanted the black cat, Kitty Pride, and Wolverine. For 20, I said, yes. You got that. And then how about a couple of you want this, this black cat? So how about if I'll do this as the auction? And we'll call it, that'll be the end of the round. We'll do a $20 starting line. we we'll do a 20 in the middle. How many auctions is this? This is number four, I think. No, this is only number two. Only. 18. All right. They were all by it now. So I got time to get another beer, is what you're saying. And let me start the timer. So Dave's in for 20. It's all good, That's Josh. 21. Uh, I appreciate that you, you know, you 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 get your you pay it off. That's what's important. Sterling's in at 21. Tony's Tony, in at 22. 22. Sixty people still watching. Sixty p sixty one. What was it when you we when we started the round? Sixty three, I think you no, said. No, like fifty eight. No, come on. Sterling to twenty five.
340 here on the East Coast. 60 in some, 61. 62. Let's see. Now there's numbers and there's, okay, 26 from Dave Deere, 27 from Sterling, oh, 59, nah, 28 from Dave. Dropping like flies. Yeah, but the 59 that are here are the ones that really matter. 30 from Tony. This is like my best auction of the night. The Marvelous Black Cat. I mean, how often do you see Spidey in a tuxedo? In multiples. Dave goes to 35. That is a pretty nice cover. Dude, She's like the perfect. It's got the nice Campbell website. Little sticker. It's all legit. Looks like we're at 112 thumbs up. But is the Madonna swipe a Mallorn Monroe swipe? We don't have anybody that old on the panel. Sterling's at 36. Tony's at 37. That's what I don't know. I'm pretty sure, though. I would think so. I think I think that Marilyn did it way earlier. Yeah. Oh, I mean, she is a material girl. The whole motif is stealing stuff, diamonds and whatnot, things that are shiny. Okay, Sterling's at 38. Thank you, my brother Eddie. Big shout out for subbing. Nice, nice. Yep, sub everybody up. She robs jewels. Yeah. It's such a funny sub on that. 969. It's like the same number. Backwards and forwards. It's a palindrome. Oh, I'm at 971. Like the dog hold. Only 29 away. Tony's at 40. Sterling's at 41. Dave's at 42. At least I'm ending it on a good auction. Right? I don't think you're ending anything at all. What do you, what do you mean? It's going on forever. It's like 40 minutes now. Not that I'm complaining. I am thoroughly entertained. I was completely up front. I thought you were joking. Yeah, he's not wrong. It's It's been about 20 minutes. What am I doing for... I have a whole video called Quest for a Thousand Subs. Actually, you got to check it out and join the contest. You yeah, might win the New Mutants 1 9.8. That's what Definitely. I'm giving away. What's up, Mad Spidey? Mad Spidey? You can watch. Look, we got Spidey. Oh, man. Woo. I guess like, I'm busting out that, that jungle action six. Mad Spidey's here. <laughs> 
Yeah, I got a whole video. I'm giving away a New Mutants number one CGC 9.8, a Batman 90, Matina Riddler cover 9.8, and some Gorilla Bucks, and Sterling's at 43. Dave's at 44. <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming and hanging out. Oh, Tony Folds. Gorilla coin. I like it. So now it's between Sterling and Dave. I could sweeten the pot. Mad Spidey, good to see you, brother. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome from down under, Mad Spidey. So we're at 45. I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead. We're at 46. I'll throw in this... Uh, is J. Scott Campbell? No, throw in the other J. Scott Campbell. Makes more sense, right? 20 to 1, he didn't start a timer. Why were there's multiple bidders? I knew there'd be multiple bidders. I'm going to throw in this Silk number 7 variant by J. Scott Campbell. See, there's his signature right there. So you're getting a little extra Campbell action. It's in there. I'm not even going to push you for a couple bucks more for it. It's in there. Hey, Matt Spidey, Tony wants to buy your art. The time is just a guide. <laughs> Thanks, Matt Spidey. I'm feeling a little better. I think tomorrow I'll be able to get everything done. Past 3 a.m., we don't have timers. So, Dave's the high bit of 46. Uh, let's see, Sterling. Can I have the last 25 minutes of, nope, time you can't buy back, James. Once you spend it, it's gone. The flow of time moves in one direction. That's called the arrow of time. Okay, Sterling folds, so Dave's going to take this down for 46. Here comes the end line, the official end of the... But I just want... No, I'm kidding. Cool. So, Dave, you're going to get that those two books for 46. Nice pickup. And for the third to last round, we're going to move over to Beta Ray Gem. It's my turn. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for still being here. Appreciate all you true believers that are still hanging out the auction. What are we doing here? Six hours and 44 minutes. Damn. <laughs> you know what? Shout out to Mr. Lett. I know you're lurking out there. Mr. Lett said uh, it was, he was How did we do that? What's that? I said it was just at five hours. How did we get to two more hours? That's crazy. Well, oh, it was Gorilla what? Todd's turn, so you that's what? what, you know, you know what? an hour and a half goes by, just I like that. On. <laughs> Until I and I it. wasn't joking. When Gorilla should Todd I takes those 40 minute rounds. Should I just stay on until I hit 1,000 subs? We only need 29. 29, so, guys. 24 hour lives. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's go. Let's do some buy it nows. I've got about 70 buy it nows here. I'm just going to pull out every book I own. Seriously. <laughs> go for it. I'm in a mood. Red Sonia. We've seen these already. Nice. We've seen these. These are all near mint copies. I think this one. Whoops. Where did the tag go on this one? This one's 20 bucks. Buy it now. Cable. Number six. Oh, 
This one we haven't seen. This is a uh, fable. No, Folklords. That's what it is. Folklords number one, limited to 500. Buy now 30 bucks. Beautiful, beautiful book. This is a near mint copy. Very nice book. Only 500 of these exist. Folklords, number one. If you don't know, now you know. Folklords. X Men. Number 11. Very naughty cover. Mm -mm. White Queen. If you don't have a copy of this, I mean, come on. Marvel Comics, number 1,000. Buy it now. 10 bucks. Live field. Some more Venom. People like Venom, right? Oh, I oh, bet there is X Collect. I bet there are. Ten bucks for Venom twenty five, not bad. <laughs> you cannot blame Cyclops. That is true. Ten bucks for Venom thirty two. I'm going to see what I can raggle up. Very nice Venoms. Oh, I think we've seen this one. Batman and Catwoman. Buy now. Ten bucks. Black Label. Jurassic wants that Venom 25. You got it, brother. Not a bad book. Jurassic gets that one. <laughs> Alliteration oh, makes oh, me so, so happy. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, we saw this one. Batman Catwoman. And last uh, buy it now for this round. Wonder Woman, 750 Pretty sure that's Jim Lee. I think that's a triple cover thing that you can do. All right, that's it. So let's do an auction. We're going to start this off at $10. This is the Astonishing Thor five-part series. This is all five parts. Tony wants Venom 32. Tony, you got it. $10 for Venom 32. This one is yours, brother. Put your name on that. Tony. Kevin says buy it now. Batman, Catwoman. Jurassic says Venom 25. Venom Am I helping or, or being annoying? Which one is that? Kevin okay. Bixby wants the Batman Catwoman. Yeah. You got it, brother. Kevin. Jurassic wants... Venom 25. Yep. Got that cool. one. So Jurassic. You got Venom 25. Tony, you got uh, Venom 32. And then Kevin Bixby got Batman Catwoman. Awesome books. All right. So back to this one. So, Gorilla, give me a $10 starting line, please. One second. Starting in another live stream, trying to drum up some some subs. Ten dollars starting line. Ten dollars starting line for all five issues of Astonishing Thor. Ooh, got some funky elbow moves. Is he doing the funky chicken? <laughs> he might be. It's very possible. Oh wait, that's not in there. Get out of there. I'll tell you what, I'm not even going to set a timer. You just tell me when you've had enough. Oh, listen, don't be cocky. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm trying to give you the same. I'm listen, I'm that. not so confident there'll be multiple bidders on my Thor lot. Well, you know, that's a cool cover. Who, who did that? Uh, I think it's Thor. Sure. No, no, I'd be the, the creator. Oh, here's Max Ancaster. 
Weisenheimer. Yep. Do a timer. Fine. I'll do a timer. Jeez. Sheesh. Jeez. Tell me how to run my auction. I guess I'm going to have to get some Silver Age again. Some yellow Suit Daredevil or something. First Killmonger, maybe. Actually, in not joking, I might actually have a first Killmonger next week. Probably not quite as high a grade as the last one that sold for 900, but pretty damn high grade. So we'll see. We'll see. What camera do I use? It's the Sony A5100. I believe that's the uh, name of it, Sony A5100. James so. wants to know how much the Silver Surfer trade back, trade paperback is. I'll sell it for 20 bucks because I put it up for 20 <laughs> bucks last round and nobody bought it. So $20. And then it's it's in damn nice Thank condition. Black comics for sharing it on Twitter. That is well worth 20 bucks. I'm really surprised nobody bid on that. But it is a trade. It's not a comic, so I can understand, you know. But it's one of those trades that are, you know, sought after. They're they're not exactly common. Geo thought he bought it. Geo bought the Silver Surfer. I don't know. That's what he's thinking. He's saying. Well, I I don't I don't remember that. I don't recall it either. I recall like he says he sent you 21 via PayPal. Is he talking about something else? Did somebody buy the surfer? Am I like I've only had I, two two beers. I don't <laughs> well beer says he's making you 21 if that's for the surfer and he sent it. All right, I'll tell you what. So 21 to Jiho. I will check. James is, is okay with that, if that's the case. Awesome. He's agreeable. James is a good, solid dude. And if not, if we're if we're all confused, then James, you can have it for 20. We're always, we're always confused, but hey. Well, that, that's true. That's true. So there's that pesky timer. Nobody wants the astonishing Thor. Very surprised. All right. All right, let me do some research on what happened with this uh just this check, surfer, surfer. check the, the, the chat, you know. We're gonna hit seven hours, guys. Awesome. You guys are the best. You have a cool room, Jim. <laughs> Thanks, brother. I like that corner. I could just sit in that corner and read comics for hours. If that's what you were going for, goal achieved. <laughs> Bye. There's a lot of good books in here, let me tell you. Tell you can me. get lost for a long time. I'm confused. Who do I go to? Better Ray Jim. Oh, my turn again? All right, we're going to start no, it off. No, i got to figure out who to go to. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's next in line, and then Is Sam, it? and then Shelby. Is that cool? We'll just go with the, the way the line looks. All right. It's dark time, guys. Got some Ultraman. If anybody's interested in Ultraman, I never got into Ultraman. I don't know. See, I did on like the UHF channels on Sunday mornings. It was fantastic. Yeah, my dad used to show me the show called Matinee to Bijou, and they always showed like the serials and the newsreels and the cartoons, and then the feature. Mm -hmm. That's how the movies were when he was a kid. So, and then I actually have, I have a buy it now. I'm going to put Ultraman down for a minute. Season of the Witch, Halloween, Volume Three, uh, part of an anthology that I'm that I was. It's an anthology that I was a part of. Uh, That's pretty cool. So, pretty nice book. Lots of stories, very good art, lots of artists. It's uh, uh, Northside Comic Artists. 
so it's Chicago based. And it's ten bucks. So a lot of good stuff in there. But back to Ultraman. And if you don't like Ultraman, we do have Supergirl. Uh, what else? Here. If you don't like Supergirl or Ultraman, I've got Batman. Oh, yeah. Let them know what which one you guys might be interested in. How much are those? Uh, ten bucks. So you do a ten dollar buy now on any of those? Yeah. So there's a chance you get a good deal on a piece of art, original art for ten bucks. This is one of my favorites. I like this one. Tritios with Agent Dale Cooper and Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig? Peppa Pig. Tweens glitter. See, I have no Peppa Pig. I can deal with five-year-olds. <laughs> no glitter for you kids. Uh, or underdog. Underdog's pretty awesome. So, so some buy it now. Comic book. I actually have a comic book to sell instead of just art. It's like a mini comic. It's so cute. It is. It's, I mean, it's thick. So, I mean, it's, it's the same size as my mini comics, but this one is. There's actually an ISBN number on it where mine does not have that. The legit book. Treat yourself. Underdog. What the what? Ultraman. Or Supergirl. So any of those, 10 bucks. It's a deal. Plus, I throw extra stuff in. Little mini, mini comics or stickers or stuff like that. So you never just are paying for stuff. Bacon. How much for the pink eyed Supergirl? Ten bucks. She's not I guess it does look like she's got pink eye. <laughs> you know you know where the bacteria from pink eye comes from. That's right. I did stick it in my back pocket, so it's it's possible. No, the comics, slabs, and statues, Supergirl's 10 bucks. They're all, everything is 10 bucks. I know, uh, Todd, I got a blank cover Justice League Power Rangers book from Barney. Cool. And uh, I'm going to do that up for him. I'm actually excited for that one. Dog. What the what? This one, so this one's older. Uh, I did this in 2018 and I had it at conventions and I had these letters with me and I would try and sell this and be like, I will put whatever you want on there. What do you want Batman to say? And finally, I just got sick of it not saying anything. So it says, what the what? People laugh at it, but nobody ever buys it. Nobody likes my Batman, I guess. 
see what else I got over here. That's my character, my superhero, and the villain. Making me dig deep. These are originals from uh, Inktober. October, you're supposed to spend every day drawing something in ink. I got an October brush set on my on my tablet thing. Do you? It even has the Inktober stamp. Nice. So I can make it look all fancy. Nice. And I do an Inktober drawing if I ever do one. That and that's one of my favorite ones. That's pretty cool. My favorite so far is Underdog. Underdog? Yeah. I'll set that one aside for you, Todd. Oh, you don't have to do that. I'll, I'll send you 10 bucks for it. No. I'm asking for a free one. Or I'll send you some comics. How about we trade? Uh, I could do that. You don't need to, but I could do that. Because everybody loves comics. Everybody. I pull this one out too. If anybody's a Sonic fan, he's doing like disco dancing. That's right. So but I've got lots to choose from. A lot of this is actually on my Instagram page. So if, uh, you know, if you're interested in in any of this stuff, and you don't want to buy it now. Hit me up on IG, and I will put but it in. Have a store, and your piece of art will hang out with guys like Walt Simonson's art and Sam Sakai's art. That's and, right, and Nick Cardi's art, and <laughs> and lots of other that's, lots of other dudes. That's a good uh, art. Adams art. So. This is a coloring book I was telling you about. This is a, a variant edition with the cover done by Topper Helmers. Um, and it's kind of fun because I'm right in there on the cover. Tomorrow's Legends. But this thing has, hang on, let me find. There's the Stan Sakai. Um, there's a bunch of guys. Art Balthazar, who does Tiny Titans and Little Hellboy, and that's his character, Gilbert. Um, Steve Rude is in here. Uh, nice. Yeah, so I mean, there's there's just... I'm looking at it. There's a ton of people. It's amazing. Here's, in fact, two pages of artists. So um, this one is available, too. Uh, this is, and actually, Howard the Duck. I don't know how we got away with that one, but um, so these are, are $20. Um, but that $20 goes right back to uh, comic books for kids. And here's the official seal. Um, that uh, that goes right back to com uh, comic books for kids. So that, because... Nice. I told Barney, he wants me to go to the next... Uh, he wants me to set up a table at the next... Um, Toy thing, rogue toys thing that he did a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I told him, like, I'll do sketches, but whatever donation, I'll, I'll do them for donations. 
<clears throat> and all the money can go to whatever charity he, he's doing that time around. Nice. Yeah, that's that's uh, I get involved with comic books for kids because I do these. Hang on, I'm trying to pull. I do these at C2E2, uh, Hero Initiative Comics, um, where there's a group of us that uh, get together and, and do these stories, and all the money that we make goes back to the Hero Initiative. And we have a you know giant signing on, on hey, one of the days. You would color that so hard. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, again, there's, I mean, just... It's kind of fun because uh, it's very interesting because we have entered our seventh hour of broadcasting. <laughs> um, it's kind of fun because the signing. Usually, I pick up a couple copies when we do the signing because we get all the people to sign, everybody that's involved in the book to sign. The I'm kind of afraid to try and move out of my chair. I've been sitting for so long. I feel like this is going to be painful. So, so yeah, I do. The 47 charity. people strong, seven hours in. Thank you for Gorilla smashing that thumbs up all night long. Man, we, Looks like we are at well we over 100. We so lost a lot of people when I jumped on there. 113 thumbs up. They must really hate that, my art. No, they're just tired and, you know. I know, I'm just... They didn't bid on other people. You know, you gotta, you gotta, like... <laughs> that, that's why I have to, like, cajole them so much, and you see, it, it's not just an in-and-out kind of thing. Where's your subscriber number at? Uh, four, I think we're still at the same. I need 29. Yeah, it looks like I still need 29. There was only nine people watching that stream, so, you know, percentages. But, hey, you know, it is the middle of the night. Yeah. Not the middle of the night for Matt Spidey. Matt Spidey, if you're out there, get, your, get everybody in Australia to sub me up. Let's do it. Let's make That's it happen. Ridiculous. But he's got to be interested. What? Maybe no. Am I being ridiculous? Yes. <laughs> I'll go. Uh, okay, Kevin. The entire continent. Oh, at least the, the comic loving part of it. I mean, I imagine if they live, people live in the outback and they don't have technology like electricity, they can't subscribe. So I'll give them a pass, but it's very kind I'm, of you. I'm reasonable. Let's move over to Sad's group. See if he's still awake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just detained by it all. It's hilarious, guys. I love it. I love it. Uh, welcome to the seventh hour. We appreciate you being with us. Seven hours strong, and we're just vibing. So let's keep vibing, guys. Um, I was asking the chat if we wanted some uh, DC or some like a Wolverine lot. I'll I like do a, yeah, I'll do a Wolverine lot. Um, we'll start this off at uh, let's go uh, forty bucks, and we can grow from there. So no oatmeal raisin? One, two, <laughs> four, five, six, seven buck a lot. We start with your Del Auto Wolverine number seven. That's nice. I love that book. You get your Venomized Wolverine number eight. Your Wolverine number eight, the 350 signature cover. Not signature, but... Um, 350 cover. There's that Tyler Kirkham, Black, White, and Blood, Wolverine Virgin. Here's Black, White, and Blood, number two, the Unmasked variant. Yeah, the secret, secret variant. variant. Then you have Exo Swords, number one, the Wolverine cover trade, and the Wolverine cover 
virgin. I like that. I like that Delato. It's a very like chiaroscuro kind of approach, the dark and light contrast. It's a cool book. It's pretty dope. You get a cover like this, Wolverine. It just kind of it looks like a fine painting, a fine art. That's why you gotta love Virgin variants. So we got seven book lot. If anyone's interested in some good Wolverines, we got some great variants in here, Virgin variants and secret covers, all the good things that you missed out on. Kyle Hutz covers of X of Swords. I got the other slab from you. Came in the mail today. Thank you. Arrived in good shape. Very happy. Excellent. I am happy. You got two Thors. Good, a good lot of Thors from me. So that's fantastic, my brother. I just realized I have a two. I didn't get the two from you, but I got the five and the six from you. So now I have three of the first six issues of this run in nine eight. And you got three of the significant uh, issues too, so that that's great. Yeah. Is it a two or a three that I have? Wait. So, guys, the next book that comes in at nine. Oh, nice, Omega Red. It's going to be that ninety dollars gets you that book. You get the other books plus the Omega Red. She is crispy. I don't have the regular cover on too though. I have the design variant. That was the what second print, right? Yeah, I don't... This would come in at ninety, guys. <laughs> I think it's just a variant cover on number two. They did like a reprint on number three. Ah, got you, got you. Yeah, I remember one of those being a design cover where it was like a second print or something like that. Get your Omega Red first appearance. That comes in at 90. And we'll get to 275. This bad boy will jump in. I haven't even shown any slabs tonight for sale. What was I thinking? Did you want me to start a timer? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm so off the rails right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. No worries. No worries. You want a full 230 or? No, no. Let's, uh, I think it's been going about a two One minutes. Minute. Already, yeah, a minute, a minute to see, a minute to give people a fair chance to. You got any other buy it now? As you wanna, sure thing. I do, I do. Why not? You know, flash some more stuff. You never know what'll stick. That's right. Of uh, this buy it now, you get. You never know what I might. Punchline. 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 Punchline and punchline. So you get the CGC 9.6 signed by James Tenney in the fourth, along with four punchline variants, including the sketch variant. This is 250 shipped. 250 shipped. If anyone wants some Superman and Justice League, I'll just quickly show this. Yeah, take it. go for it. Superman 25. You got nice DC Justice Black Adam cover. Black Adam cover. You got week 52. Week nine, excuse me, week nine of DC 52, week 12 with more Black Adam and ISIS goodies. We got this Justice League Shazam last stand. Then I threw in a Batman 50 because it's a great issue. 
and a Justice League 50, your Jessica goodness. This is, I'll do um, 90 shipped on this lot, 90 shipped. But that, that is it, my friends. If anyone wants to just buy this, I'll do uh, 50 shipped on the X-Men 4. Thank you kindly. You are welcome. Your turn, Shelby. All right. It's the Shelby Show. Hi, Shelby. What up, what up, what up? All right, I'm going to do some buy it nows, then I'm ending it for the night. All right, so first buy it now, uh, RoboCop, number one, the uh, video game variant. Very cool. Ten dollars. That's cool. It looks like Wreck It Ralph. Yeah. So you can see Robocop against Ed 209. So Robocop. Um I did a few Fantastic Fours earlier. Uh let's see, Mighty Morph Power Rangers number 50 variant, ten dollars. <sighs> X23 number one variant five dollars. Spider Woman number five Peach Momoko variant five dollars. Star number one five dollars. Thor number six variant, five dollars. Loki, agent of Axis, number eight, five dollars. Web of Carnage, Carnage Born, number one, uh, Clayton. Crane, I believe, cover five dollars. I'm not sure if Todd showed this earlier or not. This is another one of those uh, battle battle line variant covers. Uh, Thor. I think so. Uh, you think so? I don't think so. Okay. This is the course death of Jane Foster. Five dollars. Thor number one, Donnie Kate, second printing, five dollars. Thor number four, five dollars. X Men Black number one, Emma Frost, five dollars. Let me see that Emma Frost. You you have it. No, I don't have that. I have the one where she's laying down. Oh. Looking off from hither. Huh. You want it? You want it? I was going to send you something anyway for your birthday. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool, man. Thanks. Right. Um, This is another, another, another Battle Lines variant. I don't think Todd showed this. Werewolf by Night. Five dollars. Those, those are young guns variants. Young guns, sorry. That's what you're confusing me. I'm like battle lines. Those are the Yeah, young guns. Battle lines don't have the <laughs> name on it. Those young guns variants are cool. Um Thor number four, Spider Woman variant, five dollars. Really nice copy of X Factor number three, near mint, five dollars. Web of Venom Wraith, five dollars. Did I do this one already? Thor five. Uh hmm. second print, five dollars. You may have or you may not have. And then Thor six, first print, five dollars. And then the only other one I have is I'll do this. Uh Venom 25, of course, ASM homage, $30.
So I've got the prices on all these. So I'll just kind of flip through them again. I almost just pulled out a short box, but I was like, eh. Man, I remember when four exploded. I uh, know. Probably some of these I paid about $200. Probably paid me. I uh, know. I paid you, exactly. Man, books were hot at the moment. I can't help that. Back in the crazy days of the auctions. I was. Back on that channel that shall not be named. I don't know why you went there. You went further than I would have gone. You do like to stir the pot. Uh, I, yeah, I don't mean to. It's all an accident. I still feel bad about... Um, uh, my unboxing with uh, um, Beta Ray. Apparently, um, his packaging was not Shelby approved. All right. Uh, which I feel, feel bad. I mean, it may not have been Shelby approved, but, you know. Have I ever gotten anything from you, Ship? I'm gonna be very. I'm gonna have to rate your packing. <laughs> oh no! I mean, you know, I'll, I'll admit I go a little overboard by purchasing the boxes in boxes. Um, you know, uh, bubble wrap and um. Oh, thank you, Roman. I'll tell I'll tell Freeway good night for you. Um, you know, just like these labels. I think it was I don't know who it was, but someone complained. I sold, you know, I sold books with these labels on them, which I just printed out, and they complained they couldn't peel them off. You know, and this is like super cheap. I can just print these out at home. But just to make sure that people can pull the labels off of my books, I went professional and I pay like $40 a hundred for these labels, you know, which means it's an extra 40 cents um, a book that's added just for me to put a plastic label on a book for someone to peel off and throw away. So I know I'm psychotic. I mean, uh, oh, you know, this is the Shelby show. Huh? I said, this is the Shelby show. That's right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, 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 this is going to take us right into hour eight. You didn't know you, you, you bought a ticket, but you did. Um, I do have the fantastic four Creighton and Colleen number one, uh, for $10. Um, someone asked about FF. So yeah, I know I'm psych. I, I know I'm psychotic with the way I do it. I just I I like doing that little extra, you know. And I have the, you know, I have the uh, stickers that go in every box. Um, I start putting in magnet magnets into boxes that are, you know, um, over a certain price. Um, I put in thank you cards, you, you know. Um, so yeah, I know I'm psychotic. So <laughs> you know, I just feel like that, you know, I just want people to see that I really care, you know, that they do business with me and try to give that little extra something, you know, back and, and make them, you know, feel, feel good, you know, so. Shelby, anyway, people just like cats, just like students, 
Don't they, care. They, they don't care. No, see, that's you always. Oh. I'm telling you, you need to have a growth mindset, not this okay. fatalistic, growth. not this fatalistic negativity. All right, I'm listening. That's not even where I was going. I was going to say I know. they know, they know when just, you care. They I'm know just, when you care. <sighs> they know when when you appreciate them. I was I was going to be very positive. Oh, okay. Not negative. See, look, comic slabs and statues right here. Yeah, I actually um, do. My book was protected. Great job, Shelby. Gemini's are the way to go. Yeah, I, I do three different types of boxes. <laughs> um, <laughs> which is stupid. No, I'm just reading Sam's what he wrote. <laughs> yeah, no. chat. You're uh, good. Uh, man. Uh, 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 I gotta check it out then. Oh yeah, it, it's four thirty East Coast. I thought I could hang. I can't hang with old Eddie Kang. Uh, <laughs> you guys just, wore me out. I'm taking up this week's books. Excellent, uh, excellent. Are you pulling the Uncle Roman? <laughs> I'm surprised Roman still send me messages, which I love because I tell you, like I said, Roman is one of those people that I admired. I mean, I, you know, when I started buying comics on Strictly's auction and, um, you oh, know. Right, right. You're right, Joe. It's it's dogs that know you care. Cats just want to eat you when you die. That's right. Yeah, yeah, they go for the soft spot like the eyes and nose first. Speaking of Strictly's auction, I'm going to be selling on Strictly's auction tomorrow night. Cool. Or two nights, actually, since it's 4.30 in the morning. Yep. Yep, and Strictly lives here in Houston with me, so. <laughs> well, gents, I want to yep. thank you for the time this evening. I this know. Been that is it for me. Amazing. We didn't beat our 10-hour auction that night. Uh, <laughs> you didn't beat that 10-hour auction. GT is still going. He had a Red Bull or something. He is energized. I just got a new short box up in my... <laughs> my well, farewell and good night. I am signing farewell. off. I will see you guys all soon. Have a good night, brother. Take care. Have a good one, Sands. Yep. All right. So I'm I'm keep you on as just background noise for a moment while I finish up a couple of IGs. And everything. Right, but thank you. That was really it for me for tonight and uh and stuff. So okay. You're awesome. Be positive. What's up, everybody? At this point, I'm just taping up the new books for this week. Got these nocturnes in. Let me know if you need anybody needs copies. I got a bunch of them. I got the the Jack cover and the Boss Logic cover and the Tony Daniel cover, and then I think there's another cover. Tony Danza. Daniel. Daniel. Oh. Hey yo, we'll wait. But um Who's the Boss was a good show. Taxi was a good show <laughs> too. I like Taxi. Why is it Did you notice how I was ripping Taxi when I was like doing the slow voice? Did you ever see that scene in Taxi when 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 uh, Christopher Lloyd's taking the driving test and he goes, "What do you do when you go to a yellow light?" and and Jeff Conaway goes, "Go slower," and he goes, w "What?" You know, but it's do you you know you get the joke. I'm supposed to get it. Apparently, my the store I get it from didn't get them in yet. And they're supposed to come in next week, I guess. The glow in the dark ones. But I got like the one in tens and the one in twenty fives and the one in fifty and the one in seventy five. I didn't get the one in one hundred. I just didn't didn't make that commitment. But I got plenty of regular covers. If anybody wants some cover price. And then I got some berserkers too. 
You got the one in 1,000? No, I didn't get I'm not that berserk. <laughs> um... Thirty-eight people watching me say comic books. Todd, when's your birthday? Uh, March twenty-sixth. You are ten days after me. Wow, the year's coming up right, right in like a week. Yeah. I have books to sell. I'll come back to me. All right. See how flexible I am? What a kind and caring. Go Power Rangers, Power anyone? Rangers. Ten bucks. Necessary evil number 50. Pink Ranger. It's getting late. I'm kind of sleepy. I can't even see straight right now. <laughs> how about this one? Captain Marvel. Number 21. Jiho, I can't see straight, brother. <laughs> How about Excalibur? Number 13, 15 bucks variant. Excalibur. Ooh, got another Excalibur here. I like this one. Another variant. What is this, DC? How did this get here? Hellion? Hellions? Hellions, number five. Mr. Sinister. Badass. One more. Three book. Buy it now. 25 bucks. Venom Beyond 26. 27. 28. All near mint. Not bad. 25 bucks. Hey, this Mark Brooks Berserker number one is pretty cool. Is it? Let's see it. What do you want for that? What do I want? Cover price. Older Venom books. Um... You have more than one of those. I mean, JC, okay. I did sell like two awesome Darth Vader series that you kind of weren't here for. Yeah, I have no Star Wars. Older Venom books. The only older Venom book is uh, Venom Lethal Protector number one, nine point eight slab. I might actually sell that tomorrow. I was thinking about it. No, I think these are one of the ratios. I'm not even sure which one. Red cover. What am I going to do with the red cover? Draw on it. Yeah, red. You know, it's tricky. I don't know if I got the Virgin Mark Brooks one. No. And these are the ratios, I think, uh, 25, 1 in, in 25s or something. Uh, that one in your right hand is cool. This one? Yeah. <laughs> Mad Spidey, we're not right in the head. 
Okay, Mad Spidey, I'm glad you showed up. I need you to get an... <laughs> get the continent. <laughs> I need you to get uh, a message out to as many people in Australia as you can to sub me up. We're, we're, we're going to stay on until I hit 1,000. Who's Everybody's we? committed to that. Yeah. <laughs> Only 29 to go. This one's the one. Oh, this this one's the one in fifty. Okay, it's one in fifty. This might be the one in twenty-five. <laughs> no, say same show X, same show. So let's not get all involved in the ratios, but if anybody wants a Mark Brooks. How much are these? Boom Studios. They gotta be fancy and not put the cover price on the cover. It's called a cover price. It's not called a back price. Four ninety nine, so five bucks for the Mark Brooks. Let's just make sure they're the same price. Four ninety nine, five bucks. So if anybody wants a Berserker number one, I know there's a good chance you got these. But hey, maybe you didn't. If you need one, I got the Mark Brooks cover. I got the uh, Raphael Grandpa. Grand, grand, however you say his name. Probably not Grandpa. But five bucks each if anybody wants a Berserker number one. Probably should have showed those when we had like 100 people in the auction. I'll take one of the Mark Brooks covers. What's that? I'll take one of the Mark's, Mark Brooks covers. My shop didn't have them. You got it. Look at that. That's half an underdog. Yeah. Nice. Yep, we're still live. Yeah, I know. I know, Matt Spidey, but I'm not. I, the the variants. I, I don't know even what. I gotta look up. I gotta look them up, man. If you want, if you want me to do a buy it now, start scream honestly. Uh, same thing with this knock terror book. I got. I'll show you the copies, the covers I got. There's that's the jock one. Next to boss logic. The Tony Daniel. Oh, I gotta tape that. Didn't tape that one. Sterling, you wanna you wanna Mark Brooks? I got gotcha. you. I missed two books. But no, this this is the oh that's the Greg Capullo. Three, four, five, six. I'm in rough shape over here, passing out. It's four, uh, five a.m. Something. You in a comfy chair? Got a comfy bed too. <laughs> no, I think that's it for me, gentlemen and ladies. Thank you so much. I can not. <laughs> Check out these cool pair covers. This is Tony Daniel. Then we got Slaps. <laughs> we got Greg Capullo. 
This is the boss logic. That's pretty cool, huh? Cool. See the front of the truck and then the jock cover. Those are pretty cool. Beta Ray, 19 more minutes, and I'm pretty sure Todd's got to start paying you. What? 19 more minutes. We hit eight hours. I don't charge them anything. They, 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 they're working. They, they come and they make money. So, wait. Somebody else wanted something. Sterling wants a Mark Brooks. I got to grab him Mark Brooks. You got it, Sterling. See, Jiho's trying to cheer you on. <laughs> they want you. Is there anything else in this box? This box is just Berserker and Noctur Noctera. I need to sell more Nocteras. I got lots of them. Maybe a $3 book. Oh, here's some more books. Got the vision timeless. That's pretty cool. I got a whole long box of timeless variants. I may have to start selling those. Oh, do you guys know about this book? Batman 106, the new character. Miracle Molly. Yeah. She's in here. Cool. Meanwhile, we're watching Todd tape books. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know, this word. Hey, you're still here. That's all I'm I've... saying. So, who does it say more about, me or you? Do, do you guys want to see the inside? Do you actually want to see her, her appearance? I think they want some Silver Age, looks like. Uh, I got to check what the cover price is, Starscream. It might be. You want to hear something funny? I was in a store, and the owner was trying to tell me that this is the new character, right? This lady. I'm like, no, that's Talia. He's like, are you sure? And I'm like... Well, I think when Damien calls her mother, you know, he calls her mother right there. It's pretty obvious. And then, whatever. But. Aztraff wants to know how much for both covers. You got. That's the Scarecrow's new look. That's pretty cool, right? He's got like a Raiden hat. Awesome. Batmobile art's really good in this issue. Oh, here's her first. That's her first. Uh, see her on the phone there, on the communicator. She's going to be in this group called the Insanity something. And she makes all the hardware. And they use tech to like make their, their fears and memories go away. So that they don't have to deal with all that extra. And I think that's her face right there. With the little red stripe. Um, Arrow Maestro, I'm looking for that book too. That book is awesome. I want the silver virgin variant though. That's the one I like the best, I think. Sterling. Uh, for you, cover price, I'll do them for cover. I know they're going for a little more. They're probably going for a little more on eBay. I've seen them a little higher, but five each, ten bucks for the pair. Take them. They're yours. You want them, Sterling? Tony NY, I do have more Silver, silver Age, but you're going to have to wait until the Strictly what? Comics Dude, stop, you know, I'm just going to keep what? you on where you out so you can't do any other auctions. <laughs> Wait a minute now. You're doing other auctions without me. No, no I don't. <laughs> I barely do any. 
Wednesday. You got your Wednesday auction, so I'm gonna do a little Sunday. I haven't auction. even done. It hasn't started, so I haven't done it yet. You can't. You, you can't. Just, you were selling this and Friday. You you stink in a Friday auction. I don't even sell yeah, don't be jealous. Really? Okay, you know what? Whoa. Oh, you guys. You guys. I saw it last night. You was in and you did an auction. What about this book? Any interest in this? I did book? not do one single auction last night. Well, As a matter of fact, I sold one whole book. And it was to me. Seriously. Um, yeah, I got another pair, Tony. Wait, wait, wait. wait what's what's uh, let me let me straighten out. See, people are actually buying comic books from me. Let's see, Starscream. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Okay, Shelby. Have a good night, Ow. man. Take Ow. care, Jack. Ow. Oh. So Take care, wants, brother. Who wants a pair? Oh, so, let me see. Astra Sterling. Yeah, this is probably the only night I'll do the pair for cover price. So Sterling wants a set. Tony wants a set. Dark hold first appearance. No, I do not have that. I got Tony with a set. I gotta dig and make sure I got him somewhere. Wait, I'm sure I do, but Beta Ray, how about Avengers 227? Nope, can't say as I have that one. Hmm. I know I got him. I'll I'll dig him. Let me see who wants. Interesting. It. Yeah, that's a good looking book. So Ashtroff got the has a pair. Sterling has a pair. Dave, you just want the yellow one. You don't want both. I mean, I don't care. I'll get you the yellow one. One oh six yellow. Okay. That'll be five. Cool. I mean, all these. Here, better I sell something. Um, I am out, brother. I'm You're out. Off. I want to thank everybody though. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you, thank you. Great Zoe. auction. I appreciate everyone being here. I had a lot of fun. Kevin, but I can't be straight. <laughs> He's hanging on top. I'm I'm gonna bug out too. Holy crap! I'm at the rack. So we'll, I'll see how long I can carry 43 people. Good night, Good everyone. Maybe we'll next week. I'm we'll just gonna care. say this. You know when I discovered the auction scene? When I became running my auctions was when I had to take up and somebody. We might as well just go to this now. When uh, you know. It, Somebody had to stop the auction, and I was like, "We'll just jump to my channel," huh. you know. And look what happened, you know. So, like, if I discover I can do an auction all by my lonesome, yeah, seriously. I always meant to ask what happened there because there was. Oh, we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, I know that's probably a whole thing. So here's that yellow, Dave. I got you. <sighs> But uh, oh, I got this book too. This this is pretty cool. I'll just show it if you guys missed it. The new Swamp Thing number one. This the nice Matina Matina cover, and this, Mike Perkins is on this. A good artist. I got some copies of that. If anybody needs a uh, Swamp Thing, the new Swamp Thing number one. I gotta tape these too. Is so is G still here? I don't know who's here and who's not. Is he lurking? So I just asked because um, I'm not selling this. I'm prefacing this right now. This is my own personal set. Um, but Jiho, I think, was talking about Star Wars. And uh, so I'm friends with Art Balthazar, who does... 
Tiny Titans. I know. I'm, I met those dudes. I have some of his sketches in my book. Yeah. Be hanging out with his art too. Yeah. It's uh, so he he only lives about 20 minutes away from me. Um, but he's been doing these live paintings on Saturdays for you know pretty much the whole pandemic, and he put out these limited edition uh, painting cards, and it's Star Wars series. Oh, nice! So it's a a six card set. You get R two. This is one of my favorites. Boba Fett and Bosk. Oh, I love Bosk. The Trandoshians are awesome. I saw this one episode of the cartoon where they were hanging out in the trees with tomahawks. Mm -hmm. Pretty freaking awesome. Ahsoka Tano. Mm. Uh, Darth Vader. Rosario Dawson touched me once. Really? Really. It was that Heroes Con. She was promoting this comic book that her cousin drew. And used her her likeness as the main character, and I was talking to her with my friend, and then she got up from the table and she like pushed me out of the way and was like, "Excuse me," so she touched me. Nice. And then Darth Vader. So there's six cards. Um, he's printed a hundred sets, and uh, they're like twenty bucks for this set of six. That's so, pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. So, and then, you know, he usually throws in other stuff in there too, you know, sketches and stuff. Yeah, I remember meeting those dudes. They were cool. It was another dude. Two of them, right? Frank, yeah, it's Art and Franco. Franco, yeah. So, Art lives in Chicago or in the Chicagoland area. Franco lives in New York. So, yeah, they're pretty fun. I, I actually, I met Art. God, it had to be early 2000s when i first started tabling at like wizard world in chicago and different conventions and they were always there so yeah they're uh they're good dudes how much does it cost to get a table at a big convention like that c2e2 i think is around 550 for a table in artist alley um wizard yeah. Are you able to make the money back? Are you able to pay for the table or make some money? It it depends. It, so when like when I first started doing conventions and and having a table, it was tough because I didn't have anybody saying, you know, this is how you have to set up your table. This is this is how you do it. This is how you get yourself noticed. So uh, it it took me probably a good year before I, I started making money at conventions. The, my very first convention, I was lucky enough. I sat next to, I shared a table with Chris G. Russo who did uh, like yeah, G. Yeah. Yeah. Mini Marvel, whatever. Yeah. So, and it was just as many Marvels came out. So, um, he, you know, he had a line wrapped around the, the aisle and I was sitting right next to him. So people are standing in front of my stuff, looking at me and feeling bad for me. So, yeah, I waited online for a sketch from Lord Adams for like five hours and I bought like three sketches during the time I was waiting in line. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's like artists, uh, artists who, who aren't art Adams or, or, uh, Michael, all yeah, like superstars. Yeah. The, the big guys, the other artists, love being by them because you're going to get traffic and you're going to get people buying stuff simply because they're waiting for somebody else. So, um, but yeah, it's uh, it, wizard world. The last time I did wizard world, it was about 400 bucks and they charge you for everything. If you, you got one chair, if you wanted an extra chair, it was another 50 bucks. It was you your own chair. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but I do a bunch of smaller conventions around the Chicagoland area. So, um, you know, a lot of um, kind of blank here because I'm a little tired. Uh, a lot, just a lot of small convention halls. Um, there's one sure. that I love doing. I, mean, I love small regional shows. Yeah, 
that's some of the best ones. You know, there's there's one that I do. It's in the Route 66 Museum. And um, it's like, it's set up like a, a convention from like when we would have been kids where it's, you know, it's not this huge mega convention where you go stand in line and, and wait to meet, you know, the stars of TV shows and whatnot, which there's nothing wrong with that. I've done that. That's a lot of fun. Um, but it's, you've got the artist right in front of you. You know, it's, you've got Dave Dorman there and Topper Helmers there and, um, you know, guys that have been in the industry for a while. So it's kind of fun. I've gotten to be friends with Topper Helmers too. And I was at this convention we do, he, uh, I was telling him about a story that I really liked that he did. It was, um, all about a, a pilot, the pilot's point of view, and he's getting ready to fly his first flight. And the very last panel, it's he's flying in a biplane and he's flying up to the Empire State Building and there's King Kong hanging off the Empire State Building. So it was it was a pretty cool, a pretty cool story. Well, he, he's got his his uh, uh, comp box sitting on his table. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, weird GI tales. Hang on a second. And he pulls it out. You know, crisp copy because he just put it in a box the day he got the comp copies from DC, and he's like, "Here you go, signs it for me," and gave it to me. So <clears throat> it was pretty awesome. Um, but it shows like that that I like doing. That you know, there are a couple other ones that I've done where it's at like county fairgrounds, and um, you know, as we're we're closing up shop, you get guys going around, guys that are that have these big mega you know, comic boxes, long boxes, you know, two, 300 long boxes. And they're selling all these different comics. And they're just looking at you saying, Hey, uh, I'll trade you, you know, I'll trade you for one of your comics. You come over to my booth and you pick out whatever you want, you know, as long as it's within reason. So, you know, stuff like that's pretty fun because I've been able to uh, fill out some of the collection that I've lost when I was a kid. So they like trade you art for your com they trade you like art or your comics for yeah art cool. like art pieces i've traded those coloring books so it's it's pretty fun so and those tables aren't bad you know, usually those are like 30 bucks so but uh, i want to see if i can do something i figure this is a time for experimenting <laughs> let's see share Share screen. Ooh. Oh, nice. So, you can, so look, I, this is a thought. I've been working on this just doodles. And then if I change the. Where's my layers? Now my layers are not on where I. You know, I'm, let me bring my layers back here. Okay. It turns my, it's like it turns it into a second monitor. So I have to. Yeah. So, you know, what's a good one to watch. Uh, Art belts as art does um, on Facebook. Famous cartoonist says things. And he does. So check that out. You see how I got like more detail, but then I can take it away. Yep. And just the. Yeah. So that's that's what he does. He'll he'll sit and he'll talk for a little bit, and then he'll draw his comics, and he shares the screen like this, and you see him, and he flies through it because he's been doing digital for a decade now. Um, but yeah, you see, I mean, in the, the I've been doing it for like three days. Yeah, yeah. I I picked up one program and I worked at it for maybe a week, and I was getting better by the end of the week, and and. It, I just kind of fell off of it, but I just got a new tablet. Uh, so I need to, I want to get a new pencil, like a, you know, digital pencil and then uh, download, you know, one of the programs so that I can start doing stuff dig digitally again. So.
Can you guys see this at home? Yeah. Let me know. Let me know if you can like. It's probably pretty light. No, you can see it pretty well. I don't know who I'm drawing. Looks like it could be vision. Is that Battle of the Planets? It might be. I'm not sure. I don't know if I really remember their costumes 100%. Yeah. You know, things kind of went like that or something. <sighs> you know what you can do, too, with this that's really fun is... Uh, sketch stuff out on paper, scan it into your computer, have that be a layer, and then layer on top of it and like draw and, you know, ink on on your sketches. <laughs> Let's see, Whoop. let me get this thing. So I'm like pretty much just in a messing around phase. Mm -hmm. I 
But this is pretty cool. I could do this for when we do the, the, um, you know, drawing circle. Yeah. Because I might, I also might be teaching uh, a drawing class over the summer, like a summer camp. Nice. Later, Dave. Oh. I think that it's time for me as well. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to stop the sharing. I just wanted to test that out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We And we've got a figure out you've got to have spring break coming up soon too right yeah nice. i'm out of town for a good chunk of spring break but then i'm back for some days so uh and real quick for the 33 of you that are still here i'm just gonna throw some books up and if you're interested in anything you let me know i got this Alex ross i'm gonna bow out thank you for having me Okay, man. Take I'll reach care. Back your address. Um, yeah, just hit me up on IG. I will. I'll do it tomorrow. Cool, man. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you. Okay. All by my lonesome. I don't need anybody. X Men three. This is an Al Cross cover. Seven bucks if anybody's interested. I know there's thirty two of you watching. You surrender to what? You want to buy some more comic books, Sean? Oh, I got this. This is pretty cool. This is a ASM homage to that Todd McFarlane Venom cover with Taskmaster and Spidey. Virgin and the trade for 35 if anybody's interested. 35 bucks for the pair. I got another copy of this one for nine if anybody's interested. Vampirella, that's um, Adam Hughes, 15 bucks. If you'd rather me just go back to drawing, I'll do that. I don't care. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one. This is a Philip Tan Black Cat variant, 15 bucks. And then I have this book that Shelby had, but mine's meant 10 bucks. That's probably all she wrote. I guess I'll say goodnight. I'm not going to stay up all night. It's late. Um, thank you to everybody who's hung out. You guys are awesome. What can I say? Smash, you smash that thumbs up all night long. Hey, 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 I gained a subscriber. 28 to go. There's really no panel anymore. There's just me, comic slabs and statues. There's just me. The panel has uh, has gone soft. Beta's gone. They all left. It's good. Does anybody have a Venom door knocker? I'll see what I can come up with. Night, Lisa. Thanks for hanging out. You're a trooper. No problem. I hope, it, I hope we gave you some entertainment value too, you know. Kept you around for, you know, we're on for eight hours. It's pretty crazy. But thank you. I appreciate the kind words. You know, we do a lot of joking and kidding. Having fun. But it's all about, you know, the community and getting books into your hands and, and sharing. And Shelby's a good dude. Don't ever think I don't like Shelby. Shelby's a good dude. I just try to help him in my own weird way. Don't know it all, but I do what I can. But, hey, thank you. We're going to call it a night. Another zany auction. I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. Uh, I think Facebook cut me. We're having trouble streaming to Facebook. Um, yeah, whatever. Who cares? Um, 
you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you next week. I'm going to be packing and shipping for the next two days. So if you need anything, hit me up on Instagram, email me. Um, if I have any questions, I'll do the same. Please respond. Um, but until next time, we get together for more Gorilla Todd goodness. I say good night. <laughs>